Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. What did I do to you this morning? I made you jump a bit, didn't I? Sorry? When you pulled into the car oh, yeah. park. <laughs> you did. She pulled in. And, she, and I was happened to be outside with the dog. Yeah. She pulled in and she, she sort of was put, turning her engine off. And all of a sudden she turned around and I was there at the glass going... <laughs> <laughs> I said, get out and cuddle me. I nearly hit the wall in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I haven't seen you for yeah. ever. Do you know, it was last Christmas we last had a show together. Oh, it really has been forever. Has, yeah. So it's very appropriate we've got Christmas. Well, it isn't it today. just... And I've just <laughs> said to our Keith, our lovely Keith off uh, Hobby Maker, I've just said, oh, what this lady... I said, she's got more oh. talent in her ear lobe than I could ever wish for. <laughs> Can I just show you these? Uh, morning, Finn, by the way, my darling. She has made... Oh, I love doing that one. That one's so look, much fun. gingerbread man. A uh, gingerbread house, even. Gingerbread house, Keep yeah. up, Zine. So I take it you get all the stuff to make the MDF? You do, including the uh, instructions, really good instructions as well. Brilliant. And the glue to put it together. Oh, so you get everything, and the yep. seed beads and everything that you need, yep. and then we're going to get... All you need is a needle and thread. All you need is a needle and thread and you. Well, Needle, no, you... thread and Monica. This one you don't really need me. I mean, it's really easy to do. <laughs> oh, it looks fabulous. But these are gorgeous because they can spring... The... Once you've made things like this, they come out year after year after year. Yeah. Don't Absolutely. We've also got Christmas trees. We do have a gingerbread men. Man, yeah. men, men, man. We was all tied up then, wasn't he? He was having a good time. I've made some of them up as well. I thought you might have done. I didn't make up the gingerbread man because he's going to be my demo. But he's I did be the Christmas demo. Oh, tree. brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So we've got a gingerbread man, we've got snowflakes, we've got Christmas tree. Oh, these are fab. I don't know why I sound surprised. And there is the little star. What have you covered that in? Is that, um, what do you call it? Just marker pen. Oh, it's marker pen? Yeah. Oh, I thought it might be, um, no, I felt it. It isn't, I thought it might be suede. No. Ah, oh, look at these. Oh, they're pretty, though. These are lovely. 
And they're re really lovely to do with children as well. Yeah. Because they, cause they are easy enough to do with children. That's a lovely thing to do then, isn't it? Make your own joy, uh, make your own uh, Christmas decorations. Yeah. And um, we've also got, now then, we've got baubles. What are you doing with, oh, I'll wait till you see what she's done with the baubles. I've had good fun with the baubles as well. <laughs> so if I bring oh, them over. Oh, man. I thought they looked nice on Facebook, but. Oh. I'm making There we go. And that's actually made from a whole bauble, so I'm going to show you how to do that later. How did you? How did you? How did you cut the bauble? Well, you have to wait and see. Ah! <laughs> she's got snowmen. We've got blue baubles. We've got hot pink baubles. We've got gold. We've got silver. Yeah. We've got all these little treats to come, and that's going to be. They are class, aren't they, Adam? They are indeed. So we've got amazing kits from Monica, and oh, come here. Oh. Do you see what I mean? Monica, leave Keith alone, please. I mean, I know he's very handsome, but thank you. Sorry, Keith. Look at this. How does, long does this take, lovely? Um, I don't know, probably about a day. Oh, wow, Especially okay. with the extra beading around the bottom edge, because that takes a bit longer. That looks absolutely fantastic. You could put names in there, you could, couldn't you? You could, you could. Yeah. So we've got these coming up. Can I just mention as well, we are so lucky today. We've all been talking about it. I know that when it was first launched and back in um, May time and April time with the L, we actually had a strand of selenite. Ooh. Sold out in less than two minutes. And it's taken us till now to get selenite back in. I mean, oh, talk wow. about a powerhouse of a crystal. Never get it in a strand. In fact, can I show one, Ross? Thank you, love. You've got, we've never had these sizes before. They graduated. And we actually have, can't quite believe it. Oh my goodness me. In fact, can I put them straight on, Finn, please? We oh, have wow. got the powerhouse crystal itself, the extraordinary. Do you know what this is referred to in the in the crystal and gemstone world? How? Oh. Liquid light. Well, I was just gonna say, yep. look, look at the glow. Yep. Yeah. There is no other gemstone that packs and has been adored since antiquity. I mean, it's just, talk about shining a light. It's oh, amazing. Wow. Do you know this used to be used as glass panes before glass was even invented? Really? In churches and oh, things. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah it's wow. so cool. Uh, so we've actually got selenite. We've got two strands. They're going to go in a heartbeat. Um, so good luck with that. That's going to be in our 10 o'clock hour. Now our early bird, we've got some base metal caged charms Ooh. for pearls. Oh, before I forget as well, we've got the most incredible, if you want some chains for Christmas, I say chains, necklaces in rose gold, yellow gold plate and silver. They're on pre-order now, 300 available, close out deal, the guaranteed less than four pounds a chain, wow. a necklace, fully finished. Wow. So that's coming up as well. Would you like our early bird special? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, I'll show it you. Teasing again, that Ross. He went, we're not doing it now. But it's on pre-order. <laughs> oh, wow. Come back here. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, they are. Oh, do they open? Gorgeous. Oh, hold on. You can have a play with one because they sit. Well, we've got a hundred of these. They look, they've got to open, haven't they? Yeah, they've got to. Yeah, they open. You put the pearl in them. Thank God. There's a hinge there. So the they whole... open. Well, they do open, but Monica's going to work out how they open. <laughs> there you go. I'll leave that with you, Monica. Little... We'll have a demo on how to open them. But you're getting those coming up. You're getting the five matching rice pearls as well. And the lovely... You don't have to put the pearls in there. You can put whatever you want in there, but we'll work it out. Uh, right then, my lovelies, are you ready? It's your time to shine. It's the wall of fame. <laughs> say as well thank you so much for keep sending in your lovely uh, makes uh, during this difficult time because it's so lovely to see people you know and I saw that yesterday with all the um, with the vigil uh, yesterday and uh, can I just first of all say didn't Scotland do our Queen proud yesterday oh, oh my days uh, I just uh, it total respect 
to yeah. every single person involved. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It yeah. was respectful. It was beautiful. It was it was amazing. Uh, total total respect to every single person up in Scotland that that. Uh, was part of that yesterday. It was unbelievable. Um, but we were saying that actually, and a lot of the um, uh, presenters yesterday were saying, you know, you need to, you need to um, take time out, don't you, and ha have some solace. So this is, uh, this is exactly what we're talking about. So hi, jewellery makers. I use some sterling silver gallery wire with an uh, Amazonite cabochon on a sterling silver chain. All components are from JM, and I'm hoping for a win. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed for you, Lorraine. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh. Can't fail with um, gallery wire, can you? Incredible. Hi, everyone, Melanie says, and James. She says, oh, wow, oh, they're wow. beautiful. Look at those feathers. I love making these 1920s <coughs> flapper-style brooches and, um, and lapel pins using components from JM and my stash. They can be worn as brooches, um, lapel pins, uh, or attached to a hat to create a stunning different look. I hope you like them too. They're beautiful, <coughs> absolutely beautiful. Be on like a headband and hair slide as well, couldn't they? Oh, yes, that yeah. would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Now, our lovely Julia has been sending in. She said, hello, everyone. Oh, gorgeous tassels. Hello, all at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I love these green Jasper donuts that I purchased a few weeks ago to help create this pearl tassel marla. I've created a long pearl open strand marla that can simply be twisted into a knot as on the photo. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yes. Uh, with love to all my fellow jewellery makers during this sad time. That's a lovely message, Julia. Thank you ever so much. Um, beautiful. Right, now we've got Josephine Green. Oh, that's unusual. Oh, my goodness. That's really clever. I like the mixed metal. Yeah, I like that. Really lovely. Morning, gem lovers. Here are some gemless earrings. Jewellery makers wire is so lovely and great quality. I've mixed metals in these earrings, and I think it works. I hope you think so, too. Good luck to all. And um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Absolutely brilliant. Right then, my lovelies. Shall we give you lots and lots of treats before our wonderful kits with Monica? Lots of premieres on the show this morning. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Scotland, we felt it was only oh, yes. appropriate to bring you your absolute stone of choice, your national gemstone. We felt it was appropriate to bring you smoky quartz in these beautiful... 10 mil rounds. And the good news is we actually also have matching six mil rounds. They're coming up straight afterwards as well. Smoky Quartz has that wonderful chocolate brown, doesn't it? It does. That, I, I, sorry. Re I really love Smoky Quartz because a lot of people don't like black. I mean, I know lots totally of people agree. like black, but there are a lot of people who don't like black, but you still need sort of a... Um, sort of a, a darker base colour for your jewellery. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, the smoky quartz you can use everywhere where you yeah. would otherwise use black, but you don't want to use something as harsh as black. And that's the thing, as you go into the winter months, and especially since, since lockdown, and a lot of us have been, haven't been away and a little bit more pasty yeah. face than we'd normally be, that, like you say, it's great to have an alternative to give you that deep, yeah. dark contrast, but not just as harsh as black can exactly. be sometimes. Plus, it's nice to have the clarity in there yeah, as exactly, well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You don't normally get any exactly. black Exactly. Yeah. So we've got the wonderful, wonderful smoky quartz with all that wonderful, deep, rich chocolate brown. I'm afraid we are limited on that one, so if we can just get the six million for you as well. Finn, can I ask you a favour, Don? Could you grab that plasma for me as well so we can say good morning to everybody? Thank you, lovely. We've also got some smoky quartz back on the show. Uh, some moo kite. Moo kite. We have moo kite. So again, beautiful bubbles. We don't like the word P. We keep the word P far, far away from you. We need to call that smooth because they're just smooth. They're simple. You've had the lot. Come this me. Gosh, you grant those quickly. Oh wow! I have these. I ordered. Oh, did you get all of them? You can I just ask? Can, you, I love him when he says that. That's the badgers. Have you felt these? I have. I ordered all of I've got all the colours. Have you got all these? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> these are just so much fun to work with, aren't they? Aren't they, though? These are brilliant. Goodness. I like the feel as well. I like that. I like the, the, they're, like, they're really lightweight, aren't it is. they? It's really lightweight if you don't like heavy jewellery. That's this. And, and it's great for holidays as well. Exactly, yeah. Well, we've just, had, um, we've just had our lovely producer, Laura, from Hobby Maker. She's just been to Sorrento. You oh. think of Santorini. Oh. You think about, all the, I mean, our lovely birthday girl from yesterday, Elle's on holiday. She's gone, you know, anywhere with a lovely 
lovely sunshine and all that kind of thing. I think, is that nearly gone? Oh, what? They, so they're Heshi beads. Okay. <laughs> right, this colour? The purples. Yeah. You like purple. Oh, I love purple. Do you love purple? <laughs> have I got a sneaky feeling that you've, uh, you've got these as well? I've got these as well. You've got these as well. I thought you might have. I thought you might have. <laughs> They've got a lovely light feeling. So they're, they're, they're vinyl, are they? Well, it says here, orchid mix of Heshi beads, vinyl strands. That's what gives it this really cool, lightweight feel. Yeah, and I think it also makes them really sort of hard-wearing. So yeah. For, for, like, friendship bracelets, children's jewelry. They're jewelries, perfect. Actually, it's great, but also for, as we said, for holidays, because you can wear it in the swimming pool, you know. Absolutely. Right, then, my lovers, if you're thinking, yeah, love the colour, love the colour, love the... They're absolutely fab. Would you like the monochrome? Goodness me, sell out, if you, sell out, you have to, I've got those too. Well, these are also very much non-gender specific, yeah. going to be politically correct. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Or if you want to just go, you know, again, we've all got that little black dress in the wardrobe, but well, I'm not saying we all have, but most of us have, or, you know, so that's mm. going to work with everything. It is, and also if you have a, a pendant or something that's really heavy. And oh, great to, idea. And you want to uh, make the rest of your your piece of jewellery not so heavy, obviously, then that, that works great as well. It looks fabulous. And I love all these lovely markets. And when you actually look how many's on the strand, yeah, it's absolute. There's got to be hundreds on there. Yeah. Have you counted them? No, I haven't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she might say that, didn't you? That looks absolutely beautiful. That reminds me of piano keys. You know, yeah. Yeah. Ebony and ivory. Oh, who sang that then, Ross? Stevie Wonder and Paul McCartney. Oh, my God, mm. Mm. Which one next, sweetie? Oh, these ones. Oh, gosh, she's got... Well done on that. Did you get these? I haven't got those. Oh. Ooh. I don't think you're going to get them today either, darling. Oh. So nice to see your lovely face. <laughs> oh, thank you. I've really <laughs> missed you. I've, I've really watching, missed you. I've been her. watching when you've had shows and thinking, oh, oh you? Oh, oh darling, I've missed you so much. I really have. You're so lovely. I told Claire McDonald today. I said, God, our gorgeous Monica. She should say hello, by the way. <laughs> So, pastel tones. They are pastel, but they're also nice and bright as well, aren't they? They're, there's like a mixture of both there, isn't there? It, de uh, sorry, it depends on. on how you mix them together, because you yeah. you've got a neutral in there as well. Yeah. And then you can have the really bright, so you could, you could put the neutral and the yellow together. That I like those. Good. Yeah, I do like those two together, actually. I think they're really nice. And then those two in between. The pieces, they're lovely and light. Yeah? So, congratulations. Well done, everybody. A measly £7.99. Great, great find, that one, Ross. Wow. Oh. 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 So, you know, we've just... Um, oh, do you know what? I'll tell you what. Our floor manager, Dan, is like lightning. You go to pick something up and he's tidy up. I want him in my house. I want him as my cleaner. It'd be brilliant. <laughs> oh, good morning, Dan. So, we've got soda light. Soda light always makes you think of that... Again, we were talking about... Oh, you know that those denim vinyl heshes we've just yes. had? That denim collection. Yes, that would be beautiful. That'd look great, wouldn't Perfect. it? Perfect. Because you think how many people, how many people wear denim, whether it's a jacket, whether it's shorts, whether it's jeans, yeah, whether I it's... Can't, I can't think of anybody that I know that doesn't have denim. No. There's one guest designer, and I cannot think who it is, that doesn't have denim. Really? <laughs> can't think who it is. And I always remember thinking, oh, my goodness, I literally wouldn't be able to go out of the house if I didn't have denim. Uh, soda light chips, but we don't want to just... Oh, have I just seen a bizarre price point? What? <laughs> Ross, I know you said this morning how happy you are and how much you're loving the morning show, but, I mean, you can get a little bit over-delirious. This is what we do, he says. Oh, I'll tell you what, 80 centimetres, my lovelies. Goodness me. Let me just show you that. 80 centimetres of a genuine gemstone, drilled and threaded and cut and polished for a £2 coin. I mean, even if you just kept it like that, as a, you know... Yeah. Necklace that you can just throw over your head. Or just, yeah, or, or just a memory wire bracelet. I mean, there's so, yeah. in fact, yeah, that's a good point. Look, just straight over you. There you go. That's it. I mean, how, how quick is that? <laughs> For two quid. <laughs> it's not plastic. <laughs> A genuine gemstone. Good morning, Daniel. Actually, sir. Actually, for one ninety nine, I'd get two or three of them and, and make it a bit more sort of. Um... Well, it's, especially with that 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 lovely neutral one that we just had with you know the one with the greys and the blacks yes. and everything that oh, yeah. really pull out the greys there, wouldn't it? Oh, very, very lovely. Um, just to confirm, Ross, is that lovely uh, early bird special on pre-order, did you say? Fantastic. The necklaces, we've got to mention this. It's a fully finished necklace. It's an absolute Christmas no-brainer for you. You're going to get 
three, you'll get them in time for Christmas, obviously, <laughs> uh, even with the postage. Uh, you've got yellow gold plates. Oh, can I? They are on pre-order, my lovelies. Absolutely. And just to confirm, they are 95 sterling silver, 95 sterling silver with gold plate and 95 sterling silver with rose gold plate. And they are going to less than four pounds a necklace. Wow. Now, so the, should we do it? Should we just put it out there? Here you go then. You know those three necklaces there? Christmas closeout deal because if you're making pendants, if you want people to have lovely necklaces, you are going to get all three fully finished necklaces for less than £10. And can I just confirm as well, they are 18 inch wow, as well. Perfect. Three sterling silver necklaces for less than £10. Can you imagine that for a secret Santa? Actually giving somebody three, and you can just layer them. All three of them? All three of them for a tenner. I thought you meant each. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Get them on pre-order. Now, if you don't know how that works, if you go to the jewelrymaker.com website, click on Watch Live, and as you scroll down, as you go to the right-hand side, you'll see it. There you go. Look, you hover over that. It goes bold. And there I, there's your early bird special with the cage charms, and I would grab those. Necklaces are going under £10 for all three. Wow. Brand new as well. Okay, well done. Right then, my lovelies. Do you know, sometimes we need to use the word chips a little bit less. Mm. Yeah, those are not chips, are they? No. <laughs> I mean, first of all, again, every time... Do you know, I fancied chips last night. I was going to... Well, I'll say chips. I was going to do wedges with um, sesame seeds and I couldn't be bothered to scrape the potatoes. I had beans on toast. I was too tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody happy at £5.99 for that lovely Amazonite drop style uh, gemstone? Everybody? £5.99? No, it's Ross in the producer's chair. PTGP92. We're going under, would you believe, £4 again. Wow. For all of those gemstones. Now, did anybody go home last night and watch that film? No. Did you check for it? It's brilliant, honestly, Ross, it's brilliant. It's br the Phantom of the Open, absolutely brilliant. Oh, Adam, brilliant, it's brilliant. Oh, anyway. yeah, about, the, about the golf that you were Yeah, honestly, about. it's yeah. even if you couldn't care less about golf, it is absolutely magnificent. Oh. The most, if you want a film at the moment to take you away from everything and the grief and everything else, and you just want a moment, it's the most uplifting, wonderful, true story as well. It's oh. brilliant. Where can you watch it though? I know, it, well, it's on Sky, oh, right. but you've got to rent it, but it's, oh, it's, it's, yes, yeah, it's on DVD yeah. as well, but it's oh. really good. It's really, other films are available. Um, well done, everybody. £3.40. I've got a lot of gentlemen in this morning. Hello, Sean. I've not seen your name, I don't think, before. How are you, Sean? He's just phoned our lovely call centre. That looks absolutely lovely. Can I show you this as well? I've been dying to see this. Do you, know what, that, do you know what that is? No. That's white agate. Wow. Yeah. I've been, this is crazy lace agate. I've never seen crazy lace agate in white like that. And not in that shape, so. Yeah, it. lovely. Got matching mookite in that as well. Ooh. 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 Si oh, a frosting. Oh, frosted citrine. Frosted. Oh, that's beautiful. Frosted. This is, um, oh, do you know, right. Picture for me, would you, citrine? Would you picture citrine in your mind for me? Mm. Yeah. Matte, frosted. Whatever, however you want to describe it, this just takes the edge. It's like that really hazy morning sunrise, isn't it? It almost looks soft, doesn't it? Yeah. I want to touch it. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does make you want to feel like that because you just think, oh, what? It's so different, isn't it? Yeah. Did you not think it was the most beautiful morning morning sunrise this morning? Yeah, I was, oh. still, I was still driving that. So yeah, <laughs> it was really magical, wasn't it? Now, if you just got the lovely. Um, Strand for £3.49. If you get this strand coming up, I mean, he's in a right one today, isn't he? But look at that. I mean, that's the sea, the lagoons, oh, the Dominican Republic, the sand, wow. isn't it? Do you know, I got some happy news yesterday. My friend, my friend's son went away uh, on holiday and proposed to his girlfriend oh. straight away because he didn't want to lose the ring. <laughs> and uh, first day, didn't want to lose her. I didn't want to lose the ring. And I think, quite frankly, wanted brownie points for the rest of the week. But she sent a lovely picture of her, of her engagement hand. And uh, oh, nice. they've gone to Ibiza. And but it, but it's, it was so nice to see some happy news, yeah. you know, because the circle of life and all that. And it was really joyous to see her, her, her face. It was lovely, you know, amongst everything that's going on. It was a real treat. 
So uh, congratulations to them, mm. Matt and Vix. So £3.99 on that lovely subdued gentle rock of citrine. Really, do. And again, if you get some of our lovely, um, you know, sort of brighter clarity citrine, that'll give a lovely contrast. Can I show you these together? Look at what Ross has got in this show. Now, they're brand new coming up. Doesn't that go nice as well? Oh, with the smoky quartz as well. Oh, that, and yeah, and the smoky quartz, yeah. Do you know anybody that's a terror? Yeah, Ross is a terror. Ivy can be a terror. Did you fight him this morning? Hello. Oh, go on, go on. Can we just say, can we just... Oh, sorry, darling, you did say pink, didn't you? Can we just say hello? Hello, Ross. Let's say hello to Ross. Best... Very good. And there are lovely Adam Tyres. Very handsome man. Give us a spin. Bless him. Did you do that at home at the dining table? You do? Good. Just glad to hear it. So, a beautiful, hot... These would go nice with your hot pink baubles. Oh, definitely. Aren't they? Yeah. Hot pink terra jasper. Now, can you see these lovely, look, this is gonna go great with, can I show you with our wonderful, wonderful, finally back in stock. Waited since May to, thank you darling. We've waited since May for these. I mean, Elle was looking forward to her holiday, but when she found out she was going to miss out on her beloved selenite, she was absolutely <laughs> gutted. Thanks to the white foam as the waves crash, don't you? Oh, my goodness me. They are absolute liquid light. £2.99, I kid you not. We have got... Oh, my goodness me. Look at this. You've got the loveliest selection this morning. Oh. Yeah, you are. I have, you can I have, have it. I have these as well. I, or, I, ordered I knew you would have. I knew you would have. <laughs> right, let's, let's go. Let's add that lovely colour pop. Because, again, obviously, we're all wearing black out of respect, uh, quite rightfully so. But it, it really, really is, when you have that moment where you can actually in inject some colour into your life, it is a, it is a mood enhancer, isn't it? It's oh, an uplifter. Definitely, definitely. definitely. Yeah. So the pink, I think if you go back to the website, you might see that everything's selling out, isn't it? I'm glad you're managing to have a really, really nice treat for yourselves this morning. Yeah. Very cost-effectively It cheers you well. up, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, sometimes I think I think when we're watching all this amazing coverage, and again, I must just say a credit to all of the presenters that are that are having to navigate this difficult, difficult um, time. Uh, I think everybody's doing a sterling job, and he's been very respectful. So uh, yeah. I think that's incredible. We are actually under five pounds on these. Be Don't they take a polish well, Amazonite? Yeah. 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 They take a real. I've never managed to get anything polished that well at home. <laughs> I mean, you can you could actually see the studio lights in the gemstone. You can, can't you? Yeah. It's a lovely, rich, beautiful day day blue, isn't it? The Peruvian Amazonite. It is absolutely beautiful. Good morning to everybody, and thank you for your company this morning. We're, we're really pleased that you're here with us and keeping us company as well. So thank you so much. I love your name, Valentina. Ah, now I did show that. Thank you, lovely boy. Here we go. This is such a wonderful, what would you call that? Would you call that like pistachio green? Yeah. What do you think? Or like a sage? You think olive, do you? Mm, I suppose you could say olive, yeah. Yeah, I just did spot that in the graphics, thank you. Right. Yeah, you just went, <laughs> but it says olive green in the graphics. So yeah, I didn't read that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, as well, look at, this is how much thought and pro, a thought, and time and effort, Ross puts into putting these shows together because how do you find pearls of that colour? How, how do you do it? Isn't That's it, a mint green. Isn't it lovely to have the contrast of the shiny and the... Isn't the it? Yeah, Perfect. isn't it? Thank you. I've now got all the colours of green coming out of Adam. Thank you, Adam. Oh. oh. Well, there's your Marla, isn't it? There's your Marla. And Marla. The... Um, the, the uh, Oh, I've forgotten what they're called. The larger beads that you put in the marla necklace. Oh, the guru bead. I'm so sorry. I got so fixated with uh, the marker beads. The marker beads. The marker beads. Yeah. That is. Uh, I've got to get that on a bust. I've got. That is unbelievable. I know I have my own bust, but to, you know, it wouldn't look so good, would it? Oh, that is stunning. Oh, that is stunning. Tell me what you've put a lovely first hour together, Ross, this morning for everybody. Thank you, sweet pea. Yeah. 
Do you know as well? We don't mention this enough, but it does. Um, the, the the guys here, the the um, the present. No, but the producers, and I've done it myself over on the lounge. It takes a lot of time to put these shows together. It really, really does, and we don't credit them with that enough. So yeah. thank you, Ross. You put a lot of time and effort in there. Now these are these are shell pearls. Your aqua shell pearls. And the lovely thing about shell pearls is you, because it is, I keep telling my friend Valerie, because she mm. keeps spraying her hairspray and her perfumes, when she's got the expensive Charlie Barron pearls on, oh, her, like yeah. Valerie. <laughs> but she can't remember. So I think it's actually safer to give her shell pearls. Yeah. And then nobody, nobody gets upset then, do they? Especially if you want to wear them every day. And yeah. If you want to wear pearls every day, to be honest with you. Yeah. And again, when we're talking about weddings, I mean, we're all going to a wedding this Saturday, a lot of us. Um, again, you tend to see a lot of these kind of colours, these golds, these greens, the pinks yes. and all these sort of mother... mother My sister-in-law's wedding actually was the same as that green. Oh, was it? Her jewellery was that colour. Oh, God. What, for the bride? Uh, well, for the bridesmaids. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, very much a bridal, but how you can get, again, shell pearls, aqua shell pearls for eight mil for £2.99. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Again, if you just want to put that with, I mean, as soon as you put that with black, look, look at that, green and black. I mean, that goes great as well, doesn't it? It does. And, and how different it looks when you put yeah. it with black or when you put it with gold. Doesn't it? it yeah. Totally transforms, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I suppose that's like people, isn't it? You know, it depends who you're with. Depends what, <laughs> it depends what, how they bring, what they bring out of you, whether it's good or bad, isn't it? £2.99. Good morning to jewellery maker Claire in beautiful Devon and Beth and Kathleen, Pauline, Agnes, Nina, Karen... Uh, Carolyn, Kim, Linda, thank you so much. We hope you're okay. We really, really do hope you're okay. And we're sending you all our love. Just remember as well, on pre-order, an 18-inch sterling silver necklace, brand new, an 18-inch rose gold plated sterling silver necklace, brand new, and an 18-inch gold plated 925 sterling silver necklace, 18-inch, all fully finished, all three for an absolute Christmas closeout deal of under £10. Mm -hmm. I've got a message. Oh, Nikki. Oh, yay. Two of my favourite ladies, Zena and Monica. I love the... The dioramas. The baubles, they're dioramas. Oh, is that what they're called? Well, I've called them that because they kind of look like dioramas, don't they? I don't even know what a diorama is. It's one of those... Usually children in schools get them as a project and you have a little box and then you have a little scene inside the box. Oh, Baron Broadbent. That's why I have no experience of that. Uh, <laughs> diorama. Love it. Never heard of that. She's amazing, isn't she, Nikki? Love to you and Aidy, love. Um, would you like the gold? Diorama, I've never heard of that. Haven't you? I thought it sounded like you needed to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can't help myself. It's diorama. 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 I bet it's as hard as a spell as well. An M in there. Right, OK, just making sure. <laughs> so we're going Christmas. Do you know what I got told yesterday whilst I was live on air by Ross, my producer, that apparently it was 104 days yesterday. That makes it 103 days until Christmas. Wow. <laughs> Today, £2.99 pennies. That is going to be worn so often, isn't it? That just goes with everything. It just, yeah, can I put him on? Please, thank you. We do call him Ridiculous Ross. Oh. It was really lovely that it's not a harsh gold. It's a really um, gentle, gentle gold. Yeah. yeah, it is a gentle gold. Do you know, I'm not a gold person, but I'd wear those. Yeah, they're lovely. Speaking of lovely, hello, beautiful Dan. Hello, Dan. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? All right, thank you. Cool. Yeah, you have to be very careful not to look into Dan's eyes. If you look into, it's one of those things. It's, you know, they say don't look at the sun. Don't look at. Don't look into Dan's eyes, because if you look into Dan's eyes, you're, you're gone. You're gone. Could I just, do you know, you do realise, gentlemen, the gentlemen in the gallery are raving about their own um, handsomeness. <laughs> and uh, no, you're talking about yourselves there. And uh, what my mum used to always teach me was self-praise is no praise. Lesson. You're not you're not all in your twenties. Adam's not. Adam's gone way past that. <laughs> Bless them. Bless them. They're all aren't you know, they're lovely boys. They're in cloud cuckoo land, but they're lovely boys. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. Lovely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the master of their own little wave. 
<laughs> anyway, £2.99. Well done, everybody. Is there any of those left, Ross? Sold out. Oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Um, Dan, Dan, darling, you know how super efficient you are? Yeah. I think you've taken away my beautiful um, necklace that I need. Oh, bear with. Bear with. Oh, I like that. Oh, bear with. It's coming. It's, have you seen those fireball pearls? I was just looking at those, yeah. Oh. Thank you, gorgeous that's man. Can I, have, can I have a nice, tall, long... Sure. Oh, that's that. No, no, it's not tall enough. Is, is it not tall enough? Thank you. Oh, my... Is this a ready-made, ready-to-wear? Wow. <gasps> wow. And I love how the clasp sort of um, is the same shape, isn't yeah. it? I don't know... Is that... This is jade. I've heard about this. I've never... Oh, is this the Guatemalan... I've never... Ever. Oh, can you write the code down for... I know there's only three, but I'm going, if I can get one of those, that is absolutely... That'll go with my jade bangle. It's, it's actually a focal bead in the middle there. Yeah, it? it's not a clasp. Yeah, straight over the head. Isn't that lovely? So oh, wow. Guatemalan, this is the first time I've seen it. I've heard all the buzz about it in the building. There are only three collectible moments for you to get hold of this today. This is, I mean, we know jadeite comes in different colours. We've seen some very, very rare colours. We've seen pink, we've seen lavender, which we might just have as our deal of the day on the show today. But... If you actually uh, go onto the Gemological Institute of America's website, uh, and it frequently asked questions, does jade come in pink and blue? And it says here, jade is available in a wide range of colours. In rare cases, some could be considered pink. However, this material is referred to in the trade as lavender, which we do have on the show at 10 o'clock today, deal of the day. Rare, rare, rare examples of Guatemalan jade are in a blue colour do exist... But again, we've never seen them. Uh, turn, uh, and then it goes into all the different other colours as well. But this is as rare as it gets. This real sort of... It is a teal it is. blue, isn't it? It is, yes. It's, it's got sort of colours of indicolite. It's got like mint kyanite in there. It is truly, truly, truly unique. Now, you know what? You know, obviously, the kind of money that Jade fetches in the industry. We saw necklaces yesterday for like 110,000. But, mm, yeah, yeah, okay, this dates back. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, been, it's been around a long time. So the quality of ours is exceptional, but obviously this does have the history because it is circa 900 to 300 BC. Um, and it was estimated to take, obviously it's steeped in history, um, 25 to 30, see, I think that's quite low, 25 to 35,000. I bet it went for a lot more than that because that was the only, only an estimate. I bet that absolutely will go higher than that because of, of the history. Yes, of course. But this is, all, this is firstly, having a colour of jade that hardly anybody else, anybody else on the planet will have. You've got that true, true, true uniqueness, that rarity. And that's a frequently asked question. And the reason that is, does it come in blue, is because blue is a, is a favourite colour. But I need you to get that home to appreciate. I'll put it on the skin if I can. OK. There is three lip... Now, how many were originally made? Ah, uh, right, OK, I was going to say. Mm. 50 chances were made only. Oh, my days, when it goes on the skin... Oh. Can I just ask an indiscreet question of how much is this, darling? Can you tell me in my ear, please? Oh, really? Can you write me the code down, please? Thank you. He said, I've already... Oh, I've never seen that. I've got a, I've got a jade bangle, not as dark as that and certainly not in that blue, but it, I, I want it to go with it. That is absolutely exceptional. It's ready-made for you. It's a fully finished necklace. Now, we just saw there that Olmec jade bead necklace... Um, going back to 300, 900 BC, estimated to fetch 25 to 35,000 US dollars, and I bet you it goes for a lot more. Okay, is that waiting to be auctioned? Because that's an American private collection, isn't it? So unfortunately, we were talking, this is what Dave says, unfortunately, when it's a private sale from a property uh, and it's an American private collection, that will normally mean very sadly that the person has passed away. 
Mm. That's the only time things like this come to market. So Olmec, Guatemalan, Jade, I've never, ever, ever, ever actually held onto a blue Olmec untreated type A Jade. I mean, again, if you manage to get a bangle in this, you'd be talking way over £5,000 in a bangle. And we've already beaten that. This is a full necklace. Have we measured this, Ross? Because it's a long necklace. It is, isn't it? That's a long, long necklace, isn't it? It is. I mean, if you wanted to restrand it, it would be you'd have plenty enough to make a bracelet and a necklace. Easily. And, Easy. and probably earrings. Yeah. Yeah. Now we only have, I'm just going to show you that on there again. We only have three. You can have the feature bead at the back if you want to, at the side, at the collarbone, however you want to wear it at the back. There were 50. We now have two left. Look at that. Are you ready for this opportunity? I'm going to wish you all the best. Oh, well done. Uh, Linda and Brenda, I won't say where you're from. I can promise you now, ladies, you will never, ever, 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 ever regret buying that necklace. It is stunning. You can get it home. We've put it on a five-way split pay, so you can spread the cost. You can own it under £100 each split pay. We're done in five payments. We're talking a big carat weight, but the, the value in this is the collectability and owning type A, completely natural, uber rare, Olmec Jadeite. Congratulations, Heather. Please tell me, girls, are you keeping that for yourselves? I certainly hope so. 14, no, can you make that 15? No. 14 people missed out. It, um, one for me, that is stunning. Look at that. Well done, girls. I'm sorry that you missed out. Um, right then, my lovelies. Now, we're going to say that these are coming up at nine o'clock. However, they're on pre-order. Christmas doesn't have to be for Christmas, obviously. Chains aren't just for Christmas. Oh. <laughs> uh, I say chains, they're not chains, they're necklaces. They're fully finished necklaces. And I actually think this is going to be a great deal. So if you, we've all got those people in our family and friendship circle that we have no idea, do you prefer gold? Do you prefer silver? Do you prefer, and you don't want to ask the question. Yeah. And you never want to ask, do you? And it's always that moment, your dad or your brother or generally the males in the family, I'm sorry to sound, you know, sexist, but can you get so-and-so a present? Well, what do they like? Don't know. <laughs> what colour gemstones? Don't know. What colour metal do they wear? I don't know. <laughs> you can have all of those fully finished 18-inch brand new necklaces, all sterling silver, but two of them with some plating of either gold or rose gold, sterling silver. This is base metal for sterling... Sterling silver for a base metal price. Yes. All three 18-inch necklaces yes. today, under £10. Wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Mm. I mean, and I mean, even for yourself, I mean, sometimes you have a pendant that would work in any yeah. colour chain. Exactly. And you can just so, switch it out and you get a different exactly. look every time. Yeah. Under £10. Under £10. Did we mention? Sorry, Ross, darling, what did you say, love? I did see that 15 people, including myself, missed out on the Olmec Blue. Ooh, that would go lovely. Goodness me, look at that. You know with us here at Jewelry Maker, I'd like to think you are finally... I think we're all finally accepting that we bring you the best jade. We bring you Type A jade. There is no better. It is completely unheated, untreated. It's not dyed. It's not impregnated. There's no polymer. There's no nothing. There's purity of our jade. How about adding in... Oh, look at that. Oh, they're so perfect together, those two, isn't it? The Olmec oh, Blue. Oh, that's amazing. Naturally, with those reds. I mean, that would take you through all year, but especially as you go into autumn and the fall... Oh. Uh, in the, you know, it's always called the fall in the US, isn't it? You have got here this utterly delicious red. And it's this, it's a real orangey red, isn't it? It is. Spectacular together. It's really like a fiery warm colour. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I'm also, if I may, I hope Ross doesn't mind, but I'm, I'm going to have to put those with our incredible selenite that's coming up today for you because it will just selenite will work along aside every other gemstone and give it that that natural light now you did see how quickly the olmec natural blue jade went 
Seven mil again. This is why Ross has put this in with the Olmec Blue. So if you do want to add in, look at those tones. Oh my goodness me, the sunrise, the sunset, all melted into this jade. Again, totally natural, completely collectible as we know. Seven mil type A red jade. Oh my days. Now the last, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, previously all the collectors were coming in and you managed to get hold of the blue Olmec jade, completely natural. The same collectors are coming in again. So if you want to make sure that you get the chance to own this, there are only four of this one. Oh. The thing is, every time you see something unusual like a red jade or a natural lavender jade or a black jade or obviously the apple green, any kind of jade that is type A that is natural, but then you talk the real rares of your, of your whites and your lavenders and your reds and your Olmec blues. That's the first time in over 10 years in this business I've seen an Olmec blue jade. Mm. Wow. Incredible. There are four opportunities. You need to get yourselves checked out quickly because you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. 30-day money-back guarantee. Type A. Complete. Those colours are natural. Wow. When you... Th and we're under a 1,000. Oh, I love those words. That's why I, I, I wait. I actually yearn for Ross to f finish those. We're not done. 499 will match the price tag. Now we're giving you a four-way split pay on this one. £124.75. Just remember as well, whether you whether you uh, watch uh, Hobby Maker or Jewelry Maker, remember you've got share you makes once a month on Hobby Maker to win £100 a month. Again on Jewelry Maker, every single week we give away £150 just for sending in a photo of the jewelry that you've made. Okay, you get the chance to win. You all get entered. This is the final strand in the business wow. of your natural red jade. Uh, now, we did speak to Wayne over the weekend, actually, and Wayne is, he knows the demand. It's fully evident. Um, and he said, for love and money, I can't get hold of red jade. I'm not surprised. Can't you're... get hold of it. I've never seen it anywhere else. No, I've not, I've not. I haven't, no. Two chances now. I know you've got it, Heather. Congratulations. My goodness me, have you got a wonderful collection. Do you know that we're not finished, though, Heather? Angela, I know you're hanging about in your basket, my lovelies. You don't want to do that, my lovely. Collector just come in there as well. Sandra's just come in as well. We are over-allocated, but you know what to do. Well, oh, my God. I didn't expect that. Sorry. £74.75 for the last two chances. Heather... Goodness me, we've just what we've just swiped two hundred pounds off your price, Heather, and you just managed to get the old neck blue as well. How are you feeling, Angela? Well done, congratulations. We're down to two opportunities. Do you know that's a very good point? Yeah, yeah. that's two of the rarest gemstones on one bust. I bet that bust is right. For, I bet that bust is going to boast all day. Did you see what I had around my neck today? <laughs> No, I didn't. He's going to be... The, he's going, this bust is going to be the talk of the studio. <laughs> that's not me talking, that's the bust. I'm, I'm just imagining how, how you're going to feel when you're wearing a necklace if you have both yeah. of these together. Exactly. Oh, Heather, oh, I am so glad you've messaged in. I have never seen red jade eye except for here. You and us both. Always missed out before. Thank you. Oh, Heather. Heather, I'm so... Can we give Heather... An excited round of applause because she's just managed to get it. Oh, Heather. Oh, that's what. Now, Brenda, you've got it. Now, Linda, Linda, you can still swipe it, my love. If you sit there now, this is what this is when I'm trying to justify something to myself, and it might be a little bit more than I wanted to spend that day. The question to yourself is Will I regret not buying this? Is there somebody asking you what you want for Christmas? Yeah? Do what my dad, do you know what my dad and my stepdad do? They go, what do you want? Can you get yourself something? Can I just give you the money? Yeah. You just do that. Treat yourself. And it might be that somebody, somebody will put you, give you some money towards it. Yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? Linda, 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 Linda. Oh, oh, we've got fireball pearls. There is one red left. I was going to say this with the fireball mm. pearls. This with everything. Mm. I'll show you this in a minute. Oh, I did promise I'd show it with a selenite. I'll do that in a moment as well. Linda, good luck, Linda. Um, fireball pearls. Okay. 
A fireball pearl is without question one of the most talked about fashion forward collectible stunning lady gaga as my i love it i love how michael ball calls a lady gaga but you know the style icon the kind of thing that that carrie would have worn in uh, carrie bradshaw yep. in sex in the city that kind of do you know what i mean the catwalks the naomi campbells it's this kind of real real designer awesome sensational fireball pearls i mean it just looks like a, a comet that's flown through the through the sky isn't it with that tail firing behind and again this if you want to really really make this special you could have one featured on either your blue well you said sorry uh, sorry on that blue almec as well uh, almec uh, natural jade this is the thing i was saying yesterday gents young gents in their 20s and 30s are now very much wearing um freshwater culture pearls, pearls. yep it's the new thing isn't it really glad about that as well really glad just remember we have 925 sterling silver necklaces coming up christmas closeout deal one of these can i show you this on the neckline because that's all you need isn't it mm. let me show you if i just just one of those is all you need for fireball and again do please have a look online on your on your favorite jewelry stores and see if you can find here's the gents look i've no idea who the other two are i know the middle one <laughs> i know harry styles oh is that pharrell williams on the left who he's dating rihanna i like his shirt i really like that shirt Oh, I like that. I know Pharrell Williams. I didn't know the guy. Who's the guy on the right again? ASAP. Doesn't that mean as soon as possible? <laughs> He's called ASAP. <laughs> that means as soon as possible, doesn't it? Ross, is that really his name? As soon as possible? As soon as possible, Rocky. Well, ASAP is as soon as possible, Rocky. Oh, goodness. <laughs> He looks nice. He's yeah. like a nice person. Anyway, uh, right then. So, but it's nice to see gents. And again, if you watch The Only Way Is Essex, if you watch uh, Love Island, they all had their pearls, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Can't believe I just admitted that again. <laughs> Can I show you? Can I show you how many, tell you how many there are of the fireball pearls? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I like people with unusual names though. Good for him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's sixteen wow. pearls on there. That's sixteen pendants. Sixteen pendants of fireballs. I'd make that at least a hundred pounds of fireball on one of those chains coming up. Wouldn't yeah, you? I was gonna say about the chains coming up, yeah, yeah. It's perfect on there, isn't it? The magic word you wanna hear whenever you hear about Baroque pearls, fireball pearls natural metallic pearls your blue you know we're talking about close out deal that means we've taken every single one in one fail swoop the supplier's got their money quickly and we give you the saving we pass that on to you 16 fireball pearls so we give you 60 seconds we're going to give you a one crash almighty crash you need to brace yourselves it's going to the last three opportunities, if you want to add those in with your blue Olmec jade, with your red rare jade, with your incredible, inc I mean, just one of those. It just, you could just, what, what is it? Just one head pin? Yeah, just one head pin with a loop at the end. With a loop on the end, yeah. onto your chain, you're done. It's quick jewellery as well. Uh, so there is only two now because a jewellery maker in Lancashire has got one before you've even seen the price tag thank you for trusting us 16 people with it in their baskets 16 thank you rosslaw close out deal we haven't even put that they're fireball that means you're getting fireball for less there were 16 on the strand russ 16 fireball pearls 
Would you like... Oh, goodness, mate. Let's put this into context. You're about... <laughs> you're just going to get... Fireball. You, oh. I'm going to challenge you. You go and find a fireball pearl of this calibre for £20 anywhere else on this planet. Wow. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Honestly, oh. it's not going to happen. I bet Harry Styles hasn't got a fireball pearl. Mm. Should we send him one? I know the lead singer off the Vamps. Mm. I could give the lead singer off the Vamps. He's my, he's my friend's best friend. Oh, really? Mm, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Who's having the last one? Is it Maurice? Is it Jewelry Maker? Is it Zoe? Is it, Sher is it Cheryl? 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 That's a nice name. How do you pronounce it? Uh, Jewelry Maker, Linda, Eileen, you've all got it in your baskets. Who's taking it? Jewelry Maker in Lancashire, 16. 16. Oh. Heather's in again. Heather! Can we all go around to Heather's house in Essex and have a look at her collection? Maurice in local Warwickshire. Congratulations. Well done. Oh, thank you. That's beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. I think, I don't know about you, I think one of those on one of these. Oh, yes. You're going to want these back, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, don't give me those because you'll never get them back. The necklaces are coming up in just under five minutes, but they're on pre-order. See, I have to say, this is one of my favourite, favourite array of colours. This, these lilacs and lavenders and pinks. Oh. And I just think that is the most subtle... Excuse that piece. Of, I, need, I need to try and hide that because that doesn't look right. Let me hide that out of the way. There you go. I mean, I just think that's ageless. I really do think that's ageless. And I think it's so gentle and unassuming, don't you? It is, yes. And... and it's interesting because I think it's it's almost antique but modern at the same time, if you know That's, what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. You've got, it says purple and pinks, but there's all sorts of in-between colours and golds and lavenders and lilacs and purples and apricots. And these are bead nucleated. That means they've been grown to a, a really a huge size for pearls, 9 to 11 and a half mil. We're way up on the way there. I mean, they, 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 could, they look like sort of Edison pearls as well, don't they? They do, yes. But they are absolutely epic. And scale-wise, that would actually work with the fireball pearl if you want to keep it all pearl, wouldn't it? So if you add those, because you've got the iridescence all over those fireballs, look. Yeah? Wow. Well, I must say, Ross, you've been giving us unbelievable deals all morning, Flower. Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, do you know what? For, do you know why I think this is a really good strand of pearls? Either one to have. Because the amount of times... I've lost count of the amount of people that I... Oh, oh gosh. OK. I, I, I did just clock that because, as I said, I, I, I always go on about the fact that I bought uh, Valerie um, one of Charlie Barron's stunning pearl necklaces for £699. Best money. And my dad and I went halves on it. And I know the quality of our pearls. And you, everybody gives our pearls a five-star review. In fact, yeah. people complain that there aren't more stars to allocate. And apparently, yeah. nowhere near the price tag on these. Mm. Bead nucleated pearls. Would you like a count again? Gosh, look at that. Can I just... There's only two left. Look at those colours. Oh, beautiful colours. Oh. oh, I'll show you with the old Mac, shall I? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, sorry, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 30, 40. Wow. 40. Oh, yes, oh. my. <laughs> if I was at home... I would be buying those never, now. Never imagine that you would see a necklace like that for under two hundred pounds. I was going to say I, I would have gone. I, if, they'd have, if they'd have asked me how much that was, I'd have, I'd have said we might have gone to four nine nine, knowing yeah. the mood Ross is in this morning. That is unbelievable. What's that divided by forty? I should be able to work that out. Five. Yeah. It's five, isn't it? Is it five pounds? Oh, Monica. Well, uh. Uh, would you like five pounds a pearl, Heather, jewelry maker, Linda, Brenda? Linda, you're trying to check out six. I think that shows some... Des oh, I'm sorry, Linda. Ooh. Yeah, maths, I'm normally all right, but... Yeah, is that Miss... 
do you? Oh, apparently. Is that true? They say I'm top at maths, which is unusual because I've got a U. I've got an ungraded in my maths. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sorry, everybody. I've let myself down. I've let myself and you down. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Oh. Which one next, Bot Darling? Oh, that doesn't sound right, does it? Putting pearls in a cage. They've only just come out of an oyster. <laughs> I said, can you imagine the poor pearls? They're going, right, OK, so I've just been in an oyster and a mollusk. I've been shut away. And I tell you what, oh, and here I am and back in the cage. Well, maybe they'll feel at home in there. <laughs> That's a very good point. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. OK, sorry, in a couple of auction times, we all... Oh, my days. Is that what... Is that... Is, is that what I think it is? Wow. That can't be grand digital, it's too big. Goodness me. That has got to be, that, in fact, there's no question about it, that is the biggest grand diorite, the rarest gemstone, the rarest gemstone we, it, oh my, day, oh my goodness. Colour, goodness me. Rarest gemstone we own, we have, in the whole of our vault, and it's the biggest, biggest, bit. Oh, I'm going to have to get my claw. The biggest bit, no, in fact, my claw won't fit it. That's a nice problem to have. Biggest gem I've ever, ever seen. Oh, gallery wire, like in the, in the Wall of Fame. Oh, you are joking. Wow. How big is that? What carrot weight is that? Seriously. Ross, what carrot weight, love? Oh, no. That is a three-hole... Carrot solitaire. Never ever seen. Also, almost makes me look think of the ash cut diamond as well. Yes. Oh, look how it glows inside. Imagine oh, that, imagine that prong set as a ring. That's an engagement yes. ring of wow. serious <laughs> money, isn't it? The third rarest. Most expensive gemstone officially on the Forbes listing. Nothing to do with our say-so. One of the rarest gemstones in the world, fetching up to $20,000 a carat. So that's $60,000 a carat there then, because we've got three. How much is that in pounds, if you wouldn't mind, Ross, for me, please? So it should be 20000 And I'll tell you what, ours is Boston quality, isn't it? That's the textbook example that Forbes have photographed on their listing. OK, so if we were to go at what they're suggesting, the Forbes listing for $20,000 a carat, that would be how much, sorry? So six... No, darling, 60000 because it's a three carat. It's all right, darling. I wasn't clear myself, sorry. $60,000, please, because that is a three carat stone. Look at that. Wow. That is a lovely... Thank you for doing that, Adam, because that gives you an absolute example of how good wow. ours is. Same we, colour, even the same isn't cut. It? <laughs> same cut, yeah. same colour, same, uh, same, um, same uh, beautiful translucency there as well. Wow. On... But look at that. Do you know, that's the best grand I've ever seen good. here on this channel. Did you work out $60,000 in pounds, love? £51,000, according to Forbes, this should be. And I have to say, without question, the best quality I've ever seen on this channel. That is rich. It's got that lovely blue-green hue, which is exactly what you want. It's got the most... It's got transparency and clarity in that one stone. And it's a three-carat calibrated... I mean, this needs to be... Who's getting engaged? I'll get engaged to myself for that. Step cut, 10 by 8 mil, 3 carat solitaire stone for an unbelievable opportunity. But again, any time you get to own things like natural blue, Olmec, jade, yes. or grand art like this, it's actually about the collectability and the accessibility, isn't it? But also, I mean, when you're wearing it, it just jumps out at you. I mean, I'm looking at it from a, about a metre away. And yeah. That's the first thing I notice when I look over. It's the colour, isn't it? It's just, yeah. it's, it really is sensational. That is going to be the ultimate 
ultimate piece of jewellery in your collection. And again, if you want to just collect it for your, let's say you might have a safe at home, you might be collecting gemstones, you might be a gemstone connoisseur, but equally, I think that desperately wants to be set into jewellery and be worn, oh, doesn't it? And I would put it into gold, definitely. Oh, without yeah. question. I'd even yeah. be thinking platinum. Maybe platinum. Yeah, because yeah. I, yeah. So depending on what you like, I think I'd go white gold, platinum, that kind of... I was just going to say. Um, it, 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 you know, everybody in the gallery, we've got quite a few people in the gallery at the moment for some reason. Every single one of them has just said the same thing as we've just said. Without question, the best grand didierite we've ever seen on Jewelry Maker. No two ways about it. But any three carat gemstone should be expensive. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Any three carat. I've no. Right. Stop. No, no, no. No. No, love. My friend, Alex Mackay, is on Gem Collector. I was watching him last night. If he knows we're doing this at £99.99 .99 for this, this calibre of stone, he will absolutely spit feathers. Wow. And I mean spit feathers. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 that, that should be a crime, shouldn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that, 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 that is, that, I'm really not, don't even want to say to that. In fact, I can't, there's no one I'm looking for the claw because the claw won't house it. I can't believe you're doing that. I can't believe you, he's, he's not even done. Right, can I see the, the call board? Because if, if that, if that, if these don't sell out, then quite frankly, we're not doing our job properly. Well, I'm not doing my job properly. I can actually see the sort of the internal glow from it exactly. all the way from here, especially when you had it on the on the black. You yeah. can really see the glow. That's unbelievable. That's the size, the colour, the shape, the absolutely stunning, and that is without question the best grand I have ever, ever, ever touched. That is the most random, bizarre opportunity. Help yourselves. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Seriously, man, you, you want to have a chat with yourself? <laughs> you really want to have a chat with yourself, Ross? Um, do you know what, though? If this is the chance, this is the time, oh my goodness me, with everything going on in the world, if everything going on here in the UK, you know, we're having a... Uh, uh, what a lovely opportunity, Jenny and Zoe and Brenda and Kath and Heather. All of you with it in your baskets, let me assure you, $49.99 is ridiculously brilliant on your behalf. For a textbook, as listed on the Forbes official list of the most expensive, the most rare, Gemstone in position number three after red diamond and tephetite, $39.99. Do you know what? You could even at that price, like Anna, buy two and actually make earrings. Oh, yes. Jenny, I've just seen you come in, Jenny. She just said, thank you, thank you, thank you. That grand didierite is incredible. It is, yeah. Jenny, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You will... The thing is as well, I don't mean this to sound in any way flippant, but you know with everything that's going on this week, I mean, I got home yesterday and I watched the whole vigil and those lovely gentlemen, how nerve-wracking to actually raise the coffin and that walk and those young lads. And I was so humbled mm. watching everything yesterday with the Queen and the vigil of, the, of, of her children. And, oh, it was just, just unbelievable. But also, if you have a moment like this, we can actually say... During that, that momentous week in history, and the, these days of mourning up until the funeral on Monday, there's also those glimmers and those moments of happiness and joy as well, where you can actually think, that was the time that I treated myself yes. to that rarity. Because we're, nev the, we're never going to get a queen like that again, are we? Ever. That kind of a reign. It, I mean, that was yeah. exceptional. You know, so I just think, what a lovely moment as well to actually be also be able to say, that was the moment in time. Yeah that I got that as well for yeah. myself. You know, it just all... It's amazing how you remember these things. Yeah, it's important, these memories. Years down yeah. the line. Exactly, you know? exactly. 
I will just say to June, to Alan, to Jane, to Janet, to Annie, Zoe, Cheryl, Cheryl, I hope if I'm saying your name right, darling, and Tracy, we do only officially have two, one, sorry, remaining. You have, oh, could I make a suggestion? Could I make a suggestion as well? You get the authenticity certificate with that one. Either call the call centre, if you've just placed your, your, your order, like Jane there on the phone and Brenda, give them a call back and ask for your authenticity certificate. It's 25p. If you're online on the app, you can download it yourself for free. Really important that you get that authenticity, authenticity certificate. Okay. I'll tell you what, Ross, that's the best deal I've ever seen you do. <laughs> ever. Mm. That's incredible. Incredible. Mm. These. Oh, that's oh, it's already done. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. How much is that? How much is this? Oh my days. <laughs> this is this is already done. You buy it like this. You buy it like this. Um, hang on, hang on. Come here, come here, come here, come here. It's a really good class. I've just got it stuck behind my hair. In fact, oh no, I've got it stuck in my hang on. Sorry, I've got it stuck in my hair. Uh, so I've got some masking tape, not, well, you know, gauze, whatever you call it, micro, micro, whatever. I might talk back. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, isn't that lovely? And how much work has gone into graduating those colours? Yeah. That's amazing. It has been graduated into the colour. Oh, that is so clever. Oh, I need to put that on. Do you think, they'll, do you think anybody noticed that I accidentally went home in that? <laughs> anybody notice? What do you think? You can walk out behind me and nobody will. Yeah, shall I? <laughs> Just get stuck to Monica on the way out. Um, 69.99 is an absolute steal. On your grand did you right? Your beaded. Just Come on, help. Zena. I, well, I, I, I generally need help in life, but um, thank you. Sorry, everybody. I'm having a like a right. <laughs> we all need a bit of help at times. Yeah, I'm going to have to just leave it, Monica. It's just, thank you, darling. Because if I do leave it on, I will accidentally forget. And that needs to go to some very lucky recipient. Seven opportunities. If you want something to uh, pop on that gorgeous uh, Grand Didier right that you've just bought, the three carat solitaire. The way that's been ombre, as you've just said, Moni oh. Monica, is absolutely divine, isn't it? I mean, I mean, the amount of work even that's gone into that, you know, with, with the rosary links and then the, that, the ombre and... Does anybody just, does anybody just want to ring um, Forbes? Does anybody know anybody at, the, at, at Forbes? And just tell them what's going on at Jewelry Maker today. Does, does anybody want... I, I feel like, I mean, R Ross is a lovely man, but he doesn't... I feel like he needs to be reported to some sort of management uh, uh, situation. Never grass him up. He's lovely. I'd never dub you in. You're too lovely. Twenty nine ninety nine. And also, we want our jury makers like Helen and Barbara and Kath and Anjum and Heather and Kath and thirty pounds. Well done, everybody. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, if you think about it, the sterling silver wire that you need to make those rosary. Oh, that's links, a good point. We always mentioned mm. before that there's a lot of waste when you do rosary links. Yeah. So the amount of sterling silver wire they would have had to use. That's just about thirty pounds worth. Goodness gracious! And then you, ha you haven't even talked about the gemstones and the amount of work that's gone into exactly. it. Exactly. You know. And the thing is, I know a lot of our jewelry makers are keen wire workers, but I couldn't w rosary link that consistently, even with lots of practice. I don't think. I know you've all gone. Yeah, you could. Oh. Um, Brenda, Patricia, jewelry maker, and Anjum. Oh, Anjum, you got it. Sorry, Brenda, jewelry maker, and Patricia. There's one chance. Oh, Patricia's in the Highlands. Wow. Oh, well, I know, oh, Patricia, I'm really glad you got that. I really am. I was saying earlier um, how, how proud uh, and, uh, and how humbled we all are and how, you know. Uh, right then, my lovely, sorry, I've got to move on for you. However, I do have an, uh, a real early bird closeout Christmas deal for you now. It's an absolute, get it in your basket, get it checked out. It's been on pre-order. It's an absolute no-brainer. <laughs> have as many as you like. Early bird super Christmas closeout special. <laughs> Brand new today. Brand new today. So I'll tell you what we'll go with. Okay, so bolt ring clasp, which I'll show you in a moment. Brand new necklace, fully finished. I know we call them chains, but they're fully finished. 
So 925 sterling silver, there you go. 18 inch. Now I might be wrong in thinking, that's a cable of chain, isn't it? That's a cable. A cable chain is the go-to chain mm -hmm. within the top three, um, cable, top three designs of the go-to to go with every kind of sort of fine design yeah. pearl pendant or posh pendant yeah. or... Yeah, yeah. Thing is with cable chains as well, although you can attach into them, Monica, you can just wear them as a lovely bright piece of metal as well. Yeah, I mean, metal. it looks beautiful just like Doesn't that. It? And then if you've got the three colours, you can wear the three colours together. That's what I'm going to do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Great minds. <laughs> yeah, great minds. So, before I pop them all on, could I just show you how well finished our necklaces are? So, if you look here, they are... Can we just zoomy, zoom in on that? Sorry, just want to just check something. So, let me just double check what it says on there. So, we've got... Thank you, guys. I know that's a bit... So, we've got... 925 very clearly stamped there look now you've got your bolt ring clasp look you've got two nice solid jump rings now am i right in thinking um monica you see that extra sort of really strong disc of metal there in that yes. oval yes that is put in there to give it added strength isn't it i think so yeah, yeah. but i'm just thinking you know sometimes we have uh, pearls and we have other gemstones that have got the large drill holes yes uh, and it's quite contemporary. You see it quite a lot of places now where, you, where the chain goes straight through your gemstone or through yeah. your pearl. Yeah. You could do that with this. You would, you would have to cut off the last link. Yeah. So you cut off the ring at the end and then put it through your gemstone and then put on uh, your own jump ring so you can reattach it again. Yeah. Um, but that would look really That would look great as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Very, very contemporary then. Exactly. Yeah. Um, do you know what I will say as well is, and, and I will do this, I mean, um, I will say this, and I, I would stand on top of the tallest building and I would honestly, honestly, hand on heart, scream to anybody that would listen and anybody that wouldn't listen about the quality of our necklaces. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Please, if you're watching this... Oh, here we go, look. Please, if you're watching this for the first time, do not get confused or do not sit there and actually think, as a lot of us would do, as, and say... Less than four pounds, a it can't be good. Because it's that old thing of it, too good to be true. Too good to be true. I want to show you them all together because they, at this temp, temp hang on a second, sorry. It's because I've got, um, uh, as I say, this masking tape on my talk back. Hang on. So all three colours together, you can afford to because the whole collection is going under 10 pounds. Wow. <laughs> for quality necklaces, which I will do up in a minute. I might, I might need your uh, Why do I do two and then not the other one? All uh, don't have to be for Christmas, of course. You can wear them now. Come on, you little monkey. No, it's a lewd. Monica, would you mind? Oh. I'm so sorry, everybody. It just seems to be having a little... The other two are fine. It's because I've got a gauze tape and it's catching. Thank you, sweet pea. 925 sterling silver. Not base metal, thank you. You need to get your hair up. Thank you. <laughs> 925 sterling silver. Can I show you them together? Thanks, Monica, love. There you go. Oh, See? 925 sterling silver, 925 sterling silver with gold plate, 925 sterling silver with rose gold. All I've done there on the 18 inch is just pop them all together. Oh. Okay. Now, I know people are messaging it. The reason that's just bunch up is because one's done up over my talk back. So apologies about that. They are all 18 inch. Now, people messaging in saying, okay, £10 each. Is that right? Brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, great. Under £10 a necklace. Fantastic. Nope. <laughs> all three then if anybody messages wow. in saying are they are they um are they are they plated over base metal no are they sterling silver all of them yeah has some got gold and some got rose gold yeah 10 pounds a chain you happy how about five pounds a chain yeah five pounds a chain this is a cable chain as well could you here's a question could you actually twist those together well I, I was going to suggest that yeah if you twisted them together that would be beautiful as well yeah oh. so rather than just have them just loose and draped actually twist yeah. them together mm. well the thing is now we do have we do do we do do 20 inch necklaces here don't we but we these are 18 if you wanted to go down your local high street okay you've probably got to pay to park 
you'll have to pay your fuel, whether that's, you know, or, or, or you go on the bus. But again, I don't know, buses are expensive, man. Yeah. yeah anyway, um, catch a cab, might want to walk. Fair enough. You could go into H. Samuel or the likes of Argos or Beaver Brooks or whichever, whichever affordable jewellers you can go in. And you could buy... They've only got a four-star review, as a five, but there you go. A sterling silver, 20-inch, fine curb chain, as is a cable chain, so it's not immediate, it's not absolutely like for like, but 34.99 for a couple of inch, extra inches. Now, we promised under four pounds each. You've got the perfect drape, you've got cable chain, one of the most pop In fact, if you search, I don't know whether you could do this, and it might show me up, but I'm sure that if you search... For the most used chains in jewellery, I'm sure cable comes up first. Because yeah. it drapes sure it really does. nicely and it doesn't get tang it doesn't knot as easily exactly. as some of the other yep. chains. Yep. It is. Yep. So if you type in, what did you type in, Ross? Most used chain in jewellery, first one that comes back is cable. Hmm. So it's not even like we've given you one that doesn't get used very often, that's very popular. <laughs> so you get the most used design, which means it's people's favourite. You're getting it in solid 925 sterling silver, but one in rose gold and one in yellow gold plate. And you are getting all three. Does this mean that this, they're, they're going to be £3.33 a necklace? Wow. Is that the low? I think that's the lowest price we've ever, 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 ever done. On a sterling silver. <laughs> sterling <laughs> silver, 925 <laughs> sterling silver. Sterling silver. I bought a pack of bacon yesterday. That was three quid. <laughs> yeah. A pack of bacon for three quid. Yeah. I was quite chuffed with that. £3.33. Do you know the lovely thing as well? Um, Angela, you're welcome to have four, darling. Valentina, you're welcome to have three. It's going under 10. It's official. And everybody pays the final low price. Good news is we had just shy of 300, although half the stock has now gone. Understandably. We said it was going to be a Christmas closeout deal. Doesn't have to be Christmas. as They are all the same length. That's throwing everybody. It's only because we've had to do that one over my talkback cable, but they are all 18-inch, to promise. It's nice all together, isn't it? It is, yeah. But especially if you sell your jewellery. You know, I mean, if you imagine... Well, that's a good point. You know, if you, if you sell your pendants and you, you, you want to sell a pendant to somebody, they're going to look at it and go say, mm, yeah, but now I have to find a chain yeah. somewhere. Whereas with this, even if you say five pounds extra for a chain, yeah. a sterling silver chain to go with your pendant, I mean, you who imagine what they pay, think. Who wouldn't pay yeah. five pounds for a chain so that yeah. they have a complete gift exactly. to give to somebody? I actually think you'd get away with ten pounds easily. So if you're yeah. like doing a craft fair, in fact, if you're on a craft fair today, would you give it a try? Right? Yeah. You know, I mean, I actually can't do it today because they're here, aren't they? But okay, next time you do a craft fair, get your brain and gears in. Next time you do a craft fair. If you, if, if you had, because uh, I'm thinking, if I went up to a, a store and I saw a pendant I absolutely loved, yeah. right? And then I thought, oh, I need a necklace. And then they said, okay, would, would you like, I do have a, an array of um, sterling silver necklaces. You'd be like, all right, okay. And then they offered you three different colorways. And then they said, actually, you could just, if you just add on another tenner. Yeah. Because you know why? I've just started a little doggy business with my brother. It, oh, yeah, you won't you want to see the price list I've got. Uh, but I've just got a supplier with uh, the, a matching harness, a matching uh, lead, and a matching little poo bag holder dispenser. Yeah. yeah. The material, very pretty, but the material poo bag dispenser to sell, in, it, with a, it's lovely. Te that's £10 to house poo bags. Or you could have three 925 sterling silver, fully finished, beautifully drapeable, Gold plate, rose gold plate, and sterling silver, fully finished, 18-inch necklaces for the same price. Mm. Well done, everybody. Well done. Would you like some pendants under £10? Where are they, darling? Oh, in the box, maybe? So, I don't know, darling. Oh, God. Oh, my days. Those are amazing as well. Oh. Ross, I don't know, I'm just showing you them. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh. can I just give you a flash of them? Wow, look at the colour in pink. Goodness me. Oh, they're like Christmas bauble pearls. Wow. Oh, they're Edison, that'll be why. Ding dong. Goodness gracious, I'm going to have to, can I get them out? Do you mind? 
There's four available. Goodness me, natural material. Oh, don't you be done up. Come here. You're coming out. I'm coming out. Oh. Can I have your grey blackboard, darling, at some point, Dan? Thank you. I've done well today, an hour and a half. I've not asked you for anything, really, have I? I'll make up for it. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Last four chances. Look at the price tag. Oh, my days. We're under £100 and he's not finished. Oh, they fully drilled. Are they half drilled? or Half drilled, lovely. Oh, my goodness. Oh, grab those. 20? <laughs> Thank you, sweet pea. £29.99 for two wow. matching. If that's not a Christmas ball, ball pearl, I do not oh. know what is. What a wicked... And he's put it on split pay for Redis and Pearls. Oh, yeah. Well, amazing. Uh, yeah. Wow. Glorious. Oh, Maurice, good luck. Zoe, good luck. Heather, well done. Congratulations. You get the gift box as well. Brilliant. 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 Well done. Um, right, so... So, oh yes, so we've just had the, the, those necklaces. Have they all gone? Have we got any left? There's a couple left. Great, 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 great. Ooh, white opal. Nice. So, oh, lovely. Ooh. I'm not going to show you the gemstone first, if you don't mind. I'm going to show you the pinch bale. Okay, the pinch bale. Oh, oh it's a little branch, isn't it? Oh, it's a coral. Oh, that's a lovely. Oh, that's design, lovely. Oh. oh, how beautiful. It says coral, but I think that's quite sort of Christmassy as well, isn't it? Yeah. Like a branch, couldn't it? Or an antler or mistletoe. Yeah. Yeah. What about adding, you're probably thinking, it says white opal. Yeah. It's not just any white opal that goes with that pinch bale. It's absolutely divine. You've got the drill hole to, for the pinch bale to go through. Oh. The easiest, quickest make. Okay. Easiest, quickest make. And would you believe we're actually under £10? So there's your pinch bale, look. Wow. So if you're going to get the pinch bale, so there you go, look, that just pinches through into the into the gemstone yep. hole, doesn't it, oh, Monica Love? Very easy to do. Yeah? Just open them up a little bit. Do you need glue as well, darling? You don't need uh, it, no. Do you? Probably not. No? Okay, Probably so that not. just pinches yeah. right through the hole that's drilled. It does, yeah. Okay. Then you've got that beautiful coral uh, design or branch or, or antler or whatever you're seeing. You just got to add in the 925 sterling silver necklace that we've just done for three pounds thirty-three. Do you want to have a little? Do you want? Do you mind? I do. I, give you, I, I mean, it's you. quite substantial, so you yeah, can put glue if you, well, if if you, you really, mind. if you really wanted to uh, be sure. But I mean, it's really substantial. It's not going to open on you, so you, you don't really need the glue to no. be honest with you. No. Really. Okay. Um, right then, my lovelies, just to mention, this is where we are finishing at seven pounds ninety-nine. Oh. So if you add that into the sterling silver necklace of £3.33 in that collection, you've got a real... That's opal. Do you want me to put it together? Do you mind? Well, yeah, I'll give you one back so you can... Oh, bless it. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, We've got that. another one coming up with the coral and uh, the most incredible aquamarine. Goodness gracious. Um, and as I said, our lovely, lovely Monica is just putting it together for me. I'm so not even using tools. I'm just No, she's just doing it with her hands. She's popping it in right now. Oh, you are. oh, she's just done that. Did you see that? No, no tools, nothing. No tools, no nothing. Look at this. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's adorable. Isn't it? Doesn't that look lovely? With It's like a snowdrop, isn't it? So, you know what's going to happen. This time we're with aquamarine. A milky aquamarine. I'll turn that the right way. There you go. Look, a 16 carat whopper. Very gentle, with the same coral bale, pinch bale, and we'll match the price. All right, my lovelies, we'll absolutely match the price. What a deal. And actually, if you wanted to get creative with it uh, yeah. and use it, let's say, as, as sort of your guru bead on Marla style necklace. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the sort of the, um, I don't know what the technical term is, the little bits that go into the gemstone yeah. on the bale, yeah. they're quite long. So you yeah. could leave it a little bit further open. You could put a jump ring behind it. And you could hang a uh, sort of bit of chain with oh, tassels. Oh, that's a nice, like ooh, that a nice it. tassel. Yeah. Ooh. She's brilliant. <laughs> prongs, I think, is the word I was looking for. <laughs> the prongs that the go inside the gym. The pinch prongs. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, after the break, darling, yes? Oh, sorry, yes. Um, you know, the uh, we've got the 
gingerbread houses, we've got the snowflakes, we've got the Christmas trees, we've got a fabulous demo coming up with uh, our lovely, lovely Monica. Uh, we, it's going to be fantastic, don't you worry, my lovelies. And then we're only about half an hour away from the most incredible lavender jade deed of the day. And, and, um, Again, we were doing closeout deals on Jade yesterday. We had so many messages coming in from people saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, like Heather this morning on the Jade. Uh, thank you so much. And today, in half an hour's time, you're going to get that as well, including this cellar night that we've not had for, well, since May. So then, we'll see you after the short break. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Hello, my lovelies. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Well done on the necklaces, by the way. There might be a couple left, but it's only because we had nearly 300. Christmas close-out deal. Three cable necklaces, brand new, 18-inch, sterling silver, sterling silver with yellow gold plate, sterling silver with rose gold plate, 18-inch, 9.99 for all three. Mm. Hmm. Just thought I'd tell you mm -hmm. what to do. My first show, she tells me, I knew I'd missed her, since Christmas last year. Hence why I literally grabbed her out of the car this morning before she'd even stopped the vehicle <laughs> for a cuddle. <laughs> she didn't have any choice. <laughs> it's so lovely to see you. She, oh, you you you're lovely. So much. <laughs> oh, I have missed you. And um, how lovely that we get to do a Christmas yes. show together. I think we both love Christmas. We do love yeah. Christmas, don't we? <laughs> we do, we do. Um, yeah. So, you got... Is it, I take it this is Debbie Bulford's MDF, is it? Because these are beautifully cut. I'm not sure if it is, to be honest. I don't know, but... I'll be amazed if it is. isn't, because probably Debbie Bulford yeah. uh, uh, does come up with the most incredible MDF designs. And this... This M this MDF house is 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 just beautiful. The edges, the chimney, yeah. the the scalloped um, I mean, the it window. All, it all fits together so perfectly. Does it? Easy yeah. to build. It is. Yeah. Yeah. No Allen key needed. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so you get the gingerbread house. Your I mean it's it's Monica. You can't not have seed beads with Monica. <laughs> it just would be wrong. Lovely colours. Yeah. Really lovely colours. So I'll just pop those there as well. So you've got, so if I pop that, so this is the house that you get. I take it it comes flat packed and you build it yourself? It does, yes, uh, which is handy because you wouldn't be able to get the beads on there if it wasn't flat packed. That's a very good um, point. I'm glad you so pointed <laughs> that out. Thank you. <laughs> but, and you also get a little bit of glue with it. Um, That's good. Which you don't have to use it. I mean, it will stay together quite nicely without the glue. Uh, but if you wanted to add that little bit of extra security, or if you didn't use the glue, then you can always pack it away flat packed every after Christmas, you know. Oh, that's a good so, point as well, that, yeah. Yeah. It just depends if you want to glue it together or not. Uh, I love the fact that we've even given the, you the little cord, yeah. the little ribbon on the top as well. It's very it clever because the, the ribbon actually goes through the bottom of it. Oh, yeah. So, it, you know, it's not oh, going to so fall apart stable. because it's not, it's not held oh. hanging up by the chimney or anything okay. like that. Brilliant. Even if you didn't glue it together, it's still, you know. But that's what I mean. That's why I bet you they're Debbie, Debbie Bulford because they're just great. So you get the assembly instructions. I'm just reading it. Sorry. It's a gingerbread house. Uh, approximately 10 centimetres, 60 centimetres of 3 mil red satin ribbon and the assembly instructions, fantastic. Then you get the five colours of your seed beads, perfect for you. Uh, but again, you can customise this if you've got your own seed beads. Yes. Any colour you fancy. Um, but we've got here this lovely jade green in eight, they're all eight O's, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you've got the light yellow, you've got, sorry, I'm to just read all this. So you've got the, I feel like I'm ignoring you. You've got the white seed beads in the A2, you've got the jade green, you've got the lovely um, opaque red, that matted opaque red. You've got this lovely light yellow line crystal. You've got the jade green and you've got the capri blue, all A2s in an 11 gram tube as well. Oh, where's the glue? Um, Have you got an example? It's a little baggy. Give me a second. Okay. Sorry, you do get the glue. Oh. Okay, just to confirm. Sorry, Monica, I've sure. got a delve at your mind. Thank you, sweetheart. Ah, so this comes in a little box like that. That it becomes, is it? It oh, does. So yeah, so as you well. Can the instructions. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then there's your glue. I mean, I've hardly touched the glue, to be honest. That's with you. good. Oh, together, you do get a decent amount, look. Yeah. So you get the glue as well. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Should put that there. Look. So you get the uh, uh, full. There's your there's your um, assembly glue. Yeah. Assembly. Oh, it makes you think about assembly at school. And the full instructions as well. Okay, nice and simple. UYXE98 gingerbread house kit with all of those seed beads and the glue and the assembly instructions and the red satin ribbon to hang it with, all the MDF, all the seed beads. Oh, that's, that's lower than we thought, wasn't it? And also, of course, because it's MDF, you can colour it with, um, I'm just using permanent markers, but I mean, on Hobby Maker, we've always got these amazing markers and well, sparkly ones and all of those. If, so. You don't mind me saying, being a presenter on Hobby Maker now, if you've ever seen Sandra Rushton's Santangle shows, you could Santangle onto there, yeah. It's Santangle onto there and it would look spectacular. And we've got, if you want some colouring pens and you want shimmer mist and you want prison pens and you want alcohol and you name it, you just tune into Hobby Maker this afternoon, you've got everything you need. But yeah, and that just looks lovely the way you've coloured the roof there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Pretty, pretty. Beautiful. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. The around it does, doesn't it? it? Yeah. I really like these edges that, that, that they've put together there as well. That really makes they are. it. And also, um, you can't see it so much in this one because I've coloured over it, but if yeah. you look at the roof of the plane. Oh, yes. One, oh. There's, a, there's um, sort like of a etching, etching on there yeah. as well. Um, That's so cute, look. So you pop it in there. Can you see? So, so when you colour it, where you've got the sort of the edging, the scalloped edging there, the colour doesn't go past there unless you want it to go over it. Right. So it's really easy to get the edges really nice and sharp Lovely. as well when you're it's colouring beautiful. it. And so, yeah, it's, re it's really been thought through well. I don't know whether you noticed, because I was busy listening to Monica then. He's just dropped it to 14 99 oh <laughs> Wicked. Brilliant. Well done, Ross. Fantastic deal. So, my lovely girl, you also got another kit coming up with a snowflake, a Christmas tree and a gingerbread man, haven't you? Yes. So, can we show the gingerbread man kit, uh, as in the demo? the demo? Well, it's Brilliant. all the same technique, so that's why I thought I'm going to show you. Yeah, something, uh, nice to see something else, isn't it? Gingerbread man. Um, for, the, for the gingerbread house, obviously, the most important thing is that you put the beads on before you assemble it, especially yeah. if you're going to glue it together. I mean, if you're not going to glue it together, it doesn't matter because you can take it apart again, obviously. Uh, but you need to be able to get to the back of the, the pieces yeah. to be able to put the beads on. Okay. So, um, for, to colour it in, you just use, as I said before, whatever pens you wanted. Uh, okay. But like the gingerbread man, you don't necessarily have to colour him because he's kind of the colour of a gingerbread man anyway. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and then you've got all the holes on there, which is where you would put beads in. Now, in mm -hmm. your kits, you get size 8 beads, okay? You can switch those out to other size 8 beads if you wanted to, or you can switch them out to larger beads. Mm -hmm. Not very much larger because obviously they need to fit uh, next to each other. I mean, here you've only got two rows next to each other, so if they were bigger, they would just push apart a little, so it would be yeah. fine. But uh, you wouldn't be able to use smaller beads. So I'm just saying that if you wanted to put in other colours, don't go for a size 11 because that will go through the holes. At least not with the technique I'm showing because there's a few different ways okay. that you can do it. So the easiest technique to do, first of all, you also get a piece of ribbon with the, uh, with the decorations. Um, if you have a look at, if I can quickly show you the other two as well. So those are the other two shapes. Aww. So there's a hole at the top of the Christmas tree, obviously, and the gingerbread man to put yep. your ribbon through. And the star, if you have a look at the holes in the star, there's one point, this one here, which has got a slightly larger hole. Oh, yeah. So that's where you would put the ribbon ah. through there. So they've even thought of that. So you don't have to go through one of the small little holes. You can go through a larger hole with your ribbon. Okay? So then to add the beads, let me just put those back there. Mm -hmm. So to add the beads, you're going to need um, a needle. You don't... Well, you don't have to use a needle. You can use your, um, your monofilament as well. It's just a bit more fiddly if you want to use your mono monofilament, but that will work as well. What size needle have you gone for? So whatever then? size, to be honest with you, because all you need to do is to be able to get through those holes there. So even if you don't have your beading needles, you can actually use a sewing needle for this. Oh, OK, great. Um, but I'm using size 10 beading needle because that's pretty much what I use for everything. And I'm using, obviously, my trusty fire line mm -hmm. because, again, I use that for pretty much everything. <laughs> So, and then to add your beads, what you're going to do is you're going to, so the gingerbread man has a front and a back, obviously, because he does, but you could paint a face on the back as well. Um, and also the decorations I've done two-sided. So I've put beads on both sides. Oh, obviously lovely. with a little house, you don't need to put beads on the back because um, you won't see them. Yeah. Um, so one other thing I want to show you quickly with the, with the fire line, if you have white fire line mm. and you need, and you don't have, because we do have the coloured wildfires sometimes, yeah. which are really good. Um, but if you don't have the coloured ones and you want it to match in, oh. second, let me just get something out. Yeah, because I know Alison and yourself and Mark tend to use the forest green when you're doing all yes. the different colours of baubles and green, see, or if you're doing beers, doesn't it? Exactly. Or if you're doing something like the red uh, star, you would use the red one. But if you wanted to uh, make it a different colour, what you can do is you can take the crystal fire line or the white one and just colour it in with a marker again. So you just put it over a tissue, ah. just like ah. that, and take your mark pen. Hold it over the thread and just pull your thread through. Oh my goodness. And that's going to colour your thread like that. So you can see that that's the white bit and then that's the coloured bit oh, over there. Oh, that is some great. Of it will, some of it will rub off onto your fingers, but most of it will stay on there, so it will still stay uh, coloured. Mm -hmm. um, so that helps to Brilliant hide idea. thread a little bit. Now, mm -hmm. if you're just putting beads on one side of your of your your work, like I did on the, on the gingerbread house, it doesn't really matter what colour thread you have. But if you're going to put it on both sides, which is what I'm going to show you here, then it helps to have a colour that matches. Right. Um, so that's why it would help if you, if you coloured your thread in a little bit. 
or if you use the crystal, I mean, the crystal is almost clear, so um, you wouldn't necessarily see it that much anyway. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up. You will still have a front and a back because one side is going to look a little bit neater than the other side. Okay. Um, so come up from the back somewhere where you want to start your beads. Come up through one of the holes to the right side. Okay, just leave sort of 10 centimeters, just enough thread to be able to tie a knot on the back. And then you're going to go back down through the hole that's next to it. Okay. So you've got your thread around the two holes there. And then you're just going to tie it into a double knot on the back. You can do a surgeon's knot just to make it extra secure. So just do a normal standard knot and then for the next one go around it twice. Okay. So once and then twice just to make it extra secure. Okay. And then don't cut off the thread from the back yet, A, because it helps to hold on to it a little bit. But also, again, if you're only beating onto one side, then if you hold the thread to the back like that, then you're going to sort of attach it at different points where you're doing your beading. Um, and that's going to secure it a little bit more as well. If you're going to bead onto the back of it, you can cut it off at this point. Um, so I'm going to actually do that. So just leave a short little piece, which will kind of hide between your beads anyway. Mm. I like your scissors. My scissors are not working very well. <laughs> they look nice, they just don't work. <laughs> <laughs> right. I didn't have my first class scissors with me that we usually Aww. use. So you're going to come back up again. So I've got my knot here in the middle. I'm going to come back up through one of those holes. Okay, so that's my thread attached, okay. And then from here on, it's really simple because you're just going to pick up a bead and you're going to go back down the same hole that you're coming up, okay. So go down the same hole. This is why you don't want to use smaller beads because the size 8 bead is just going to sit there on top of the hole. It's not going to go through the hole, okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to come up through that the next... That just slots in perfectly, doesn't it? It does, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Then you're going to come up through the next hole. You can have a look at the back if it makes it easier, but if after a while you kind of get a feel for where the hole is. Yeah. So you won't need to turn it over. And then you pick up a bead again and you go back down the same hole again. And there you go. Mm -hmm. And then up through the next hole. And you just carry on like that until you've finished filling in all of the holes. Now, again, if you're doing only the one side, so like with the gingerbread house, for example, if you're only going to beat onto one side, then it doesn't matter which hole you come up when. So, for example, if I was only doing one side, you can just do one side and then you could cut out a piece of felt or something to stick on the back yeah. if you wanted to cover it up that way. If that was the case, then it doesn't matter what order you do your holes in. And when you finish this section, you can just jump across to here and then go back there because obviously you can't jump across from here to here because you see your thread going yeah. through. But you can go back to here and then go across to there. So you don't have to stop and start your thread every time if you're going to cover up the back. If you want the back to be neat and tidy or if you want to add beads like I've done on the star, obviously mm -hmm. you don't want your thread showing in between. Um, it does show, uh, I don't know if you can see it on this one, it does show a little bit there, but because I've colored in the thread in the red, or if, if you use the red fi uh, wildfire, you yeah. won't really be able to see it. And I've only got a couple of little sections where my thread crosses over um, on top of the, of the, um, the actual shape. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on the other side, I haven't got any threads crossing over, just on the back. But if you wanted to add your beads to the back, then obviously, and you wanted to look nice on the back as well, then once you've done this section, you would finish off your thread, um, which I would do by just going under the threads here at the back and do a couple of knots, uh, yeah. half hitch knots going through there just to finish off the thread. And then you would start again to do that section and that section, okay? Now, if you want to add beads onto the back, you could add them on at the same time as when you're adding the beads onto the front, but I find it easier to finish the one side first and then once you've got all your beads on there then when you've got your thread coming out the back you just pick up a bead again on the back and again go back through the same hole that you came out of but don't go through the bead on the other side so just go next to the bead on the other side so that attaches your bead onto the back and then on this side again where your thread is coming out you want to go down the next hole okay so now I'm coming out the next hole Okay, I've jumped across that way. It doesn't, doesn't really matter what order you do your holes in. Mm -hmm. Your thread is going to lie under the beads in there, so you're not going to be able to see your thread in there. And then you're going to pick up a bead again, and you go back through the same hole again, again next to your beads on the other side. So can you see I'm not going through any of the beads there. I'm just coming up next to the bead. Ah, okay, and then okay. again, so now I want to come up through this hole here. 
So I'm going to go across to that hole and I'm going to go down that hole. So now I'm coming up there. And just make sure when you t to turn it over when you are pulling your thread that your thread doesn't get caught on your other beads. Yeah. Okay, so you want your thread to go sort of under your existing beads so it goes directly across from the one hole to the next hole like that. So then it will sit under your beads and you won't be able to see your thread. It's lovely, isn't it? Okay, and then again you just pick up a bead. Mm -hmm. We will get the gingerbread kit on in one second. In fact, well, let's do you mind if I just quickly show it? Well, that's my demo done. Oh, essentially, sorry. So. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Monica. I'm so I mean, there's not really much else I can show you, to be honest with you. Just uh, it's so, so easy in to the do. Beads. And but the thing is, you, know? you can use the, use the colours of the seed bees that are in the kit, or you can um, obviously use with whichever colours you'd like for, to coordinate. If you've got, oh, those yeah. are wicked. Um, so, thank you, lovely. Oh, my thank pleasure. Um, also, just quickly on Hobby Maker, we do do a thing called gesso that you can paint over the... Um, it's like a white paste almost, isn't it, gesso? And you paint it off and it means whatever colour you then put on it, uh, instead of just being the MDF colour, it then um, it then basically means that every other colour that you put on will take quicker. Oh, so, really? there's that option as well. Mm. So, you've got the gingerbread man that uh, Monica's just been working with. You've got the Christmas tree. Okay, which you could hang, yeah, and then, but also, no, I've been calling this a snowflake, but apparently it's a Christmas cookie. Oh, I thought it was a star. I, well, <laughs> I think it's a star, but, you know, it is a snowflake. No, it says gingerbread cookies, Christmas, oh, whatever. Anyway, it's a snowflake. I'm seeing a snowflake. It's a snowflake cookie, so. Oh, does it? Oh, there you go. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thanks, Ross. Twelve ninety nine. You couldn't go into a garden centre and buy three ornaments like that, Cook. And you still, have, you still have loads of seed bees left over after. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Well done, Rosslar. So the good news is you do get the ribbon again. So you get the three mil gauge red ribbon already in there. You get the seed beads as well as the three gingerbread, the gingerbread, the snowflake and the Christmas tree. And you get this very opulent look of your Mayuki. So we're putting the best seed beads in there you can buy as well from Japan. Uh, in the Atos, these are the much, much bigger tubes of 22 gram. And you've got them in galvanized silver, opaque white, and silver lined gold with the Aurora Borealis coating as well. Okay, 12.99, brilliant. Oh, right, so that's that one. Which one are you doing next, sweetie? So what does the box come with? I've got, oh, you get the box. I think the box comes on its own, do apologize. Now this box, this trinket box is solid piece of kit, isn't it? It is, it is. It's a really well built, beautifully cut. I mean, this could be, we call, uh, it's a trinket box. I mean, it said small, I think that's a really good size. It, it is a good size mm -hmm. actually, yeah. And the lid fits on really nicely as well. Doesn't you don't it? have to force it, you no, don't, no. it doesn't, it's but snug. it does stay on. The yeah. You can actually hear that, listen to that. You can hear it connect and then, see how it, and then you can actually see how well that fits. Right, here's the thing for that. You know when you come in from work and let's say you fling your house keys or your car keys? Yes. Somewhere. How many times do you fling them somewhere and you can't remember where they are? <laughs> Every yeah? day. <laughs> Every day. So you could have that for your car keys. Yeah. You, could actually, you could actually buy a stamp with your house keys or your car keys or your yeah. home or whatever. That could be for, again, um, you know when people come in and they've got, especially the gentleman I've noticed, have a pocket full of change. Yeah. And then they fling that and it scratches everywhere and all the copper coins, yeah, all the lads are looking at me now as if to go, yeah, we know we do it, but we, it's never going to stop. Let's be real, you know? So, uh, but then you decorate it yourself. Now, Monica, as br yeah, as brilliant as Monica is, has turned that box, that plain MDF box, into this. How, what, is that just a marker pen? That's just a marker, yeah, permanent marker. I like that. <laughs> All the way around. Yeah, and then the, the strip at the bottom is a strip of uh, just peyote stitching. Is that? Look at that. And on top. So again, you do that in the same way as what I showed you in the demo. Right. And I'm actually tempted to make a little keepsake box with the Elizabeth uh, R. Oh, that would be lovely. I don't know what love. it's called, the insignia on top. Yeah, that would be lovely. And put maybe That's some coins nice. in there. Yeah. Oh, I love that back. idea. That's yeah. really lovely. Yeah. yeah, I like that. And then again, you can colour this however you want. You can do whichever colour seed beads you want. I mean, you can really go to town with this. You could, 
as Monica was saying earlier, we've seen Monica do great animal print designs and, and you can put your name yeah. in seed beads as well if you wanted to. You can put your initials in there. That MDF box is just $4.99. Four ninety-nine, yeah. Um, so well done, everybody. That is a really, really good trinket box. Could be money saving box, whatever. Um, right, just before we move on, Monica put a request in early, and if you know how polite Monica is, she doesn't often put a request in. <laughs> Monica is purple obsessed. Oh yes. Fair pipe. <laughs> this is called Galaxy Tiger's Eye. Now, I went out with my friend last weekend, and I'd got a one of the, you know, the colours of when we do the fuchsia pink and the purple and yes. the classic. Or and she was wearing that, and she looked amazing, oh. my friend Anne. This takes it to, well... Another level. Another level. <laughs> we're, out, we're out into the in, into the galaxy here. This is... These, if you like blue and purple, two of the most popular... We've got, I'm going to show you the other strands in a minute because you do get three different sizes. But they are extraordinary. Please tell me you got these. I got two lots. Ah, I thought two, you two might. Two size. <laughs> the, look, now, again, look, the chatoyancy in the galaxy tiger's eye here is with you've got those beautiful colors in there it brings look at that i mean it, it brings planet there you go that's i just want to if i just hold that one with my thumbies look look watch this now it's look magical look i mean it's a real cat size it's style like you can almost see the milky way in there can't you yeah, yeah. and it's like the ring of saturn around as oh. it as it moves that chatoyant line isn't it I'll tell you what, I'd pay 29.99 for that 10 mil, but the, do you know what the great news is? You're getting the eight mil and the six mil. Let me show, what a cut. That was, looks like it was designed for you, Monica Love. Well, it might've been, I don't know. I, I, I think it was, it deserved, look at this. Have you done anything with them yet, Flower? No, not yet, I'm no. just looking at them because they're so pretty. <laughs> they are exceptional, look at that. I'm going to put it out there. I think that is the best. That is, I, that for me is my favourite so far. Yep, my favourite tiger's eye. I love tiger's eye anyway. Yeah. This is just. But look as it moves. Look at that royal blue. Look, you've got reds in there. Goodness gracious. Congratulations, everybody. There's only a few left. Single figures. Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. This kit. The, the... Oh, yes. oh, not that one. I do apologise. Oh, ah, right. That's interesting. No, you're not getting 25 gemstones. I beg to differ, Ross. Uh -huh. I had this on Saturday. This is last of stock. Now, it's only been on once on Saturday. Over 200 went, less than 50 left. And le Do you know what we said? I went into the local uh, shop, local warehouse, and it was uh, Costco. Other shops are available, let's be real. And uh, there was a, a, a gin advent calendar, 25 little bottles of gin. £59.98 to be exact, 60 quid, okay? Couldn't justify it to myself. We bought an advent box of gemstones. You don't have to use them for advent. There are 25 boxes. Now, I can understand the faux pas that my lovely producer, because he wasn't here on Saturday, just said, saying 25 gemstones in there. No, they're not. There's 24 gemstones, including a lot of birthstones. I'll take the lid off in a second. See, oh, sorry. Um, sorry, sweetheart. Sorry, I was in the world again. But in the middle, if you wanted to go, if you wanted to do it as a um, as an advent box, there are twenty five boxes. Oh come on, don't you dare knock it open! Oh, I need to show you without the lid on. Oh, that might not happen. We've got one open, uh, Dan. No, that's not going to open. Dan, can you open it for me? Yeah. Dan? The re thank you. I told you I'd find something for you to do, didn't I, eh, Dan? Um, the reason being, there's twenty four genuine gemstones, but the one in the middle has got 20 wow. zircon. That's your Christmas day. They look like diamonds, rainfall. Oh my goodness me, you are brilliant, Dan. So can I, there is a list of gemstones that this incorporates, Ross, my love. Over 200 sold on Saturday with myself. This, we found elsewhere, this track, somebody messaged in and said, is there any chance you can get the, the collection boxes and sell them separately, which we are working on. This had, a, there, was a, there was another company that had this collection box without any gemstones in it, right? So forget the, forget the 40, Four, no, 44. 44 gemstones, thank you, Monica. 44 gemstones that are in there. The box that we found elsewhere like this was 24 99 just the boxes. Wow. On its own, twenty four ninety nine. 
You won't get your breath on this one. Please grab them quickly. It's the final opportunity. Over 200 went on Saturday. I'll talk you through the gemstones in a moment. Thank you, Ross, because we have lots of birthstones in here. 15 carats in total. And if I just give you an example here, this month is, is, is um, September. Do you realise how much we're offering you this sapphire for in the box? Bear in mind, we worked out what it would cost per gemstone if you took away the, 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 the boxes, I think it was, because the box collection was 24.99. Mm -hmm. It meant that with the cost elsewhere of those boxes at 24.99, each one of these gemstones, including sapphire, including chrome diopside, and they're amazing quality stones as well, including Swiss blue topaz. Oh, my God. I uh, know, step cut Swiss blue topaz. We're then going into the likes of your, get this, I mean, we're talking serious. Um, hang on, I've got emeralds, I've got garnets, I've got tourmalines that look like absolute rubelites. I mean, look at the peridot. Again, another birthstone. We've got fire opal, would you believe? Fire opal. Wow. If you, yeah, listen, right, if you take what Ross isn't going to get his breath now, if, if, we've got another, we've got a, yeah, I'll show you in a second. This is your Ethiopian opal. I'm just trying to find the fire opal in there. I've got, I've got it there somewhere. That's your Ethiopian opal, which is absolutely incredible. If you take the box price away of $24.99 elsewhere, do you know how much these gemstones are that we're giving them to you for today? I think it worked out something like 11p. <laughs> Don't quote me, I might have that wrong. I'm sure we worked it out at something like 44 gemstones. <laughs> something like 11p, it was just absolutely ridiculous. Bearing in mind, look at the birthstones we've got. We've got emerald. They're big stones. We've got Tanzanite. I mean, look at the amethyst, it's sensational. There's 44 gemstones in here. Include it, look at that, amethyst, oh, absolutely. Well. Mm, mm. Yeah. So it's 24 99 for the boxes on another website. So if you had 24 99 for the boxes and then 25 pounds for the box, that's a spessa tight garnet. <laughs> We do have smoky quartz in there. We've got the clarity of smoky quartz, okay? It works out to be 11 pence a gemstone. Oh, wow. Now, we were saying that is actually beating the cost of... You might have seen, if you go into used stores and you, you see, like, Marks and Spencers, they do a lovely makeup advent calendar, don't yeah. they? You see Kath Kidson, she does, a, she does like a, a lovely gift uh, 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 advent calendar. You might find a Cascale one, a, a whiskey one, a gin one. We're actually offering 24 gemstones for one day. What we were saying is, again on Hobby Maker, this week, I think it's Thursday, there is an opportunity to show you how to build your own advent calendar. Oh, right. in boxes on Thursday afternoon, I think it is. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it is. So the thing is, if you tune into that in the afternoon after, after Jewelry Maker's finished, you can make your own advent calendar, house a gemstone each wow. day, then have people in your friendship group and family group that open their advent calendar day with their birthstone in oh. it. See where I'm going. Oh. Brilliant. And this is the one I want to show you. Now, I don't think, I don't know if I can get it out of the box. This, oh, I've got to show you this. This is a crystal quartz. It looks like a diamond. Get ready for this price. Please get them checked out while there's any left. As I said, over 200 flew out the door on Saturday. You don't have to go Advent. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> 29 99 Wow. The box was 24 99 It means you're getting 44 gemstones for a five pound note. Wow. Because obviously you can reuse the boxes after you've used up the gems. Well, this is the thing you see. We yeah. had a lady message, and I think it was Marie. She said, is there any chance we can get the boxes again for any of the loose gem gemstones we've bought? And we're looking into that for you now. We really are. Um, this is your, what we thought was Christmas Day. It's actually snowing gemstones. 20 sparkling, the ultimate godfather of gemstones, Zircon. I mean, goodness me. You're an instant gem collector with this. Absolutely no two ways about it. Would you like the full list of the gemstones? Can I have those back again, sweet pea? Thanks, Ross. So, we'll check when it's a birthstone, okay? We have got white zircon, 
brand zircon they are birthstones opal is a birthstone sorry can i have that back so it's all right darling sorry fire opal is a birthstone ethiopian opal is a birthstone swiss blue topaz is a birthstone imperial topaz is a birthstone tourmaline is a, is, is a to is a birthstone you got smoky quartz amethyst birthstone mystic topaz birthstone lemon quartz gray moonstone birthstone sapphire birthstone appetite beryl Garnet birthstone, emerald birthstone, specitite, garnet birthstone. You see where I'm going with this. Iolite, topaz birthstone, peridot birthstone, blue zircon birthstone, tanzanite uh, birthstone, and uh, gorgeous, my ultimate favourite, chrome diopside. Each of these gemstones works out to be 11 pennies a piece. Wow. Okay, we did have less than 50 available. We did have. Look at that. Gorgeous. We had 44 to start, 50 to start with, I think it was roughly. Imagine if you make commission jewellery. I mean, how professional are you exactly. going to look if you, if you go to a customer with this box and say you can pick out... Pick your up your own gemstone. Pick out your own gemstone. I mean, my goodness me, you have got the most incredible gems in here. It's unbelievable. Look at this one here. Now, I thought this was ruby. Look at that. Is that garnet? Goodness. That looks like garnet, but that looks like the best garnet ever. And that, bear in mind, I haven't got time to take all these out of, out of, the, out of the plastic boxes, but imagine that when it's actually... Look, does look ruby-like, doesn't it, or garnet? I mean, look at this. Fire opal. Wow. 29.99 for all of these amazing... Oh, look at the moon. Can I show you the grey moonstone? Let me show you the grey moonstone. It's so pretty. Look at that. Little mark on the box there, Scoot. There you go. Little glowing. Oh, it's going to go so lovely with our with our selenite. These are absolute quality gemstones. Can I show you the opal again? Isn't it wow. I mean, most of us would pay twenty nine ninety nine for a quality opal like that, wouldn't we? Under a cl plastic covered box there. So you're going to get the same. If you buy two of these, mm. you will get the same gemstones in both boxes. Yes. I would definitely get two then. Yeah, so would I. You know, Shall I get, see if I can get the yeah, exactly. Just to get earrings of those. I mean, goodness me, they're, honestly, I think they're so well done up. I don't really want to sort of no, they're all too well done up. So if I just put some of these in front of in front of camera, emerald, taupe, I mean peridot, amethyst. You've got all those zircon. I mean, ideally, I'd, I'd be moving them for you. That sapphire is ridiculous. Look at that sapphire there. So you've got your peridot, you've got your zircon, you've got your emerald. Well done on this, everybody. We're down to nearly single figures. That's your Swiss blue topaz. Uh, that's your incredible opal, your amethyst. I'm just wiggling a cheeky royal blue sapphire here. I mean, look at that. 29 Who wouldn't pay $29.99 for that? that? Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. And then, as I say, lemon quartz, your chrome diopside. I mean, the list just goes on. I haven't even got them, even, I haven't even got them all out yet. I have single figures left. You can reuse it. You don't have to use it as an advent. That was just an idea. Um, it was just an idea. We just thought it was a lovely idea to actually make somebody a, a genuine gemstone advent calendar. You spent less than 30 quid. Um, and also you've got the chance on Hobby Maker this afternoon, uh, on Thursday afternoon, to actually be taught how to make your own advent calendar. And it's easy. Ease. Even I can make a box. Honestly, it's honestly. When you learn how to make your own jewellery boxes with, with people like Hunky Dory, you'll never go you'll never go back. You'll never go back. I mean again, look, there's just too many to show you. Forty-four gemstones and the display box and the individual display boxes for less than thirty pounds. It do you know, I'm actually annoyed at myself. I meant to go home and buy this for my friend Katie and I completely forgot. What a div. I'm not gonna get it now, am I? Over allocated and then some, my friends. We've got Mari, we've got jury maker Brenda, Helen, Jane, jury maker Noreen, Jane, Annette, Emma, jury maker Jan, jury maker Cheryl, jury maker, jury maker, you've got to check out. Chrissy, you've just got it. Heather, Janet, Diane, Julie, Wendy, well done. I have five opportunities and there are 20 dazzling zircon in the centre. Um, Janet just said, I know you did. She said, oh, I bought one on Saturday and I've got another one now. I couldn't not. Big hugs, Janet. There you go. That says it all. Yeah. And I bet you, you haven't had it. You have, have you had it delivered yet, Janet? Probably not. She's already, she said, you know what? I wished I'd... I forgot, Janet. Yeah. I forgot. Menopausal brain fog. When I <laughs> completely forgot. Oh, sorry. There's a, oh, a little gemstone. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> 
He's sorry. Nickel appetite. Sorry, appetite. Oh, he was all on his own then, like the one that doesn't get picked for the... For now, the... now he's in the prime spot. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> well done, everybody. Hey, I tell you what, you didn't miss out that one, did you, Ross? He's like, I wasn't going to miss that, thank you very much. Um, right, my lovelies. Um, it'll take me a while to get those back, so just bear with me. After the break, we have got... You know, we've banged on this morning about how rare... Um, the blue jade is, how rare red jade is, and how rare lavender jade is. And remarkably, in one 60 minute hour, well, 50 minute hour now, we've got close out deals. Close out deals. If you want to own rare lavender jade, don't go anywhere for the next 50 minutes. If you need the loo, go now if it's safe to do so. You know, be quick. You know, don't worry about putting the kettle on. I'm, oh, <laughs> grab a glass of water. Don't go anywhere. And also, First time since May, we actually have not one, but two strands of the glorious liquid light that is selenite. See you in a minute. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. 
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Lovely deal of the day for you today. Well, deals of the day. We've got a lovely selection. We've been talking about the incredible jade. We've been talking about um, carvings that we had on the show yesterday. And I think yesterday, practically every single one of those carvings in the selection that we had yesterday sold out. We've got double, oh yeah, sorry, darling. We've got carvings on both sides. We've got black jade. We've got multicolored jade. We've got selenite coming up as well. And if you would like to own, I mean, we had the closeout deal on chains this morning. Absolutely brilliant. But we don't expect to get closeout deals on one of the rarest colors of jade, which is our lavender. And we're allowed to do it again today. Crazy 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 deals on 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 rare lavender jade today we're starting with now i was on with susie on saturday susie men and my guest designer and she and her husband wear one of these each we have got yes we've had the lavender um sorry we've had the jade bangles um uh, but when you get the rings as well, she now wears this under her wedding and engagement ring and I her husband that. does as well. Did yeah. you see the black one? Yeah. yeah. These are great and these are good sizes as well. These are so soft. You're going to start with the big one, are you? Okay. So let me show you here what we're talking about. Uninterrupted, phenomenal quality, natural, obviously. Jade rings. This is your rare lavender jade. Now, when this first launched, it was a remarkable, we went straight to $79.99 and we kept it with a four-way split pay. So everybody could get hold of the lavender jade and over 150 sold out on the launch. Look at that. Actual lavender jade and you can see it there it's almost blue isn't it wow it's that lavender amazing. jade yeah today this is how the next hour is going to go okay launch price 79.99 over 150 sold close out deal today are you ready for this oh my goodness are you joking oh my days ross nice oh my goodness <laughs> Is that 50 quid back in your pocket to spend on something else? Is that 50 pounds? <laughs> Seriously? How did Wayne get that deal, Ross? Oh, my days. I'll tell you what, um, can I ask you a favour? Sure. Could you, could you grab the ring uh, size, or if you've got one to hand, if the, I don't know whether that gold one's actually got the um, markings on, I'm not sure. Oh, you got one? Ah, 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 he's got oh. one. Thanks. He's just come straight. Now, the only thing is I haven't got my... Uh, is that, if that's an R to S? No, S, that's about size S, isn't it's it? An S, yeah. That's an S, there you go. Let me turn that round for you. Sorry, I've got my, I meant to bring me reading glasses and that didn't happen. Yep, there you go, look, it's a size S. So that's a nice, good size. Inner diameter, 18 to 19 mil. So if you've been waiting for one of the uh, lavender jade rings in the larger size, that is it. Inner 18 to 19 mil, roughly a size S. And as Dave and Jake will say, our gem investors, if you can find a solid ring, a, a band of jade, whether that be a bangle or a ring, and it fits you, buy it, because it's meant for you. What I was going to say, it's really lovely to have the rings, because obviously not everybody can stretch to the price of a bangle. Absolutely. With a ring, you still have all the symbolism, you still have the gemstone, yep. you still get the same feeling wearing it that you would get exactly. with a bangle, but yep. a lot more people would be able to... I like Angela's. Now, Angela was the first person to check out. And Angela, I like your way of thinking. She went, oh, wow, if it doesn't fit, oh. 
Oh. I'll put it on a chain at that price, Ange. Yes. Well, Ange, you had £3.33 sterling silver necklaces today, yes. didn't you, love? Or gold or rose gold plated. Oh, Caroline, hello, darling. She's just said, I bought Lavender Jadeite ring and I paid £79 more from you, but it's so worth it. <laughs> this is the thing, Caroline. Even when we get a deal like that, we don't begrudge anybody else, do we? We just think, well, I was chuffed at £79.99. So, good for you. Hello, darling. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I feel like I felt like Harry Potter then. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure you can see all the sizes because I don't always think that inner diameters and things help, do they? The lavender. And uh, we've got this as medium. Uh, sorry, say again. Bigger carrot weight. Oh, interesting. Oh. oh, it is chunkier though, isn't it? Yeah, so M and so that's about a P look, a P to Q. So that's about a size eight. Yeah. P to Q, if I remember correctly. Yep. And that's 49.99. Bigger, 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 bigger carrot weight. I'm afraid I've only got four left, okay? 30 day money back guarantee. And I love that with Angela. If it doesn't fit my finger, it's going on my neck. Well, exactly. As, as, as she says, you don't have to wear it as a ring. You can use it if you have a, a strand of jade. You can make a necklace, uh, sort of like a lariat style, and use Lovely. this for the ring. Yeah, agreed. It goes on the end of it. So, yeah. Absolutely. Well done, everybody. Over allocated. Got one chance left. It's on split pay, and the split pay costs you now extra. That's the first two lavender rings gone. Can I pop those over there, darling, yes. so that I don't Ooh, lose them? Well, well done. Well done, well done, well done. <laughs> Okay, so the high goo, I'm glad that Ross always tells me that because I always forget the name of it. And it, I always think donut, and donut just doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> In again, your rare, rare, rare lavender jade. Now, when we first started doing donut gemstones, they were much larger holes in the middle, weren't they? Yeah. Do you remember? But with the high goo, with the sophistication of lavender, we've actually made it almost all lavender jade with a tiny, lovely hole, much more subtle in the oh, centre. Yes. So that you get more lavender jade. All, again, let me just mention, for the previous two rings, they are type A, they are Burmese, they have sold out, they were lavender. Every single jade I bring you in the next 40 minutes is genuine, can be authenticated with its certificate of authentication, okay, authenticity. You can get those yourselves. They are always, always important, especially if you're putting, and we would suggest you put your lavender jade and any jade that you buy from us on your house insurance as a separate uh, item away from the home. £99.99 .99 for the um, high goo, which is the, the, the name for, it's a big, big carrot weight as well in one go. It's 25 carrots in one solitaire. And we're under £50. Wayne has absolutely... Is he in the building today, that munchkin? He's about, is he? Big important meetings on a Monday and a Tuesday here. Oh, yeah. £12.49 gets you... Wow. £12.49 <laughs> gets you a 25-carat solitaire stone in that high goo for under £50. That's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. And I mean, as before, we had the um, we had the sterling silver chain. You just need to put it through there. Exactly. So like a lark said lot. Yeah. yeah. That's all you've got to do. I don't know if you've got any chains left, but if you want to go back to jewellerymaker.com and if you have a look, uh, click on Watch Live, scroll down. We had a Christmas closeout necklace deal earlier. We've just gone... Oh, you just saved another... Was that another 20% off? Ooh. Oh, you little star. Oh, you little gorgeous man. I'm back, I'm back with my mask now. Elaine in County Down. Dorothy, you're on the phone to our amazing call centre. Uh, Rachel, Suja... Uh, 25 carrots there. Um, who's that just coming? Oh, Elaine's trying to get two. Oh, Elaine, good luck, good luck. Janice is in in Lincolnshire as well. Oh, I met somebody from Lincolnshire the other day and they were saying it's really lovely in Lincolnshire. Oh, never been. Is it quite flat? Is it? I hear, I, I might be wrong. Would you let me know, Janice? I hear it's quite flat or have I got it wrong? Well, I've just been on holiday to Holland. <laughs> I don't think it's as flat as Holland. <laughs> oh, you have just been... <laughs> it is Lincolnshire, isn't it? Yeah. So you'd had a lovely time in Holland, didn't did, you? Yes, it was really nice. Did you tiptoe through the tulips? No. No. Oh. But we saw a lot of windmills. <laughs> windmills, they're yeah. lovely, aren't they? Oh, I love them. Hello, Dan. Oh, you're Yeah. That's nearly gone. Good luck, Brenda. Good luck, Brenda. You got a little parcel? Ooh. Sorry, that didn't sound quite right, did it? Oh, 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 
Oh, that graduation, Monica. Wow. I like having you next to me. Oh, You're lovely. <laughs> I like being she, next to you, oh. Zena. <laughs> you had to say that then, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Could I ask a favour, Adam, director? Adam, would you mind if I pop this on the overhead so you can see my lovely, extraordinary jewellery design that I just put together my, myself? You see, I would set it just like that. As a would thing. you? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe put this underneath. Yeah, should we go a bit more? Should we go a bit? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I can't slide. Oh, I can slide it there. Look, there you go. How lovely is that? This is a parcel. Uh, see, this is, this is where Monica, I mean, you need to step aside, lady. <laughs> Sorry, I hey? can't help myself. It's <laughs> <laughs> six mil, eight mil, ten mil. How very dare you <laughs> ruin my design. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with your cabochon in your lavender. Launch for all four at 79.99. That wow. makes them, what, £20 each for lavender jade. Oh, la, la, pendants or earrings or sweeted jewellery or rings or whatever you fancy. You've actually got eight, 12, I make that 15 carats. Eight carats in the 12 mil, four carats in the 10, two carats in the 8 mil and one carat in the 6. Would you like a huge, huge, huge saving? How many people actually own Lavender Jade? Oh, see, no, I find that offensive. <laughs> I actually find that offensive. <laughs> you know how I have to line things up. Have you seen what she's done, Adam? Mm. Adam? <laughs> oh, no, I can't cope with that. I can't cope with that. <laughs> OCD. No. I'll put it back. No, I actually do quite like it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Make a little snowman in Lavender Jade, can oh, you? Yeah. Yeah, a little snowman. You could do a bit of a snowman. 29, they're not even a tenner each. Wow. wow. He's just saved, in the last couple of deals, he saved you £100. It's like you've won the Wall of Fame. Isn't it? Oh. Yeah. Do the back? No, I actually did like that little design you did. It was nice. I actually did, I did like it. I just it's pretended different. I didn't. <laughs> I just wish, I'd never think of something like that because that's really quirky. I really like that, actually. No, it's a bit wonky, but... No, yeah. I like it. My friend said that to me once, my Italian friend. She said, she rang me up. She was talking about OCD, you know, obsessive compulsive. So she went, what's that thing you've got? Is it cod? <laughs> I said, no, 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 it's, it's OCD. She went, oh, right, I thought it was cod. This is God. my fella. <laughs> well done, everybody. Congratulations. Lavender Jade, Lavender Jade, Lavender Jade, Lavender Jade. Oh, man, I've been waiting for this all day. Okay. It's, that's what I do when I get nervous. I'm like, you, you just get me a little comfort blanket, fringe in order. We had a strand with Elle and Gemma Crow back in May, 23rd of May, if I remember correctly. Um, and they had a strand. It's the only time. And I think at the time then, we had two items of selenite on their website. One was one of Alex the Mineral Man's lovely um, this... towers. Okay, yeah. Thank you. And the other one, I think, was some sort of marla board with one random selenite in for the crown chakra. That, that was it on the whole, in the whole of our vault. Um, when we talk about this gemstone, we don't... We, I mean, this is, if, you, if you talk about crystals, and again, if you believe in crystal healing and chakra and all that, again, some do, some don't, but the popularity of chakra jewellery and uh, crystal healing and meditation yeah. and mindfulness and all that has actually made selenite almost impossible to get. Yeah. Because of popularity-wise. When they talk about a crystal, a, 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 a healing crystal, a, a balancing crystal, a meditation crystal, selenite is the powerhouse of all crystals. If you talk to anybody, I know Lynn Jinks of Gemporia, one of our amazing long-standing presenters, she's just passed her, all her qualifications. And I said, if you had to name one of the most powerful crystals and gemstones, what would it be? She said, selenite. And Alex the Mineral Man will tell you the same thing, selenite. That is coming up. What you get is liquid light and the most incredible, fanciful striations. Glorious. And it will highlight and elevate any gem or seed bead you put with it. Anything. Yeah. That will go in heartbeats. Please, please. That is within the next half an hour, isn't it, Sweet Pea? Yeah, great. In the little pot. Oh, thanks, Dan. 
No. Oh, oh, look, it looks like a vase. <gasps> oh, that is absolutely beautiful. That's six carrots of lavender jade. Oh, oh my goodness, just one of those on a, on a chain. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I see, that's what I... Is it... It's drilled all the way through. All the way through. I'll show you that in a minute. You're never going to believe your breath. Now, look at that. That's a devilish price, isn't it? £6.66 on split pay. Under £20. We're trying to bring rare lavender jade to the absolute... Just show you the drill hole. Congratulations. It's very generous. Now, I've got some drop cabochons. I'll tell you what you don't hang about. You can't hang about, can you, at these deals? <laughs> Um, we've got some drop cabochons. Oh, look at those. Oh, oh they're beautiful. Wait till oh. you see next ones. So launch price on screen. I would double buy, multi-buy, buy two. Then you've got a nice pendant. You've got a couple of earrings. You've got a ring. Lavender jade, rare. Again, every single, oh, sorry. Every single jade, lavender included, um, is, whoops, a daisy. Oh, these, I tell you what, I'm, I'm dropping the drops. Uh, is genuine, is natural. Now, we've bought this previously. We've managed to get closeout deals. Previously sold out at 49.99. Oh, Ross, yes, please. We need, we need a pick-me-up right now. 49.99 sold out. We've managed to do a better deal this time around. There's no two ways about it. Wayne has excelled himself. I think he must have... I don't know, I don't know who he's bought these from, but I don't think they quite knew what they had. Type A, lavender jade, two drops, one um, 12 by 10 and one 14 by 10. And would you believe, did you hear what price he said then? I didn't, know. Can you say it again, Ross? <gasps> Does that mean that each one's £10 each? Each one's £10 each, Finn. Gosh. Have you met Finn, by the way? I have once, yeah. He's nice, isn't he? <laughs> Finn's our new, <laughs> our new tech op, he's lovely. Uh, we're going under £20 for both. Yeah, everybody's like, did you just say that? Under <laughs> £20 for both. I mean, I nipped into a little farm shop on the way home yesterday and just bought some random little things. And I spent nearly 15 quid on just like a oh, loaf yeah. and some couple of potatoes and a... I did buy a cream tea, a clotted <laughs> cream and jam and scones. That's probably where the money was. Uh, well done. Are you just stickling with the devilish numbers, £6.66? Do you know my mum used to have that on a number plate? Oh, really? Yeah, she lived at number 13 <laughs> and she had number plate was 666. <laughs> it says it all, doesn't it? Oh, dear me. Anyway, my lovelies, £19.99. You can pay 49 99 if you wanted to go back a few months. But that's the power. And this is why... Could I just add in why this is really important? Because whilst we're getting a great saving, I don't want you feel... I don't want anybody that checked out at 49 99 to feel begrudgingly. Gemstones... Yeah, I'll get those next, darling. Gemstones aren't, uh, they're not like buying a tin of something or something that has got a set price. Uh, mind you, even that, whoops, a daisy is going up at the moment. Um, it's all about who you buy from, where you buy from, how much you buy, what point you buy. That's why you cannot put a standard. You can't look at those and go, well, I paid 49.99 for those last week and now they're 20. It's just the deal we got. It's, it's not to upset anybody that bought it previously. It's just, if you bought it previously and you loved it, get them at the naughtier price. It's, it, it, it's not designed to upset you. It's simply buying at the right time at the right place. Yeah. It's as simple as that. It also depends on the, the quantity you buy. Mm -hmm. you know. It does indeed, absolutely. And these are closeout deals. That means we bought every single one. This shape is divine. So I have to pick it up so you can actually see it. In fact, there you go. Somebody's much better at tweezers than me. Is that you, Adam? <laughs> Look at that. Would that be nice wire wrapped, wouldn't it? It as well? would. Beautiful as a ring, wouldn't it? Mm. This is your S-shape lavender. This beautiful, gentle, wavy jade eye in lavender again. Utterly natural, and you are getting both. Again, the only opportunity we've ever been able to secure for you, which is blooming brilliant, I have to say, at 69.99. On a four-way split pay, we are absolutely determined to ensure that anybody wants to and yearns to own jade of any colour. 
always you're going to get quality because you get Taipei. We don't do anything else. We do the ultimate natural Taipei Burmese jade. All natural. So if you manage to get this for 69.99, you know because you've been, we've all been educated by Dave and by Jake and we've self-educated as well. You know that's an awesome, awesome, awesome price. Thanks, Dan. And actually with those, I was playing around with them a moment ago. You can turn them into a little uh, flower if you put them next to each other. Oh, that's a nice one. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that lavender jade. Lavender jade in two miraculously beautiful shapes and we're talking £7.49. <laughs> You, can, you can't get a dessert for that round the corner in Henley and Arden. No. You can't. I mean, it is no. a bit posh around there, but you certainly can't get anything like that. A dessert. twenty nine ninety nine. Do you know what the thing, though, is people in Henley, they do think they're posh, and they are quite posh, you know, some of them. My dad lives there, so that's not happening. <laughs> um, but I bet you, if I walk down the high street in those jays today, I bet you there isn't a single person on that high street that owns lavender jade. Yeah, most likely, yeah. Willing to yeah. bet that. Yeah. Well done, everybody. Yes, darling. Right, so that was all lavender, 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 lavender. What's the other one? Now, Susie Menon was on the show on Saturday. She was saying, after apple green jade, what's the next rarest colour that everybody's desperate to get hold of at the moment? White. Mm -hmm. White. Now, sadly, we don't have many, but if you put the selenite with the white jade... Oh, gosh. <gasps> mm. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Goodness gracious. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. It <gasps> wow. doesn't get better than that, does it? Wow. It is your mutton. I mean... I never like, I never like describing, I, I don't, I'm sorry, it's like when you talk about pigeon red ruby, it just sounds <laughs> unpleasant. No, but mutton fat, mutton fat is one of the most collectible jades on the planet. Now that high goo, which is a donut, with that mutton fat white jade, there's no two ways about it, what a collector's piece that wow. is, Monica. That, that's another, another one of those pieces of jewellery that you're going to feel different wearing it, isn't it? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Angela, I hope you're coming in for this one as well. I love that fact earlier totally with the ring when she went, if it don't fit my finger, it's going on my neck. <laughs> uh, DFM274 is your code. Again, every single item they buy from Jewellery Maker. 30-day money-back guarantee. Dan, are you manufacturing like the best quality jade out there? Sorry, are you manufacturing the best? Oh no, oh no, I'm in trouble. I looked into Dan's <laughs> eyes. Dan, can you please leave the floor? Dan, take your eyes elsewhere, thank you. <laughs> Have you looked into them? You don't want to do it, man. I haven't, no, but I just thought of you. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Paul Newman. You know the eyes of Paul Newman? That's what we're talking about. Daniel Craig. <laughs> I would grab this now while you get the opportunity because it will be, it will get you. It's only going to be, a, it's going to be a blink and it will be gone. Taipei, genuine. And at one minute in 60 seconds. <laughs> I know you said it was going to be a good show of Jade today, but you weren't kidding, Ross. Goodness me. This is, it, it might be the thing, right, where you get up in the morning and you think, oh, we've all got things on our bucket list, haven't yeah. we? What's oh, on yeah. your bucket list? Oh, lots of things. Lots of things. Yeah. Have a think of it. We want to know one before the end of the show. Skydiving. You, skydiving. Oh, I want to do it. <laughs> do that with me. I want to do it. I'll do that with you. Um, so, bucket list, lavender jade. There's gemstones that we never think we'll own. You know, a natural red diamond. You know, Sarite, Grandidiorite. Oh, We've made yes. that an opportunity today with the Grandidiorite, haven't we? And then yeah. some. That three, is that three, if you got that three carat solitaire of Grandidiorite this morning, my goodness me, that is the steal of the day. Would you believe that we're not, would you like 50 pounds off or 100? Or would you like 100 and 50 pounds off? Uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> yes, what, what? Brenda, don't worry, darling, you're going to get it under £50. Oh, wow. 
You think how much an expensive Krispy Kreme or the, gem, or the, or the donuts are available? You, you pay over 10 quid for a tray of them. Yeah. Don't you? And the problem is if you buy a tray, then you have to buy another tray and then another tray and then... Exactly. <laughs> and then think of all the weight you put on and all the sugar you're taking in. Not happy. DFM274, well done, congratulations. Do we have many, Ross? So, okay, so at the moment, if everybody uh, checks out, you are going to get one. Well done. Sorry to move on so quick, you've just got two minutes to get through. You're getting a right collection over there, aren't I you? I have. This little tray in front of me is starting to look really good. <laughs> Goodness. Monica. <gasps> this isn't... I know we. I know we knocked. Can I just say? I know we knocked out with the price, and I don't want to go away from the price because I know it's a big deal, and I know that Ross is absolutely chuffed to bits. Wayne's chuffed to bits with the price he got. Great, brilliant, and I, I, I applaud you guys. But this isn't about price. <laughs> it just isn't about mm. price. It just isn't. It's about the utter joy of owning one of the most desirable gemstones of our planet. That rectangle, huge, huge piece of jade. Natural Burmese jade, 37 carat whopper with a great big yummy drill hole. So you can pop in there what you want. Oh, we're under 20 pounds. It's difficult not to bang on about the price. It is, yeah. With all, with all fairness. Yeah. That's also a really lovely shape, isn't it? Because even if you're a beginner jewellery maker, you know, you can prong set that, you can bezel around it, yeah. you can put it in um, gallery wire, you can do all sorts, all of, sorts. of that. How are you saying that? What does much lower mean after £20, lovely? Uh, we have created a little bit of a wait on the phone lines, but the good news is that wait won't cost you anything for the phone call because it's free phone, OK? Now then, those of you with it in your baskets, you hover, you might miss out. We will. MCP038. Do we have many, darling? Oh, there's good news. We've got a limit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop the show. £12.9. I've spent more than that on these little odds and what's it's from the farm shop on the way home yesterday. £12.99. You are add. Uh, £12.99. And you are welcome to do just that, Angela, and jewelry maker in Surrey, and Suja. You are entitled to buy two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is awesome. You could even, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say it quickly. I'm actually going to say, I'm going to have to say this quickly. You could put that in a key ring. Oh. <laughs> I, okay, I said it. I actually said it. But it's big enough, isn't it? You could at least say bag charm. That's a bit Bag charm. Nice. But £12.99, <laughs> yeah. people. £12.99. I'm going to say, there's me going, oh, I'm not going to keep talking about price. Yep, yeah, Maker in Surrey, that's exactly what I'll be doing, darling. I'll be buying five Maker in Surrey. Imagine if you made a keyring from that and you lost your keys. You'd be like, oh, I lost yeah, my jade. Lost, exactly, you'd <laughs> be like, yeah. My keys. <laughs> Would you? Oh, I'm going to put it out there. Would everybody, does anybody have £10? Would everybody like to, to exchange £10 for a white jade? <laughs> I've just said that out loud. I've actually just said that out loud. If you're a fan of jade, now this one is very, 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 very limited. Don't worry, the selenite's coming up. The selenite's coming up. The selenite's coming up. The selenite is nearly upon us. On a £10 note, we'll buy you today on Jewelry Maker, most bizarrely, an actual, natural, type A, cut into a beautiful fan shape, which is very, very flattering. Very flattering indeed. It's nine carats. Wow. Wow which is just over one pound a carrot for white jade. I'd definitely get three of those, a pair of earrings the, and a pendant. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, my days. Congratulations. I don't have my glasses, which I meant to... Is the, is the draw hole through the, the point there? I'm so sorry, everybody. I don't have my glasses on me, and I meant to put them on this morning. Is it drawled? Or is it... Um, it is. I think it might be. I think it's half drilled from the top. Half drilled at the top. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thanks, gorgeous. Type A, jade, natural, white, Burmese, under £10, congratulations. And can we say a huge thank you to Wayne? Wayne, Pasco Wayne. Is he watching? Hello, he's actually <laughs> always watching. He's actually always watching. Mm -hmm. Well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. <laughs> There you go. I'm just giving you all my jade. Um, oh, Bernadette, well done, sweetie, as well. Well done, well done. Um, yeah, so yesterday, quite rightfully so, every single um, jade, jade carving that we bought to air sold out. So that's the way it's going to go again today. Now, this, this... Oh, sorry, I just saw one then. That did, was that... Uh, that's coming up as well. Brilliant, brilliant. Brilliant, okay. Yeah, so, this, this was the first thing I saw when I came into the studio. Was it? And what, 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 what was your reaction when you saw this? I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just <laughs> unbelievable. This is the double-sided, drilled right through, incredible scene. We only have 14 remaining. If I did, I'm going to do what I did yesterday with the comments, if, if you don't mind. Just before we go into all of that detail, when you, I mean, it's the most bizarre thing. It's like the biggest, chunkiest cookie of jade you've ever seen. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but it'd be hard enough to cook, cut into and carve into a cookie. But when you've actually got to deliver on one of the most densest... The thing is, the way the, 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 the crystals form in a jade, it interlocks. So, you know, when you do, you know, that what's that little saying where you have the church and the people and open it inside? You've got, do you remember mm -hmm. that? Oh, but yeah. that, when you have something that interlocks like that in a crystal formation, like it does in jade, you've got solid, solid density and, mm -hmm. and, and, and yeah. really strong gemstone. And then to have somebody that's got the nerve that's got the steady hand, that's got the confidence and the experience. And we're talking generation after generation after generation. This is seeped in history. This is integral. We did actually manage to do a deal through Dave and his connections. At, um, and he managed to get a remarkable 145 of this master carving double-sided and here's the scene you've got the mountains you've got the bridge you've got the house you've got the water you've got the person on the bridge you've got the water flooding underneath it's absolutely exquisite we had 14 remaining we now have 12 this has been the carving that I would probably say yes we've had the deers and the koi carp and the lotus flower and we've had the dragons and we've had the tiger and we've had all these amazing amazing really important designs on our master carvings but this one with the scene, with the landscape, has been, I would suggest, one of the most sought after of our whole collection. It's what everybody's talking about. It's, I mean, look at that. As I, as, I, as I show you that, you can see the amount of layers and the amount of detail yeah. that the carver has managed to get out of this incredible design. And I mean, I've seen it on air a few times, but looking at it in, in real life is completely it's different, just, isn't it? It's amazing. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Type A black jade. Burmese. Okay, if I turn this around as well, you can see absolutely gigantic drill hole. We do have a spinning holder that's on order that will be coming into stock as soon as possible. We're just waiting for delivery. It has been ordered. Two hundred and ninety carats in one piece of jade, and all that remarkable. And the tree designs over here look. There's so much detail, isn't, isn't it? it? Oh. But then we were saying yesterday, the amount of people that were looking and then all of a sudden you just actually spot the person down here actually crossing over the bridge under the trees. It's incredible. Incredible piece. Twelve remain. We did have 14, but two of you lucky lot have checked out already. This now is getting to be the very last chance saloon on this design. Okay, we're now under ten. Nine chances and everybody pays the final, final, final 
remarkable price. I mean, I bought a Jade Bangle recently from here and it was £299 and it, I am chuffed a bit and I absolutely love it. But there's, and that's a solid bangle, £299. But this is something completely different. Quite frankly there, I don't mean this to sound awful, but you're not actually paying for the jade there at all. Yeah. You're not actually paying for 290 carats of jade, type yeah, A jade. it's the work that goes into it. It's the, yeah, yeah it's the actual craftsmanship there. God. Years and centuries of, of and dedication and, and it is, it's all about artistry. I mean, could, could any of you actually sort of draw that design? <laughs> no, Let alone actually carve it into a rock wow. hard, rare jade. I mean, it's remarkable. Wouldn't you all love to go and actually visit the location yes. and actually see them carving these? Yes, that would Yeah, be. there's four chances remaining and then they're gone. Now, as, as Dave has said and Jake has said and, and Wayne has said, there is no guarantee that we'll ever get anything like this through the door again, ever. Okay. Now we do have the apple green. Okay, Janice, well done. Jury maker, well done. Collector, well done. Uh, we do have the apple green. Oh, see that's. Oh. Yeah, it, it, I actually think you can. Oh, look at that. Look oh. at the mountains there. Look at that house up there. And even. Uh, like, there's, there's nowhere on it that is just plain. It's, no, it's all nowhere textured. at all. Every there's single moment. Details. Oh, goodness me. I the leaves it. on the trees. This is my favourite. Textured even. The apple green's my favourite because I really, really, really love how the detail comes to the forefront. You'll see exactly what I mean. Look at that. It's a true apple green, that is. I mean, that for me is, that for me is the one. Do you know as well... Let's let's keep this real. Let's let's burst that jury maker bubble for a moment. If somebody if this came up at Sotheby's auction house, hmm. and that that estimation was there at one thousand four hundred ninety nine pounds, I think everybody would be absolutely knocked out and thinking that would be an absolutely incorrect collectible piece. Yeah. Look at the carat weight now. We've gone even more. Three hundred and ten carats. But I don't know about you. That for me shows every single millimeter of incredible detail doesn't it i mean when it turns around to this this side you can yeah. you can actually see look at that look at the markings in the leaves yeah the trees, you can see the 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 lines yeah. in the leaves and then, the but look, look at the top look at the bridge at the top and of the, the water bridge, coming yeah. underneath that waterfall can you see it at the top yeah every time you look at the each side of this and i'm sorry i keep i'm, I'm not I'll, I'll show it in the studio in a moment but look there's there's the person walking across the yeah. bridge at the bottom and you can see what the bridge is built of. You can see yep. the branches and, and the front of the bridge is yep. textured as well. And all the clouds in the sky and the up. Now watch this as it comes around again. The detail on the waterfall and the water and the buildings. And that bridge, you can see the stonework in the bridge look. Yep. All about incredible symbolism, steeped in history. Sorry again? Cleansing, Cleansing water, water, absolutely. Yeah. £199. I honestly believe, I truly believe this, that in all our years of Jewelry Maker, what, is it 12 years, 13 years? We've never ever bought anything as collectible as this to wear, it, yeah. in, in my opinion, my humble opinion. I'm not being rude. Until I hear the final comment that Ross is going to continue making in me, I'm not saying anything until I sit in writing. <laughs> oh, not that I don't trust you, Ross. But if you... Oh, my goodness, mate. OK, nobody's ever, 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 ever managed... If you keep looking at this, right, if, you, if you've looked at this, the, the handful of times this has been on air, and you've yearned and you've thought, oh, I've got to have it, 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 um, well... You're about to get a saving that nobody else... I'm just trying to find my torch. There we go, because I've got to show you this. I have 20 chances now. I don't know if this is going to work because... Oh, hang on a second. Why am I even questioning myself? Let's just try it. I'm going I'm to throw myself under... I'm going to throw myself under the bus here, so to speak. Are you ready? Oh, oh you can see whole new details that way. Look at the little houses. I, I will turn it around in a moment. 
Oh, my God. That is the most gemmy. And you think how thick that piece of, of jade is, that apple green jade, how thick it is, and yet the second the light hits the detail, do you want to turn wow. it around? 140, you've just saved yourself. Oh, my goodness me, 25%, Ross. Split paste still available. Have I got the right side? And we go, there's the, I'm going to no, 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 turn it around because I didn't show you the other side here. Go, £149, if you've always wanted to get it, there's the person crossing the bridge. There's the water. There's the water oh. under the bridge. There's the trees. There's the, this is the time to get it. Wow. £50 saving. £50. Let me turn it around to show you the other side again. Here we go. Here we go. Unbelievable. Okay, Jacqueline, David, Brenda, Susan, jury maker, Pauline, jury maker in Gloucestershire, you're about to miss out. You've got to be quick. And I mean that really, 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 really strongly. David, you've got it. Jury maker, you've got it. Jury maker in Lanarkshire, you've got it. Merseyside, you've got it. Jacqueline, you've got a chance in Dorset as well. Jury maker in Hampshire, can we down to the last six chances? Let's show you back in the studio without the torch. Five chances remaining, you lucky things. Ross, you absolute star. Do you know what as well? That £50 you're about to save, or you have saved already, you could treat yourself to the selenite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Selenite's coming up. Well done, everybody. Jacqueline, you got it. Brenda, you got it. Do you want to make in Hampshire? You got it. There's four chances remaining. Can we all say a huge thank you to Ross there? Yeah, Ross, you absolute star. I know you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> thank you, Ross. Give us a wave, Ross. There he is. Oh, that's a property. Did you see that then? That was a light. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, yeah, well done. Well done. Oh, thank you very much. You've got an absolute yeah. museum collection piece there. Love it. Right. I saw this. Oh, I I've never seen, seen this, one. this one before. Yeah. Oh, it's got a little abacus on yeah. it. Oh, beautiful. So, how would you feel that, I'll show you in a minute, okay. how would you feel if we could give you a master carving, and I don't use those words lightly, this is a true master carving, of the God of Wealth, in a big 40 by 55 mil carving with a beautiful, very wearable, beautiful, flat, polished, smooth surface to the back, so it's really comfortable. For less than £100. Because on the last two deals, we've saved you £50 on each one. Mm. So basically, if you bought those two deals, this under 100 is effectively free then, because if you say bought the other two deals, because it saved you £50 on each one. Wow. <laughs> oh. The detail in the abacus in this design is absolutely incredible. Wow, his headdress and his, his moustache and all of that, wow. So, Chinese New Year, talk me through this again. So, hang on a second. Oh, 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 oh. so the bit at the top, is it? Sorry. Oh, just got, yeah. So, that symbol in the top left-hand corner there, look. Mm -hmm. if, there you go. So, you, you put money into there. So, it's the symbol on the envelope that you put the money in. At Chinese New Year, mm -hmm. to give to people as presents, and then they should have lots of wealth. Oh, right. Oh, I see. That's why it's the God of Wealth, and I love the abacus at the bottom. We're going under £100. It's absolutely bonkers. And we'll do it again, showing you... Yeah, you might actually see this as well. Because The reason we do this is because the value in your jade is the water oh. content. And these couldn't be more gemmy. Look at the detail in every single element of that jade carving. The abacus is perfect, look. The attention to detail, the complexity, the beauty. They are remarkable works of art. I love how in the abacus in the bottom row of bees, as some of them are. Some of them are pushed over. Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. You know, like a real proper the working... The proper abacus, yeah, proper working yeah. abacus there, the way some of them are, are pushed over and they've been counting, look. Under £25, you can get it home for today on split pay. Well done, congratulations. Brilliant, brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, the, 
The deep one or the shallow one? I'm not sure which one you mean. Sorry, everybody, I'm just gonna work out which one we mean. Gosh, the range we've got for you. Ah, got it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. Can you add into that then? Oh, that's interesting. We've got cutouts in this one. So ice jadeite. Wow. Beautifully carved. Type A again, completely natural. This was incredibly popular first time around and we have tiny, 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 tiny few remaining. It's a seven carat Chantilly carving in type A jade from Burma again. GIGP04, what a day. 14 chances remaining, we're under 100, sorry, under 200 pounds. And he just said to me, you will never believe where we're going on this one. Can I just ask then, so with all the, I've not seen this before, with all the holes cut out, is that for people to cut into or, it's, sorry, to add into? Would you add into that? I would it's the lace actually, effect. I, I quite, I quite I like it like that. Yeah. But that's got to take extra skill, doesn't it? Has it has to, to drill to through to, fully. To do that without yeah. sort of accidentally cutting through the rest of it. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's giving you that real Chantilly lace effect, isn't it, in there? In that ice jade. Now, when we first started, we had how many? 270. We've got the last 14 chances. We're at a lace effect of jade wow. Wow. for less than £40. <laughs> By, oh, that's going to be a pair of earrings. Yes. Shall I hold them up for you? Yeah. Hang on a second. Here we go. Speaking of ice, it's just gone freezing in here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. That is all about, again, the skill set, the master carving that, oh yeah, that's gonna look great as earrings. You'll still get the light coming through, won't you? Yeah, could you afford to go three and get the earrings and the pendant, perhaps? Especially if you have like a dark top on and you're yeah. wearing the pendant and you can see that. That is superb, isn't it? What a beautiful design. That lace effect, that is lovely. I can see why you won't send those back, you lovely lot. That's like everybody's like, I know there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, but you're not getting my jade back, thank you very much. <laughs> 14 chances there were, half the stock's gone. We've only got six left, four left, sorry, 39.99. Well done, well done. The selenite that we've all been waiting for is coming up in just two auctions time. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the, do you know what amazes me is the, is the quality and the detail of the different tree designs yes. that you get. Now, if you're looking at some of the other carvings and the double-sided carvings and the heavier carvings and the bigger caraway carvings and you're thinking, I really want to wear it, but that's a bit too much for me. I don't want to go all out. Well, actually, what we've got here is something far more wearable if you're feeling something a little bit more, well, more comfortable, I suppose, more, more, or oh, just, yeah, some people don't like huge, heavy pieces, yeah, of course, do they? Yeah. Do you see what, let me hold this, let me just get my twig. Do you see what I mean about the detail that you're getting in those beautiful trees, look? Oh. Is that all water at the bottom as well, look? Do you want to see a price that you could pay, but that we, we're really not going to insist on, even though it would be absolutely worth it, 99.99. This is our last of stock of our jade. Last of stock of the carved mass. Yeah, there you go. The, the, the water at the bottom, the bridge again at the bottom. Very symbolic. 35 by 45 mil. Drilled again so that you can just add in. How would you add that into jewellery then if you wanted to at the top of the, the doll? Well, you could make a little bale. You could, you could just use a, a, like a sterling silver eye pin at the top. Mm. Just open the eye pin because the hole is quite close to the top. So you could probably just get an eye pin through or a jump ring. Okay. Um, or you can get cord through there. Oh, yeah, of course you can be yeah. doing it. Or you can, or you can get a, like a little sterling silver bale. Oh, OK. And you could attach that, so oh, we've could, got options there. Could we use that pinch bale with the cord yes. that we had earlier? Because that, 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 that was nice, wouldn't it? That would suit it really well, I think. We're under £100. The clock is in, you lucky things. 
The clock is in. Let's just do the old. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yep. We're just gonna. We'd like to take it down so we can show you. Oh. Look at that! Yeah. Isn't it magical? It almost that... looks like a like a foggy day, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. That is absolutely wow. incredible. It's like it's going into dusk, isn't it? Yes. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's a little, is that a little house there? Or yeah. It? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful little house there on the right-hand side, look. £79.99. You could get it home for less than £20 today. And I would think this one takes even more skill to carve because it's When it's thin. thinner, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's got a dragon face? You cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I don't think it was you, love. <laughs> Oi, dragon face. <laughs> oh, this is magnificent. Wow. Oh, well, I wouldn't fancy meeting him on a bad night. Who on Stranger Things? My friend sent me a T-shirt she'd made the other day about Stranger Things, and she sent it me and she said, what do you think about this? And I went, I've no idea what it is. <laughs> she went, oh, I thought you watched it. I went, nope. That dragon head, do you want to see, do you want to see how, how, how the sort of proportion of that look? Wow. Look at, look at the, that's got to be the deepest one we've had so far, hasn't it? Look at that. Wow. Absolutely. Huge. Oh, he's a, he's, he's a bit scary, isn't he? Look at him. Ooh. The good news is the dragon head. And again, if you speak to Alison Terry, you speak, yeah. I mean, obviously, um, Alison being Welsh. I mean, she's just, oh, Elizabeth has said, oh, hi, ladies. I had this carving. It is simply, she's had to put it in, gra in capitals. Stunning. Yeah, I agree. It is, yep. Good for yep. You're not wrong, Elizabeth, are you? You're not wrong. Elizabeth, what did you pay? Last 20 chances, Elizabeth. You could have a few dragons around the house because we're going to actually take the price. Again, it's one of those, I know he's getting overexcited in that gallery. I want to see him put his money wherever his mouth is. He's done it. Halved it. Oh. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Halved it. Let your da dragon take flight. Now you might have somebody in your in your family and friendship circle that you cannot buy for. I think this one's also nice for a for a man for a pendant. Totally. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good for the mother-in-law. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> I just joking. But also with this one, I really like how the drill hole is almost part of the design, isn't it? It's not just a, a hole drilled through. Exactly. It's actually carved. It's part of the design, isn't it? Yeah. Really cool. It's under fifty pounds. I'm with you, Elizabeth. It is simply stunning. I totally agree. He looks quite a happy dragon. Does he? Do you not think? <laughs> uh, I think he is. I think he looks like he's got a great big smile on his face. Anyway, under fifty pounds. Well done. You can even get it on split pay. Well done, Janice in Lincolnshire and Staffordshire and Jurymaker and Irene and Jurymaker and June and Jurymaker coming in as one. Terry and Dorset. Good luck. <laughs> Three left. Oh, do you know, so what I love about jewellery maker, not only have we just bought you pretty much an hour's worth of white jade and lavender jade and carved jade and black jade and everything going on, we had that much to get in today. We're only going to give you what would have been a deal of the day if we got enough, but we can't get it. On selenite, when it was launched back in May, end of May, sold out in less than two minutes. That's how popular it was. And we had way more quantity than we've got today. In fact, we had more than... So, we had more than double of this last time with um, L, but we've only got 100 of each. But let me assure you, if you have never, ever, ever, ever owned this powerhouse, this fluid light of a gemstone, liquid light, you want to grab yourself a chance today. It's exquisite. Absolute star buy. Right then, my lovelies. Um, selenite. Have you got any selenite? 
I have a little bit, yes. Have you? Yes. I have, um, I had um, sort of sticks. St oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, a lot of people buy the ones. Yeah, the ones, of, yeah. That's, that's absolutely that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Selenite is, it, 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 it's one of those, it's like when we talk about uh, labradorite, it, it, it's magical. There's no two ways about it. And we were saying, and I know Elle mentioned this last time, that because of the uh, real demand for the chakra style jewellery, um, and we've seen that here on Jewellery Maker over the last couple of years, haven't we? And then we think about, because this, this goes to the higher, the higher um, types of, of the chakra. So we're talking about your, your, um, your crown chakra, your, your third eye chakra. So it's at the top end of the chakras. Um, but it's, it's, it's very, again, you might be thinking, and, and this is the thing, if you're thinking sat there now going, oh, don't please bang on about chakras and third eye and it doesn't float my boat. I don't care. I just want a gemstone to look pretty. You can give that a great big tick as well. Because this is, and again, if you're thinking, okay, I want a gemstone in my stash that looks great on its own, but then if I want to put it with any random colour or style of seed bead or gemstone or cut glass or whatever, I want one gemstone that I can live with as my desert islet stone for the rest of my days mm. and never look yeah. back, never tire of it. It will always perform. It will always make me look fabulous and anything that I put it with look fabulous. It's selenite. I, I can't bang on about this gemstone enough. I will show it to you, but then I just want to talk to you about uh, why it was called, um, while it's been named uh, Selenite. And that's after the Greek goddess of the moon, Selene. Oh. When you see the, I, I mean, talk about a fitting tribute. Again, we've said, when you, when you, sometimes, if you've ever had to pull over, uh, or if you've been driving, or you've been walking, or you've been in your back garden, or wherever you might be, you're out on a walk. And that, it's one of the power moons. Oh, yeah. You know, the, 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 at the end of a season, at the end of a... And it's, it's that moon that for that moment... We had one recently, that, that pinky ready moon yes. that everybody photographed. Can't think what it was called, sorry. But the moon, when it's at its best, when it's at its closest, when it's at its most powerful, emits the most illuminating light. I mean, we all bang on about the sun. It's the power of this. But the moon, when it's at its best, and it, as I said, the closest to the Earth, it emanates the most incredible and this gemstone is absolutely reminiscent of that and it is known in the industry in the gemstone world as liquid light now do you see what i'm talking about there one of the most sacred gemstone crystals throughout the history of our planet there is nothing like it you're talking about um white it's got this beautiful translucency, but then it adds in the most incredible striations. So if you like that movement in the, in the wonderful, oh, imagine this with a galaxy tiger's eye from earlier. Oh, oh. oh now I'm going to have to get it to go with me. Oh, I yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you got those galaxy tiger's eye earlier or the other day, like, um, like Monica did, then, oh, you've got to get it. Um, what I want to show you, if I may, is a, is a photo that I found yesterday. Because back in 2000, uh, in, um, in, in the Naker mine in Chihuahua in Mexico, there is the most spectacular array of crystals of selenite. Just look at this image, right? Look at, we've put it to scale with the, with the people that are in there. That is selenite. You know when you buy yourself a wand? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> These grew um, to unprecedented sizes, and it's all because... Um, it, it, they're, they're formed over hydrothermal fluids uh, underneath, uh, above a magma chamber that's situated below this, the, this mine out in, in Mexico, and they just kept growing and growing and growing. Just to oh. give you an idea, I know, just to give you an idea of the kind of sizes some of these were growing, right? In diameter across, just to give you scalability here, 1.2 meters across. Wow. And listen to this, right? In length, 15 metres plus. <laughs> wow. What, is there any one of us that doesn't want to stand in that cave? And it's called the Cave of Crystals. And if you ever visit uh, Chihuahua in Mexico, then visit the Naked Mine, if you're allowed to. I, I don't know whether they let the public in, but what an... Um, wow. I'm just look at it. I mean, we're just looking at the big, great big, the great big crystals there, but look at the base of the cave as well. It's like, it's like the Alps of Selenite, isn't it? 
It's almost like from a science fiction movie, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. It, it, it? Oh, do you remember, is it the crystal, is it the solace of the, the, the thingy of fortitude in, in Superman, the original? Is it the, the solace of fortitude? The fortress of solitude. The fortress of solitude. There you go, got it the wrong way around. Thank you, Finn. The fortress of solitude, when the lovely Christopher Reeves, um, God bless him, uh, through that kryptonite, doesn't he? And then, that, and then it all forms, and then he goes and sees his mum and dad, and they start telling him about, you know, what to do and what not to do and all the bits to save the world. <laughs> it's like that, isn't it? Yeah. It is, have you ever seen, if you, you want to go back and watch the first Superman, honestly, and it all goes, and it all for, I wonder if they got the idea from that. Maybe. I wonder if they did. I mean, I mean, it would, looking at that picture, that would inspire you. It wouldn't surprise you, would movie, it? wouldn't it? But when you look at, do you know, she's what, can, I, can, can, we, can we put that back on screen for a sec? Because what I want to show you, which, what, which is what honestly amazes me. Now, now Elle and I have been out to, to Jaipur and our cutting houses in, in India. And you realise the... Oh, we're talking about the master carvers on jade, but let's not, let's not do our gem cutters in India short. Because what they've done is they've managed to turn incredible selenite crystals, which are formed in a real a, a sedimentary rock which is normally something like um, specifically limestone, for example. They grow into these gigantic sizes in the right conditions, which is exactly what's happened here. And, and these are the biggest ones you'll ever see in the world. And then, let's, be fa let's face it, you're not going to want to walk around with a 1.2 metre <laughs> diameter selenite crystal or how many meterage. This is what we want. This is how brilliant our own gem cutters are out in Jaipur. When I talk about liquid light, look at these. Wow. You can actually, you can actually see that cave of crystals yeah. in there, but we've made them wearable for you. Now we've only got, I have two sizes, we only have, and I do apologise, but this is how difficult it is to get hold of because of chakra, because of the crown chakra, because of the third eye chakra. You have a one minute warning. We have 100. 100. Last time it was on air, two, two, two minutes and it's gone. Two minutes and we had double the quantity. While that clock goes, can I show you another image? Okay, there is a place, a, a church out in Rome. It's the Basilica of, of Santa Sabina uh, on the um, Aventine Hill. It's right by an orange grove. It's beautiful. And it's wild, widely regarded as the most beautiful early Christian church built in Rome in the 5th century. Okay, what you might not know about this amazing, amazing church is the windows of the church. We've got an internal view of the, of, the, of the basilica as well. This dates back to the 5th century. The, 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 the glass work in there, so the, the, the large windows of the church, they're made of selenite. Can you believe, right? Wow. Selenite, and you imagine the light that floods through that selenite in that glass. Gosh. And the, realize that the reason they did that is because there was no glass then. It didn't exist. There were no panes of glass. Wow. That basilica, which is the earliest Christian church on this planet in Rome, 5th century, is all flooded through those glass windows at the top there. Look, they're huge and they're all selenite. And it projects that light, that magical liquid light into the basilica. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. Sorry, everybody. I'm so, I'm so fixated. I can't stop looking at this gemstone. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right, let me just take this off. These, the only, is this the only ones we've got in the hole in the vault? What a shame. Oh. What a shame. I'm not happy about that. Right, let me see if I can show you this light. It's a bit difficult through a round, but. Now we do have, here we go, look. Mm. Uh, they are like little, mm. little, so I'm not doing that very well. They're like little, Bubbles of the moon, aren't they? You can actually see the formation of the crystal there, look. Now, this is the first time we've ever managed to get you a uh, graduated strand. Isn't it lovely? 
I actually, do you know, I'm going to say this, and I don't normally say this, I actually prefer it without the torch. I was going to say, actually. Oh, I really do. With, if you're showing it, or if you're looking at it without the torch, it's actually, it's not just white, it actually glows, mm. doesn't it? it exactly. Almost, it almost gives off its own light. That's what I mean, it doesn't need the torch, does it? Yeah. It's nice to see the formation, I grant oh, you. Yes, of course. But... Now, a third of the availability is already gone. Let me just show you, because I do have, this is a seven to eight mil strand in size. Oh my goodness me, Sue and Anne. Oh, that is so <laughs> lovely. They've done a marla. Oh. They have done the most incredible yeah. selenite jewelry. You know, you see, I know Alex has bought it in, in the towers. That's how you tend to see it. We've just seen it in the cave of crystals there as well. But to actually be able to own liquid light of selenite in jewellery, in graduated, we've got the 7 to 8 mil. Is it the, which is the other size? 6 to 7 mil, mm. thank you. So you've got the most incredible, incredible uh, graduation there as well. And have, you know that cave of, the, the cave of crystals I just showed you out in Mexico? These are from Mexico. These selenites are from Mexico. So that location we've just shown you, Wow. Completely and utterly natural. There is no, there's no, there's no, no, no special camera work there. There's no, there's no special lighting there. I'm going to show it you in movement because uh, that's what makes, that's what Mel uh, selenite. I'm just going to show you here. Look, I want to show you. Do you not realise as well when you get this home? In fact, it doesn't matter which one I show. It's irrelevant. It's absolutely spectacular oh. Oh. gemstone, but it's very calming. Yeah. Now, I know that obviously with everything that everybody's going through at the moment, obviously the loss that we had with our beautiful queen last Thursday and, and all, the, all the effects that that's had on everybody and the loss of our own loved ones, this, this gemstone is said to be one of the most healing stones, if you believe in all that, and it's said to assist with mental clarity. So if you are one of those, you know, and a lot of us have struggled, especially since COVID and things that yeah. life throws at us, with you know sort of any any mental challenges and we, we're looking at mindfulness aren't we selenite is the most perfect gemstone for meditation purposes it's said to give you um inner peace god wouldn't that be lovely it's said to give us uh, help with your self-awareness your mental clarity it's said to um give you positive thoughts and and cleansing energy and you can you can see that can't you it's absolutely magical. Oh, is that, is that not the price? Oh, okay, wonderful. Just to show you as well, my lovelies, you've got the six to seven mil. So in there, you've got six to seven and seven to eight mil. And doesn't it look great together? Oh, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks to the jewellery, Anne and Sue. It's absolutely beautiful. Magical. And that works with, I tell you what, you put this with amethyst, with royal amethyst. Oh, oh my days. Oh, my goodness, Ross. Wow. How were you and Elle did last time? Is that what you did last time? That price? Goodness gracious, I didn't expect you to have a count. Do you want to find out? Right, every, and do you know what? Look, everyone gives a different variation of, of light. Every single one. It's the brightest light, isn't it? It is. Well, that's, that's what I mean. It almost looks like, I mean, as if it's giving off its own light. I mean, yeah. it's a reflection, oh, I'm sure. But It's amazing. Can I try twisting it, it them together? It really glows. And what, it? whatever colour you're going to put it with, it's going that's to reflect that, thing. isn't it? That's the thing. Mm. It'll work with everything. Hey, look at it together here. Twenty-four ninety-nine. We started with a hundred. Half over half the stock has gone, and I love that you've fallen in love this, with this like we do. It really is the most sensational, beautiful, dreamy gemstone. It's uplifting. It's calming. It's gentle, but yet it packs a punch. It's known as liquid light. You could do a liquid light collection of jewellery, yeah. couldn't you? It's extraordinary. Okay, can I have a heads up, please? Because that looks like that's nearly gone. Less than 30 chances available, my lovelies. Linda's trying to get four. Lots of multi buys. Tracy's got two. Marion's got two. Oh, gosh. Lynn's trying to get three in Ayrshire. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Would you like the other size as well? Yeah? Everybody's like, yes, please. Six to seven mil. The, oh. A blink and this one will be, oh, it's so dainty. Oh. I mean, if you've got the larger size, you have to get the smaller yeah, size. Yeah, there's no two ways about yeah. it, yeah. See what I mean? Look at it, just look at it. It, it, it 
absolutely glows. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, that's something they've done with their special cameras to get. I mean, look how bright that is. You see what I mean? That is liquid light. Oh, my days. Right, you're going to get both strands for less than £50. So I know it says 49 you're going to get both. Um, just to give you a, a heads up as well, do you know what? When this does get set in jewellery, if you can ever find this gemstone, it does tend to get added, and you might be surprised about this, but are often wrapped or used with genuine copper wire. Oh. And the reason being is that is that copper contains, they say, don't they, healing properties. Yes. So you think about the copper yeah. bands that they use yeah. for travel and all that kind of travel sickness. And that is said to amplify the crystal healing of selenite. So if oh. you are going down that route and you do sell down the route of, and you believe very much in the crystal healing properties of selenite, you'll know it's a powerhouse of crystals. You know that already, especially in your meditations. If you're looking to make um, your yoga bracelets, your chakra bracelets, this will be for your crown and the third chakra, the higher um, chakras there. But this will be ideal if you then add in a little copper charm or copper wire yeah. or copper findings. And I'm talking about, you know, genuine copper because that will that is said to amplify the healing properties of selenite. Okay, so under twenty pounds. I mean, this, it'll just make the prettiest of bracelets. Oh. Yeah, within ninety seconds. I so how many? Oh my goodness me! You nearly had the lot. Isn't it magical? What do you think? Oh, I just find it fascinating that it's it's got clarity, right? So you yeah. think it's a see-through gemstone, but even when you put it against black. Yep. That's what I mean about the glow. It doesn't That's look black. I mean, if you think, if you think yep, about that. clear quartz, yep. if you put clear quartz on a black background, it looks essentially black, doesn't exactly. it? But this doesn't. It still glows white even against a black background. Honestly, it's, it's, it's just the most incredible, incredible, incredible gemstone. It's got this translucent white colour. In fact, I'll just take that off. And, can I show you with a larger size as well? Oh, I'm so pleased to see all the regular gang coming in and multi-buying. I'm so pleased. Did you miss out first time in May? It's taken us since May, June, mm. July, August. So four months it's taken mm. us to get two strands in. That's it. Is there any of the seven to, uh, sorry, the, uh, yeah, the seven to eight mil left, this one? You can still get them. Oh, Michelle's just said, these are fab strands and complement all gemstones. They yep. are beautiful. Definitely. And that is the thing. It will work with everything. Yep. Absolutely everything. This is all about um, activating your higher chakras, as we've just said. Oh, well done. I'm so sorry, Ross. Ross, can you say that all again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right then. Okay. What are the... Just before we get to the to, to the kits this afternoon at, for, at 12 o'clock, what are they called again? What's that called? Diorama. Board. Dioramas. We've got the dioramas, no llamas, dioramas, amazing kits. We've got closeout deals on pearls. We've got more jade and yet to come after this very, very, very short break. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry 
makers. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello, my lovelies. Well done on that selenite. It's so beautiful, isn't oh, it? Oh, it is. It is. Oh. They're, they're nearly sold out, both strands, but good luck, good luck, good luck. They're, oh, when you get them home, you'll be... It makes, it, it makes you go, ah, oh, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, when you get them out of the box, you go, yeah, I need some more. <laughs> it's one of those. Oh, yeah, got it. Um, so... We were just saying pearls with that selenite Ooh. as well would look really Christmassy. Yes. Sort of, and, and bridal and, you know, just magical, magical. Um, but we, we'll get to some of the whiter pearls. We've got, is that, we actually got bee wild pearls. I've not seen bee wild pearls in like forever. We had the fireball pearls earlier this morning, oh, didn't yes. we? We got, and they, they absolutely flew out the door this morning, but we've got much, much more wearable. If you like, sl I would say slightly smaller, still huge, but fireball comet pearls in your pinks and your apricots and your lavenders and lilacs. Imagine that with a lavender jade. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, if I just hold that one there, look. And we look all the way around. If I just hold on to the end there. Can you see it? It's almost as if it's been dipped in that sort of lavender colour. Then it goes into gold, an apricot. Now you would think, oh, somebody who is really clever has coloured those, has dipped them into something like liquid gold and purples and absolutely not. Every one of those magical, fashionable, fabulous. And the thing is, if, if you don't like people coming up to you and complimenting on your jewellery, don't buy this. <laughs> exactly. It's as simple as that. <laughs> I shouldn't be on here as a shopping television presenter. Don't buy them. But if you don't like people going, oh, what are they? Don't, give them a wide berth. <laughs> you, big, big, big. I, I, do you know what I didn't? I didn't count them, but I'll do it. Oh, look at that red card. Oh, can I have that on my screensaver? Right, one, two, three, four. Oh, the colours, man. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. The 
purples in there. Goodness. So I didn't get that far. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Sorry, Ross. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen again. Oh. The one this morning had sixteen on it. Oh, the last one sold out this morning. They were they were white ones. These are. Tell you what, if you are one of those people that absolutely loves, 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 loves copious amounts of iridescence yes. on your pearls, this is the strand. I like the difference in sizes of these as well. Look at those. And I definitely prefer these over even the perfectly round pearls. Oh, you and me both. These are just oh, so character, much more. character, haven't they? Exactly. They're, yeah. they're so much more interesting and you just want to look at every single one. That one, oh my God, and this is the thing, every single one of these is so unique to mm. you. Look at the gold. And it's like a, it's like a buttery, sort of Chardonnay-y, Champagne-y buttery yes. colour, isn't it? Oh my days, a hint of lilac, you're not kidding. But a suggestion. Look at the, t look, can we just, have, I know you want to go down them all. Can we, can we, do you mind? I, I hate to ask to poke, but. Oh, beautiful. Have you ever seen a pearl like that? Honestly. Look at it. Wow. It's extraordinary. If you own a pearl like that, you're going to want to wear it all the time. Yeah. Every single moment of every single day, aren't you? Oh. Good grief. I mean, pure, pure pleasure in a pearl. Wow. wow. Isn't it? <laughs> I'm actually speechless. I'm looking yeah. at all the, all the pearls. I I'm going to go. I, I don't is, know what to say. Is, well, we should call this the PPP strand. Purely <laughs> pleasurable pearls. It's as simple as that. That could be the new grading. Oh, hello, Dan. Hi. Yeah, I, I'm more than okay with these, thank you. 16 wow. fireball pearls. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. Right. I've got a black top on, obviously. We've all got our black uh, in mourning. Can you just see what happens when I put this on? Right, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, where am I going now? Wow. Yeah, who is that glamorous lady? It's Monica. <laughs> Aren't wow. they glorious? Glorious. No, I'm not using the word clearance deal. You can absolutely do one, Ross. Sorry. UTGP09. You heard the magical words. 120. I'm not saying that again. No, no. Oh, my goodness me. 499 is an absolutely cracking deal on those Baroque pearls. This is your big Christmas present to yourself. Yeah, well, I, I bought two. You bought two Not of this? This exact same colour. We had one before that was a slightly different colour, but it was this price, and yeah. I bought one for myself and one for my mum. Oh, did <laughs> you? Don't tell anybody, though. <laughs> She's not watching, is she? Is it for Christmas? I hope she's not watching is until 12. It, it is, yes. ruined her Christmas <laughs> present, Monica. <laughs> I don't think she'll mind. I don't think she'll mind. <laughs> oh, how lovely, though. And how, do you know what, as well, Mon? How are you going to feel... Are you going to get to it for Christmas, Mon? Yeah. How are you going to feel when your mum opens that piece of jewellery that you've got? Are you going to do it all in one necklace? I, um, I bought another strand, which was smaller ones, of the same colour as well, yeah. uh, for matching bracelets and earrings and all that. So it's going to be a whole, whole suite for Christmas. It's actually, it's actually not for Christmas. It's for their uh, 50th wedding anniversary next year. Is that golden wedding anniversary, 50th? Or... Is it? Oh, I don't know. Oh, now. my <laughs> days. Yeah, golden wedding anniversary, Dan says. Oh, how magical. That's lovely. Are you ready for this? You're not going to get your breath. It's a massive 100 and 50 pounds saving. <gasps> now, Yee Mai has got the most incredible J collection. Clearly, Yee Mai in Greater London is thinking about, I don't know how many beautiful pearls you've got, but pearls and jade we know works. I mean, this with a lavender jade. Oh, yeah. You've just saved 150 pounds. If you were like Monica, and you actually bought a strand for yourself and your strand for your mom or your strand for somebody else, you'd have just saved 300 pounds wow. on that deal. Wow. 16 stunning, utterly glorious, there's no other word for it. 
They're the most unbelievable, unbelievable pearls. Can I try them on one more time? Would you mind? Those are the kind of pearls you, should, you know when you used to go shopping with your mom, mm. and you, and you'd be like, "Can I wear them now? Can I wear them now?" And she wouldn't let you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who that glamorous lady is on camera three, but you know what? I'm getting. Oh, it's just come. It, 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 they do make you glam, don't they? They do, yeah. They do. do make I, I saw a necklace very similar to this one. I was in um, Stratford last year sometime. Um, in a window, it was very similar to this, but a slightly different colour again. And I looked at it before we had it on, on JM, these fireball pearls. Yeah. And I looked at it with my husband and I said, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Do you want to maybe get that for me for our anniversary Aww, or something? Did you? And then I looked at the price and it was over a thousand pounds. Oh yeah, it will be. It will. I mean, that was, if you walked into Harrods now, yeah. and you went up into the sort of the, the, jewelry, the jewelry floor and the Mikimoto pearls and all that kind of thing, that's going to be into the 20 plus thousand. Yeah. There's, 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 it really is. And I don't say that lightly because I've seen a variation of South Sea pearls in Costco warehouse for 20, a patient oh, yeah. 23 I saw grand. Those. Did you see those as the, well? There were two strands. One of them one was gold was, and one was, was white. Was gold. And the white one said uh, price on application. Yeah. I've never seen anything else in Costco. Never seen, no. <laughs> and and this, is a, this is, a, this is a, an American owned huge warehouse chain. Um, and uh, these, I mean, they were stunning. I've got the photograph on my phone somewhere. Uh, Twenty, just twenty-two thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine pounds, and Monica saw the same necklace, and we're at three, four, nine. It does put it into context. Yeah. How about if you've got like like me and Monica could say, do you know what? Do you want to go half each? And you yeah. have eight, eight fireball pearls each. Because you only need one as a pendant. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know, that's a nice way to do it if you want to halve yeah. it with a friend, or quarter it with a friend. You know or, you could, or you could use a half a strand in the middle of a necklace and then fill it out with another strand. Oh, that's a nice of, idea of as smaller well. pearls. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. But again, you could get away with one of those. I tell you what, um, do you remember our lovely, lovely, lovely uh, Kleshner guest designer? Kleshner had one of these. She actually covered half of it in, um, oh, what was the Swarovski paste? Oh, um, oh. Seralun. Seralun, thank you. Yeah. Seralun, Seralun, however you say it. Uh, and then she put little Swarovskis oh. in it. Oh, my God. Days and she wears it all the time, all the time. Our lovely Clash. I miss Clash. I love Clash. Three hundred and forty-nine pounds. U two GP zero nine. There are five in baskets and there's only one. Now is it Angela? Jewelry maker. Ye my. I do, I just oh. I have three chances. Would you like to add in? Oh, 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 come on. Oh, you, they go hand in hand, don't they? Oh, beautiful. It's like a Christmas pearl, isn't it? I think I have the strand in my basket. This one here? <laughs> yes. Well, what's it doing in your basket, I was Monica? waiting for the next time I, do, I shop. I like to shop in bundles. Yeah but, yeah, but you know that sometimes there isn't a next time, Monica. I know, I know. Here's the Monica. Goodness me, they are absolutely spectacular. Oh, oh, I just dropped them, sorry. Two pound, two, oh, 200, and, oh gosh, I'm oh, see that, that's incredible. This is Biwa. This is one of the rarest pearls, one of the most well-known pearls, one of the most highly sought after pearls. Anybody that ever says to you, oh, I don't want a twin set in pearls, I'm not old enough for pearls, they're too classic, get them looking at the Biwa. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing classic about that, is there? I like the way you can wear them up and down as well. Yeah. Upside yeah. down, up and down, up and down pearls. Uppy downy. Uppy downy. <laughs> well, you could cause it the pe peyote pearl. Oh, up and down there you it. go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Are you ready for this, my lovelies? There's three chances and three alone. We're way over allocated, understand him. Hurley. Is that in your basket at 99.99? I'm pretty sure it's higher than that. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure it's higher than that. I'll tell you what, you needed to check that out. That's not going to be there. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, what a deal. What a spectacular deal. Oh. Stunning. Oh, they are still there. I mean, look at it as a bracelet. It looks amazing as a Does, bracelet, it? isn't it? Yeah, there you go, look. Just turn that into a, how would you, what would you thread that onto to make that into a nice wearable bracelet? Well, you could even make it into a stretchy, couldn't you? Oh gosh, it's stretchy, That's can you it. imagine? <laughs> you actually imagine those as a stretchy. <laughs> Do you? Oh, that is adorable, isn't it? But obviously, it would look nicer with a with a nice yeah. gold, I mean, the or gold clasp, something like yeah. that. Yeah. The, again, there's only one left, I'm afraid. 
One chance left. I'll leave that with you, my lovelies. Okay, congratulations. Oh, I know this bundle. I'm... Is this the bundle I had? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Put it this way. If this is the one I had on Saturday. If this is the di there aren't many left. Okay. Would you be happy if I offered you this strand of pearls for twenty nine ninety nine? Of course, yeah. Yeah. They're eight, eight to nine mil. Nice, gorgeous, beautiful, brilliantly matched on every level. Oh. Surface, size, shape, Lovely everything. Lovely colour as well. Yeah. Mm, colour's great. It's, it's like a, it, it's like a sort of ivory white, isn't it? It is, yeah. Now, can I just stop you there? How about now? These are the white ring pearls that've got the beautiful ring around. How about if I threw in? an extra strand of the white ring pearls that matched at the same size for the same 29 dollars How would you feel about that? Fabulous. Yeah? Do you think that's a good deal? Are we all in? Are we all checking out on those beautiful two strands of the gold? I love the ring pearls. I think they're, I think they're so, so characterful. I think they're great. You're happy at 29 99 That makes them £15.14.99. Yeah. I mean, just like that as a two-strand yeah. necklace, that would look amazing, wouldn't it? Would you check out at that price? Oh, yeah. 29 99 15 pounds a strand, right? Uh-huh. Any time. Yeah. Sure. Um, how about then, if I then put in some more pearls at eight to nine mil, but this time, this time they're sort of drilled lengthways. Ooh. Long-wise drilled pearls. Mm. Happy? How about if I then popped in some nugget pearls? How about then if I popped in uh, another strand of nugget pearls, this time in six to seven mil, this time in four to five mil. Now, what price are we thinking? Are those all for the 29.99? I couldn't possibly say. <laughs> I couldn't possibly say. <laughs> Ross could possibly say by sliding in the price point. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did I no, give no, away no, the no, price? No, 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 not at all. <laughs> not at all. KUGP78, get a load of this Saturday special. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just that means right. Price right. No, because she, she was like, I'm one of them for 29.99. I was like, I can't, couldn't possibly say. Well, you did say in the beginning, you <laughs> said the one strand for 29.99. She suddenly went, oh, have I just dropped you in it? Somebody, somebody told me the price. You told me the price. <laughs> the price. So we're talking one, two, three, four, five strands. You do realise. If I just put this this one next to, up on my neckline again, if I may. So if you revisit that, genuine freshwater cultured pearl, full 38 centimetre strand of pearls, six pound coins. Wow. <laughs> Caroline just said, hi ladies. Hello, gorgeous. I bought these pearls. Buying more, they were superb. Thanks. Caroline, we don't blame you, darling. Well, she has as well. She was the first one checked out. So six pounds for those pearls. Another strand, six pounds of the matching pearls, then the long wise pearls, well done you Caroline, then the drop pearls as well. That's £12 there in front of you. That's another £6 for that. These aren't fake, they're not faux, they're not glass, they're not pretend. They're genuine freshwater cultured pearls. All of that. If I also remember if I worked that out, hang on, so 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, do I make that 1.9 metres of pearls? Wow. 1.9 metres of pearls for 30 quid. I mean, that's, that's, it's just hard to get your head around that six pounds for a strand of pearls. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly two metres of pearls for 29.99. And I mean, essentially, one strand is enough to make a necklace. You know, Absolutely. if you knot it and you put a clasp yeah. on the end, you've got enough to... So that's five pearl necklaces for six pounds each. And wouldn't they make great rings, these massive long-wise drill pearls? Wow. Right, can I just find out? I'm pretty sure we nearly sold out on Saturday. How many left, darling? Okay, right then. So, yes, you stand the chance, but you've got people that already bought on Saturday, like Caroline, coming straight back in and saying, do you know what, I'm going to have to have some more. So, well done. Peggy's on. Peggy, you got them? Oh, oh. I nearly said something awful. <laughs> it's right, you said the... No, mm, that shouldn't... Well, I'm going to say it now. I've dropped it. Dropped it. I've always said the, my first dog ever in the family was called Peggy. Oh. <laughs> Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Peggy. Uh, Jalanta, Sue, Claire, Caroline, well done. OK, we're over allocated already. Merva, Jennifer, Jury Maker, Gloria, Agnes. I love the name, Agnes. Um, uh, jury Maker in Shropshire as well. Justine, you've got them well done on the app. 
We've got people all over the web, all over the app, on the phone to our fabulous call center, 29.99. Congratulations, everybody. Brilliant deal. Well done. A well done. Close out deal. We've had some wow. good close out deals today, haven't we? Yeah. You don't mind me saying. Oh, you know these pals here, in case you were worried, and you're still trying to check out, and they thought you thought they said that that one uh, that they'd sold out. There is one left. Oh. Should have been four see, nine nine, and we went to three four nine. Hundred and fifty pounds saving on fireball pals. See any of those strands, or just one of those, either in the middle or just yep. on the side, and this, yep. that's just amazing. That's all you need, isn't it? Yeah. All you need, great pearl deals. Mm. Ah, now we did. I know we've had a lot of people messaging in saying, oh, hang on, where was the one you were talking Oh, it's just been moved off there. People have been messaging in saying, what's on that black display board at the back? I'll show you. Oh. I haven't bought you any strands of jade this morning, have we? No. We've bought you your carvings. Mm -hmm. This. This, 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 this. In fact, can I borrow that necklace there? Can I borrow that busty, 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 busty? Come here. Very tall, those busts, aren't they? <laughs> tall, like a swan neck. This is different colours. Wow. It's so cute. You think we've had the reds today, haven't we? Lovely four mils, super smooth, different colours of jade. It's like, it's like a, a pick and mix of colours of jade, isn't it, in one, in one buy? Thank you, Dan. Look at that. You've got whites, you've got lavenders, you've got fern greens, you've got spinach greens, you've got mutton fat white, you've got all sorts oh. on there. You've got the, the lovely, uh, spots a little bit of red jade in there. Yeah. Yeah? A little bit of red thrown into the mix of your multicolored jade eye rounds and your formula, all natural, all genuine, all type A. N O. KY05 is your code to put in your basket. 40 carats of colour of jade, all genuine and all natural. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Perfect size for slider bracelets as well, yes, aren't they? Yes, definitely. Might just have a few of those as well on the show. But also, if you've got any of the carvings and you want to wear them as a necklace, this would be perfect. Yes. A little short necklace with a pendant on. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we had that big um, rectangular pendant as well. Yes, the, could you the thinner one. Yeah, could you almost like seed bead bezel, but with genuine jade? You could. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? You could. Yeah. I would, I would seed bead bezel around it and then add the jade onto the outside. Oh, so OK. Almost like uh, a frame. Oh, right. That would be nice. Got you. Yeah. Is that another buy price? Oh, you mm -hmm. lovely man. 39.99, let's get that 60 second clock account in, a ticking down. Cut the strand in half. So don't be silly woman, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> don't be so facetious. Don't be so facetious. He didn't say any of this, because he doesn't say anything like that. Not to your face anyway. <laughs> He's gonna half it. He's going to hold, look, I've just twisted it so you can oh, use, that's pretty, look at it? the colour, oh. the colour is so good. Now, now that, oh, now that'd be nice as a proper bubble star, wouldn't it? It would, yes. Oh, beady beads. Yes, definitely beady beads. Beady but you could just uh, strand it onto, say, 0.4 millimetre wire and then twist it together like that and you'd have that exact look because you'd have enough there for a bracelet. Mm. Look at your little face. <laughs> It's her little face when she smiles. The whole, your whole face <laughs> lights up like that selenite, doesn't it? You've got the most infectious smile. Right? It's contagious. I don't oh. know whether infectious mm. is the right word. Is it infectious or contagious? Both. Is that all right? I don't know. Neither of them sound very good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just lovely. We need to smile at the moment, don't we? Uh, under twenty pounds, that Bobby Dazzler's just bought those to you. Hello, D I love the name Dorothy. Do you? My friend's called oh, Dorothy. Yeah, in New Zealand. it's a nice name. Makes you think of Wizard of Oz, doesn't it? Does, it? doesn't it? Mm. Dorothy. I wonder if that Dorothy in Nottinghamshire calls herself Dot, because my friend does. She likes to so call herself Dot. Oh. Dot. But anyway, no. Well, she didn't, she doesn't go for Dotty. She goes for Dot. I don't know whether Dorothy yeah. in Nottinghamshire goes for Dot or Dotty or likes Dorothy. Hmm. Mm. I don't think she'd call herself Dor. Doro. Who knows? 
Rose, oh. Dorothy. Quite, I quite like that. 99. Our, Charles, our channel sales manager on, on Hobby Maker said to me the other day, he called me Z, and then he sort of caught himself. He said, do you mind me calling me that? I said, call me what you like. I'm not bothered. <laughs> Z, that mind. sounds like a superhero. <laughs> well, my, my friend Martin calls me Z. It's all Z. Right. You're right, Z. <laughs> it's the only one that does it. I mean, somebody else says Z, but generally the people don't shorten it, but, but Z. I quite like Z. It just tickles me that way. <laughs> anyway, sorry, we digress, Dorothy. If you do want to let us know in Nottinghamshire, you're all the welcome. You can text in, lovely lady. Just remember as well, we do have the dioramas descending in our masterclass with the oh, lovely well Monica. Done, well done for remembering. Thank you, thank you. I did have to ask you in the break. <laughs> again uh, Sean well done you got them my lovely Sean makes the most beautiful jewelry oh Sean do you know Dorothy because she lives in Nottinghamshire do you know her hmm? might be his nan Could be. Know. might be his mom might be his sister hmm? might be his daughter might be his partner girlfriend oh I've exhausted them all. I, can't <laughs> I like those hematites Ross oh oh Individually or all together? Ooh. I've got... Can I show you this one? Oh, have you felt how smooth they are? Feel how smooth they are? Oh, nice. Oh, we've got those... The, the, oh. the, 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 the vinyl heshies earlier. Oh, I, this oh. would be nice between those heshies, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Or if you've got Monica's Galaxy Tiger's Eye this morning. Yes. Look at that one. Whoa. I think it's really nice just as it is, isn't it? Totally agree. Just even as a stretchy, you could yeah. do like stacker style stretchy you, bracelet. Exactly. Please. I mean, you've got here the super, super, super smooth. You've got the sort of darker titanium silver. You've got this, the, 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 the sort of antique silver. You've got the bright silver. I mean, here offers three types of colours of, of, um, of hematite there in silver. Then you've got that wonderful sort of antique bronze sort of uh, mocha brown colour and then the fabulous Christmas blue that you've got there. And then these multicolour tones, that's just absolutely adorable. Only 20 left, you get one, you get two, you get three, you get four, you get five hematite strands. They're just great as spacers as well, like little crimps, aren't they? They are, and they're also great for men's jewellery, especially yep. the shape is great. But I love how cold hematite is. I had it on my wrist and I can still yeah. feel the cold on it. Yeah, them. it's really cold, actually. And again, great, 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 great to get the, the youngsters involved as well, because as soon as you see colour, it stimulates, doesn't it, mentally? Yeah. Did you say five strands or six strands? Oh, that! I was just testing to see if you are awake. <laughs> I was just testing. <laughs> she is. Do you know what? I actually have given up. I think I've given the title of decent mathematician over to Monica this morning. <laughs> Embarrassed myself. So what's that? Just over three pounds a strand? Yeah. Ross Long? Just over three strand. Three pound 33 a strand. Wow. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Just remember we took as well. If you missed that this morning, I don't know if they're still there. If you go back to the Jewelry Maker Apple website, click on watch live and scroll right down towards the bottom. We did a Christmas closeout deal on sterling silver necklaces, and they were three pounds thirty-three each. I kid you not. Sterling silver cable chain, sterling silver rose gold plated cable chain. I keep saying chain. Stop it. It's a necklace. Hmm. Sterling silver with yellow gold plate over said necklace. Eighteen inch brand new cable chain. Nine ninety nine for all three. <laughs> the real. Oh yes. I thought you meant the real chain. I was going, well, they were real, weren't they, Ross? <laughs> he means on a real. Oh, yeah. how fine is that? Yes, I have this. Uh, you have this? I have. Is there anything you haven't got? <laughs> <laughs> okay, why do people want... Anybody watching now thinking, well, that's great, because you, you, you make your chains, you turn them into jewellery for us, into necklaces. Why do I want a chain on a real... Five metres, I didn't know. I, I thought we had yeah, three metres. Mm. Why do I want five metres of sterling silver curb chain? Well, for one thing, it's really great for making chain tassels, which looks really pretty. I pretty. might say that. But also, again, this chain is really fine, so it can go through a lot, like directly through a lot of your gemstones. That's a very good point, actually. And of course, you can vary the length, you can vary the number of strands that you've got. Mm. But yeah. But you're right, when you, when you have this into pieces, into tassels, and that movement, it's absolutely super. And actually, if I remember correctly, Mark discovered that this chain, you can actually crimp the ends of it. 
He did, yes, that so is turn, exactly turn what back he did. And you can crimp yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mark will be back from his holiday soon. Mm -hmm. Back from Cornwall and Devon, refreshed and raring to go. So remember, let's, let's hope he remembers the fudge. Five meters, and this is the this is the smallest size of curb chain link that you can buy a one mil. It oh. doesn't get any smaller than that. So if you want the finest curb chain, and bear in mind, so what fascinates me about curb chain, it goes right up to like about four centimeters a link. Wow! And then you're going into the 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 the, the bridle uh, yeah. girdle. What is it? Bridle girdle on a horse. Uh, it's uh, a horse chain, isn't it as well? Oh right. Yeah. 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 Anyway, 99, 99, we're not one metre, we're not two, we're not three, we're not four, we're actually five metres of the smallest, beautiful, finest curved chain you can buy in a one mil gauge. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. I, when we, last time I did a three metre chain, it wasn't... It wasn't this one. It was thirty four ninety nine. I think that's the lowest I've ever seen a three meter chain go to from memory. I mean, if you work that out, five meters. So that's 10, 20 inch 10, necklaces. 20 inch. Ah, that's a good point. Yes, that's ah, three pounds for a twenty. Ross, sorry, yes? Ross. Earlier on, you had a, a, a twenty inch curb chain necklace, fully finished in sterling silver from H Samuel. It was thirty four ninety nine. Yeah. Now, Monica's just made a really good point there. You could make 20 of those. 10, ten of those. Sorry, 10, ten of those. those. Keep yeah. those. I'm just testing you again. <laughs> sure you're there. So 10 times 34.99. £350. We're under 30 for five metres. Yeah. I tell you what, I just absolutely... If that doesn't tell you how generous we are with you sometimes, I don't know what does. Well, also, how good our buying team are. I mean, Caroline, when I saw Caroline, in, in, she, I tell you what, her and Georgia and from our kit team, I don't want to grasp on them, but they'd been to Morrison's supermarket, other supermarkets are available. Yes, they had got some serious snacks. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, they, were, they must have been doing some serious buying yesterday because they, they, they were well stocked with I the snacks. I thought the story was going to finish with that, no, the stunning silver buying. No, <laughs> not snacks. just the amount of snacks they'd got. I was very impressed. I was a bit... I'd been up since half three. All oh, right. And it was one o'clock in the afternoon and I hadn't eaten anything. I was starving. Oh, How no. I didn't tackle them to the floor, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> OSMO 732999. Okay, my lovelies, after the break, you can have a rest from me, you lucky things, and we can revel in how amazing this woman is. We'll get a demo. We're going to have the most spectacular Christmas designs. What was it? Diorama? Diorama. Diorama yeah. after the break. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. 
Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Thanks to this amazing lady next to me, the marvellous Monica. <laughs> I haven't called you that yet today. I thought, no, you haven't. Marvellous Monica. <laughs> You've been waiting all morning, haven't you? I have. I marvellous <laughs> Monica. Um, now, as I know you've seen the baubles and things. What, may, what? First of all, what's a diorama when it's at home? Well, where I've heard it before, it could be something else as well, but usually children get these school projects home yeah. and they have to sort of get a shoe box and fill it with a little scene inside. Oh, okay. So as far as I know, it's a, it's a box with a little scene inside. Like a 3D scene. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm, something I've learned today. Yeah. What I love is you've come up with a fantastic idea of actually doing a whole scene inside a Christmas bauble. Yes. <laughs> what a great idea. Do you want to see them before we even talk about what the kits and things? I'll try and turn them the right way. Yeah, so if you can, see. look at these. This is what marvellous Monica... <laughs> That's correct. Now we've got ones with, um, we've got a Christmas Robbie, oh. we've got a gingerbread man, we've got a Christmas tree, we've got a snowman, uh, and then Monica's even put, oh, can we show the little snowman? The snowman yeah. is in this one. Here he is, look, no! <laughs> oh, these are amazing, aren't they great? And then on the other side, you've got the, um, she's part of one of those, you know, those um, battery operated little tea lights? Tea lights, yeah. Now you don't get that one. You don't get the the, the candlelight. You can buy those anywhere, can't you? The um... oh, nope. wrong way. Yeah, it's all right. That way. <laughs> These are great. They are. Are they hard to do? No, I'm going oh, to show you how to do it. In a You're going to show us how to do it. Even yeah. better. Even better. <laughs> um, and the lovely thing is, what we decided to do is give you a few different, a few. That's three, four different colourways. So we've got this. Oh, I don't know, the hot pinks. Um, that blue as well. The silver, the gold. We've gone. We have gone traditional, and they've gone a bit more. Contemporary. Contemporary and a bit more, yeah. you know, flamboyant, you know. Um, but then also, in the gold kit, you're going to get the bird. In the hot pink, you're going to get the gingerbread man. In the blue kit, you're going to get the Christmas tree. And in the silver, you're going to get the snowman. So sh they're all on pre-orders. You can get them. Each one has a different colourway of seed beads and sparkle. Is that crystal polish? Fire polish? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Nice, that's nice. Can I... Now we can make a suggestion. Can we, should we go with it? Should we go with the snowman? Okay. Because I got to choose. Ross said I could choose. He said, go with what you want. Okay. Like, oh, this one's this one is the snowman. Yeah. We go with the snowman. Only because we've got an example. <laughs> we go in traditional silver, which is nice and neutral. And he's, these are through drilled from the top to the bottom. Now will he stand up? 
Oh, yes, he will. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it's arms. He's got arms. Are they his arms? Because if they're his legs, he wants to have a chat with himself. I think it's his arms. <laughs> I don't know, you know. Excuse me, I'd like to apologise. Please look away now. There is, I'm telling you, they're not his arms. Are they his arms? I'm going to go with the arms. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Snowman. We, we, we're doing you a very bad disservice here because I'm just hoping that is your arms. But anyway, each to their own, each to their own. If you want to be that much of an ex exhibitionist on telly, you knock yourself out, Flair. Uh, then we've got, yes, we have got some crystal glass. That's mm, what they are, right. crystal glass. Okay, he's me I'm melting. <laughs> <laughs> They're four mil, you get 25 of those. Uh, you, you're then going to have the eight centimetre three pack of your bubbles, your bubbles. Okay, your bubbles. Which is nice because they're nice and big, so yeah. if you want to put something inside, obviously. Then. And then we're going a lovely, traditional, gorgeous Christmas colours in your um, Mayuki there. You've got the opaque white, always popular. You've got the semi-matte jade lined yellow, which is this one here. And then you've got the crystal with the AB coating. 24 gram, 23 gram, 23 and a half gram respectively. Okay. I love that little snowman. He's so cute. <laughs> I did that as a mistake. <laughs> Sorry. Should I turn it around? Yeah, let's have a little look. There he is. It's a brilliant idea. Have you just got a little bit of a sort of um, cotton wool? Cotton yeah, wool in I just there? used the cotton balls and I pulled them apart. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. And then you've got the seed beads on the outside and the lovely sparkling crystal glass as well. You get the ball balls. You've got to pretty much everything you need, haven't you? Uh, yeah, the only thing I added was some glue um, and the cotton balls. Uh, yeah, needle and thread. Needle and thread. Um, Roslar, do we have some E6000 we could pop in? Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, and the other thing you need is a thread zapper, which I believe we also have some. Ooh, a thread zapper. That's kind of giving the game away, isn't it? Yeah, thread <laughs> zapper. <laughs> but, you know, oh, my... Oh, it's 12 99 Oh, my God. Uh, Ross, love, you haven't forgotten there's three tubes of seed beads in there, Flower. Oh, I'll be buying some of these kits. <laughs> That's like, let's say, £4 a tube. And then everything else for three. Oh, you'd pay that for three baubles. <laughs> well, you would pay that for, what, eight centimetre baubles you would, yeah? Look at that, goodness me, what a great kit. Well, there you go. And the lovely thing is, if you're looking at these thinking, I don't know how to do these, it doesn't matter, because Monica does. And Monica will show you how to do them in a minute. £12.99, I'd buy that just to get the baubles. And the little snowman. The snowman who appears to be a bit of an exhibitionist. <laughs> <laughs> It's arms. He's waiting to give you a hug. To be fair, <laughs> joking aside, I'm so sorry, um, Snowman. It, it, to be fair, when he's, sun, it, when he's hung up like that, you can't tell it's his arms. <laughs> so sorry, Snowman. Okay. He's waiting for a cuddle. Yeah. It's a bit like I was when you pulled up on the car park this yeah. morning. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I looked out my window. window. <laughs> 12. 12. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant kit uh, price. Well done, yeah. you. Yeah. Well done. Oh, oh my and this other one me. is also the same same kit. Because obviously you get three baubles, but the one snowman, so you can put whatever else you like in the Brilliant. So that's the same the one. Two. Yeah, because you've got plenty of seed beads. You still have yeah. loads left over after. Yeah. <laughs> Looks lovely, doesn't it? Do you know what, my lovelies? We want to really, really make sure you get hold of these today for you, my lovelies. We want you to get the, to enjoy the demo. You know, uh, and again, wouldn't that be nice? You know, obviously, the situation that we've got now uh, this week while we're in mourning and waiting for the funeral of the Queen on, on Monday, wouldn't that be nice? You know, when you have, like, um, you have a, a tree of life memory for your family mm. members and a lot of charities and hospice shops and things have it where you light a, light a light in the memory of a lost loved one. How lovely would that be yeah. with a, with a, with a battery-operated uh, uh, tea light, tea light inside. to put a, a, a light for a lost loved one on your Christmas tree. And actually, I didn't think of that, but you can also bead around your tea light then, and that yeah. would look a bit nicer Isn't as well. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Oh. That's beautiful. 
So I tell you what, for those of you that love seed beading, even if you don't fancy trying the diorama or anything else, and you don't really want the glass bead, you don't really want the snowman, I mean, all the baubles, just for the three seed beads. Yeah, 12 99 that's brilliant. That's £3.33 a tube of seed beads in the full oh, whack of grammage. I didn't even notice we went down to 9 yeah. 99 gosh. <laughs> yeah, so you're getting 25 glass crystals, 4 mil, and the snowman, and the 8 centimetre baubles times three for absolutely no money whatsoever. Yeah. Happy days. That's amazing. Well done, Rosslar. Yeah. God dear me, you've got three more kits to follow. Can't wait to see what you're going to do with those. Good news is all the other colours are on pre-order. And you won't believe how easy it is to make these baubles. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> um, gorgeous girl, which one, which one? Can, we have, can Monica choose the next one? Yeah. You choose, you choose, you choose. You choose. Let's go with the pink because I want to see the little gingerbread man. I didn't get him. <laughs> gingerbread man, yeah. Cause, oh, because your other kit had the gingerbread man in, didn't it? Which other, which other kit? The, oh, the, 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 the earlier one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse yeah. me. <laughs> oh. There you go. Oh, cool. That was a bit of a panic then. <laughs> right there. Oh, you're going to love this one. You're going to love this one. You're going to love them all. At that price, you might as well get them all, mightn't you? Oh, he... Oh, he's so cute. Oh. <laughs> No, he's not going to stand up, is he? So let me just see if I can... Ah, ah. Okay, you got that done. Oh. Oh. I don't know what price this kit is going to be, but I if don't. it's the same as the other one, I would pay that just for the gingerbread man. Oh, look at him. <laughs> look at <laughs> him. Oh, his little tie. His dicky bow looks like, you know when they do like the blow-up balloon animals? Yeah. It looks oh, like yeah. that, doesn't it? Oh, he's so cute. We're going to surround, we're going to give him some lit, we're going to get him in touch with his feminine side. <laughs> oh, oh no! Hang on, there you go, there you go. So, oh. sorry, 25 of the lovely pink glass. Then we're going, uh, pink glass um, beads, four mil. Then we're going to give you the light rose luster, the dyed opaque pink, and what have I missed? The buttercream colour lined uh, seed beads, 11 O's. And you're going to get the hot, hot pink baubles. Let me just give you the hot pink. Hot, hot pink in the eight centimetre baubles. You definitely get three of those as well. That is absolutely adorable, Aww. isn't it? It looks like he's winking at you, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, these, these glass beads are all handmade, so they're all going to yeah. be slightly different, aren't absolutely. they? Absolutely. That is absolutely great. What? Oh, you did it again, 9 99 Are you doing them all for 9 99 are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, there you go. Ten quid. But again, is this something you could do with the family? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yep. Yep. You'll see in a minute. Can you imagine how much one of those would be in like Selfridges or Liberties down oh, in gosh, London? Oh gosh, I don't want to think about or that. <laughs> can you imagine how much Not they Not 9 that's for well, sure. You can get one of them for 9 <laughs> I can tell you that for now. I can tell you that absolutely because I bought them from Harrods and Liberties and oh, everywhere yeah. else and they ain't that price. I think my most expensive Christmas bauble is from Harrods. Is it? Yeah, it was something like 50-something yeah. pounds for one bauble, and that was probably 20 years ago. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, I've got one of those. Have you ever been to, Li to Liberty's? And they, they're very famous for those felted robins, the big oh, ones. Yeah. I've got one of them. Oh, mm. I love it. It's my favourite thing. I, I Although guess. that's not the most expensive Christmas bauble I saw. Oh, go on. I was in Epcot in America, and, and they had a replica of the, um, the German Christmas shops that they oh, have yeah, in Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I saw a bauble there which was over $300. <laughs> dollars over yeah. for a bauble. I didn't buy it. I'm not surprised. <laughs> you can make your own like this. Oh, dear me. Um, right, I've just decided we're going with the blues. I just, I'll just, we'll, stay, we'll end with the, with the birdie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> Poor Ross is like, oh, we're doing those, aren't we? Thanks, thanks for letting me know, love. Well, we're going, I'm just, oh, excuse me, that's, oh, that's better. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so you're getting this fab, 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 fab Christmas tree. Now, I don't know if he... Oh, it's so very cute. Come on. Oh, I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to hold him. So. They'd be quite nice as pendants as well, wouldn't they? Yeah, because it's drilled right through yeah. the top, down through the bottom. So those... Um, I think nice earrings as well. A pair of earrings with one Christmas tree and one gingerbread man or a snowman. Oh, that would be cute. What Mis are you doing? Mismatched, oh, mismatched earrings. earrings, Monica. <laughs> Show yourself. <laughs> so you've got the tea. You've got here your beautiful Christmas tree, all designed. Let me just hold that away from the baubles, actually, so you can see it. There you go. That's better. There you go, Finn. Easy Christmas tree. 
There he is, already decorated, look. He's got the bubbles. We also have four mil blue glass beads. You're getting, uh, oh, they look like Swarovski, don't they? They're absolutely magnificent, those. Four mil, and you get them, uh, 25 of them. You then get the three big teal Christmas eight centimetre baubles. And you're getting the, can I set the colours back, sweet pea? Sorry, I did take a while there, getting through the kit. Thank you. All my Yuki, so all Japanese, all brilliant quality, CBs, 11 O's, blue lined aqua with the AB coating, special dyed bright pink, and the, I've never seen those, and the transparent lime. Yeah. Hello, Kermit. <laughs> They're very Kermit green they are, aren't they? Goodness me, what a lovely kit. He's going to do it again, I think. Is he going to go to 9 99 do you reckon? Can you do it, Ross? 9 99 Go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on, go on. Hello, Tracy and, and uh, Alison and Joymaker and Janet and Deborah, Audrey, Pauline, Barbara, Shirley, Carol, Sean, uh, Elizabeth, Nicola, Janet, Mary and Jerry, Susan, all the regular gang getting those. Good luck, well mm. done. Hello, Gordon. Gordon. <laughs> My mum's next door neighbour was called Gordon. Oh, really? And then the other neighbour next to him was called Gordon. So if mm -hmm. we were talking about Gordon next door, it was Gordon. If we were talking about the other Gordon, it was Gordon Gordon. Oh, is really? <laughs> So knew which one it was. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Anyway, uh, well done, Jeanette. Congratulations, Alison's having two of them. Thought you might. Mm. Well done, nine ninety nine. We've still got the gold to come with the traditional colours and a little birdie. And this one, I've been on pre-order. It's been very popular. Of course, the stock's already gone. Ooh. Oh, we have got the threads up. Uh... Excellent, because that's going to be essential for this. <laughs> yep, so you're going to see the thread zapper in action if you think, in case you're thinking, what's a thread zapper? Because I, think, I always think zapper and I always think flies, do you? <laughs> do you? <laughs> You'd have a tough time trying to zap a fly with one of these. <laughs> right then. So, got to have the baubles. We're going traditional, we're going gold. Yeah. Got to be done. Then we're going to have to go with the gold, green and the red. The festive, traditional, because there's a lot of people like traditional, so this is going to be the kit for you. You're getting the semi-matte silver lined in the gold, you're getting the silver lined green, you're getting the silver lined red. Just a note to self on this one, Ross. Oh, he's put the price in. That's a bit awkward. Ross? <laughs> um, well, silver lined is one of the most expensive CBs because it's a whole new process. Yeah. And the mo you know, what's, what's the most expensive colour of CBs? Yes, red. Hmm. And the gold one is frosted as well. Yeah. So, um, so basically, you've you've gone outright, downright silly. Hmm. But we don't mind. Ah, oh, look at the little bird. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's little birdie. Nine ninety nine. Go tweet yourself to him. Okay. <coughs> Right then, darling, which one are you going to do? Oh, there you are, you're going traditional. With this kit? Oh, that was convenient. Yes. Well, <laughs> just a quick note, because the little birdie yes. isn't, is not drilled. So ah, obviously... So for the other ones are? The other ones are, yeah. This one isn't. So oh, for the okay. little birdie, I mean, you don't have to hang him up. You can have him sitting at the bottom of your bauble. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted to hang him up like I did, I just took a flat head, head pin, turned a, a loop on it, and then I glued it onto his head. Oh, OK, great. So... Good. That's what so I do. That's the only, if you so, want him to hang up. So the other ones are um, the ceramics are drilled through. Drilled through the gingerbread, yeah. the snowman, and the Christmas tree. But this, the bird isn't. Yeah. But, okay. Good to know. Thank you. So to make the bauble itself, so these baubles are great because they're they're not glass. They're I'm not sure what they're made of, some sort of acrylic, but essentially not glass. Because if mm -hmm. it was glass, you wouldn't be able to do this. So what I did was, I took, I found a little glass. You can use a, you can use a. Um, like a cookie cutter or anything you have that's round, just okay. to draw a circle. And then all you're going to do is, you'll see that uh, the bubble's got a line oh, yeah. going along it. So I found it really handy to have that line, because I'm going to take my glass, and I'm going to put my glass on top of my bubble, and you can see through the glass, if I turn oh, it that way, so you can see what, where it's centred. Mm -hmm. Because obviously you're going to want to cut out uh, a circle on this side and a matching circle on the other side. So if you have that line there, that really helps to sort of centre them in the right yeah. place. And then also, if you look from the side, I moved it a little bit up to the top, not that far, but a little bit up, just to make it, I don't know, I, I just thought it looked better like that. You don't have to, you can put it in the middle if you wanted okay. to, to be honest with you. So all you're going to do, decide where you want your hole to be, and then just use an ordinary, I just used a permanent marker, 
You could probably use any kind of marker. You only need the marker to stay there for probably five minutes. So just draw around your stencil or your glass or your cookie cutter or whatever and just turn it a bit so I can finish the other side. You could even cut a circle out of a, out of a, I don't know, piece of cardboard or mm. something like that. Just something to draw around. Okay, so now you've got your little circle drawn onto your bauble there. Uh, there, you can see it there. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you're going to take your thread zapper. Ah, oh, is that what you do it with? Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, for the thread zapper, what I find also a quick tip is uh, I use the rechargeable batteries in there. It just takes one AA battery. Okay. Um, but I find that, that the rechargeable ones, obviously, you don't have to change them. You don't have to throw them out. Mm -hmm. So they cost less as well. But also, I find that the thread zap actually gets hotter with a rechargeable battery. Oh, now that's interesting. Which is interesting because you would think it was the, the other, other way, way around. around yeah. But no. Oh, I love my battery charger. I mean, it'll still work with a normal battery, so don't get me wrong. Yeah, but it's just, it's just more cost effective, isn't but it? But it, it really is, yeah, especially if you use your thread zap as much as I do. <laughs> but if, you know, and you're not what, throwing batteries away. Exactly, somewhere. exactly. Oh, yeah. So you're just going to take your thread zapper uh, and you're going to press the button and wait for it to get a little bit hot. And once it gets hot, it works beautifully as a little knife just to go along that line. Don't force it because you don't want to ruin your thread zapper. So just let the, the sort of the heat do the work. Just follow the line along. It's like a Mission Impossible. Dun, 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 <laughs> dun, 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 but it, it glides along really easily. So how did, how did you decide? How did you come up with that idea? Um, I, I made a hole once in one of these baubles um, I can't remember what I did now, but for some reason I needed a hole in one of these baubles. Is that when you did the and boo then, ball, was it, with um, the spider? Oh, yes, it was. It was yeah. with the spider oh, falling oh, at the okay. bottom. That's right. Um, and then that's when I realised that you can actually cut shapes out of these baubles. Oh, um, what a genius idea. With your thread zapper. So, as I say, don't push it because you don't want to damage your thread zapper. Just wait for the heat to heat up enough that it, it'll just cut oh, it. Yeah, I mean, you might want to that. wear a mask because it doesn't smell very nice. Um, I don't know if, if the fumes are harmful at all. Do you want to grab your mask off the wall? Uh, I'm okay because I've done a few of them already. Okay. So. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's too late. It's safe, too late actually, now. I but put a mask but on. yes, I would say on, put a mask on. Or do it, you can do it outside as well. That'd yeah. be fine too. So just keep going. It doesn't take very long at all. Um, just wait for the heat, almost for the heat to do the work for you. And it doesn't have to be particularly neat, you know, if it's a little bit rough, don't worry about it. You're going to cover up That's the most of it. That's going to say, given it with seed beads and the glass beads. Exactly, aren't you? exactly. Yeah, so you won't see very much of it anyway. So nearly there. There you go. Now, some of it will sort of melt back together again because obviously you're melting the plastic. Oh, gosh, look at that. That's there brilliant. You go. And that's it really. And actually what I did, um, I tried one of these little pieces as well and I cut a circle out the bottom, I just forgot to bring it. And you can actually use it as a stand. So if you cut a circle oh, right, out of the okay. middle, you can yeah. put it down as a stand like oh, that if you good. wanted to do that as well. Yeah. And then you'll see that the inside of it is black. Yeah. So some of it is a little bit shinier than, than the rest of it because obviously the inside wasn't intended to be seen. So if you want to do one like I did with the tea light, I just used a black permanent marker and I coloured in all the rest of it to make it all sort of the same black. Right. Uh, you could probably use a gold marker on there. You could use uh, some of the um, hobby maker markers that yeah, we have as absolutely, well, yeah. uh, which would look great. You could you could glue glitter in there. You can do all sorts of things with that it. That looks great, that does, doesn't it? Um, so if I bring this bauble over here, so you can see what I did. Mm -hmm. So you see, this is the back of my little snowman one, which isn't finished yet. So to put the cotton wool in there, I just pulled some cotton, cotton balls apart. You can pull them apart and they become kind of like strips yeah. like that. It's just ones from my makeup bag, really. That's a lot as well, though. You can buy cotton wool in like rolls, can't you? Can. Which might be even easier. You can, but I just found these in my, in my cupboard, so, you know. Okay. Um, and then I just used some ordinary double-sided tape, which, again, we have a hobby maker, yes, as far as I know, lots of double-sided tape. Indeed. And then I just put some... Once I've cut out the other side as well, obviously, um, I put some double-sided tape on the inside and I just glued the, the cotton wool onto there, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, to add the little decoration in the top, right, all you need to do, there's obviously there's a hole in the middle at the top, so you can get your needle in 
up through that hole oh. and it will come right out the top there. Okay. You can't, so I took this string off because I put a, um, a beaded string on top. Oh, lovely. So all I did was I came down that hole, I threaded on some beads, I threaded on my, my snowman or my little bird, went back up all of those beads again and then I attached, I tied a knot around the little loop that's at the top here and then I made a beaded loop at the top. Uh, or you could keep this loop. Well, I've taken that off now, but I don't well, we need it anyway. We also have in your kit through this morning, that lovely red satin ribbon as yeah, well. Yes, you, you could, could use that, that as well. As well. You? you could, yeah. you could. Or monofilament um, always is good. You could, because then you can't see it. Exactly. And it's nice and strong, yeah. Exactly, yeah. You could even bead a little top on there, because you can actually pull this off if you wanted to. And you could put some beads on top oh, if you wanted okay, to. Lovely. If you wanted to put it on a stand, for example, and you okay. don't want to hang it up, you could, put, you could bead over it. So there's lots of things you can do with that. Um, and then to do the edging... So I'm going to quickly show you how to do the, the edging on there. Just before we do, we've just popped the uh, very much needed beadsmith thread zapper on the screen for you, which is the one that Monica's just used. Uh, it's not actually staying at 39.99. It's a thread burner is what it's designed for. But again, as you can see there, it's put to very different use with Monica there with the baubles. <laughs> again, you can see, look, it heats up in seconds. Uh, as Monica just said there, one AA battery and yeah. use rechargeable if you have one because it makes it even hotter. You don't have to, but the option is there. All the information, it comes with instructions as well. And remarkably, we've just taken it down to a third wow. of the price that it should be for a tenner. Yeah. That's one of those things that once you use it for your threads, you're never going to go back. Exactly. And the ribbons as well that we had uh, in the morning kiss, if you use it to cut your ribbon, it's not going to fray. So I use it for that as well. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yep. Thread, but absolutely brilliant. Tip heats instantly with the push of a button. Yep. There you go, 9.99. Well, uh, did you see, sorry, just quickly, Ross, did you see if you could get any E6000? Thank you. Super. Sorry, okay. Monica. So then to, to make the sort of the cover to go on around the edge here, um, you're going to need your, your fire line again or your wildfire and a size 10 BD needle. It doesn't really matter what thickness of fire line you use because you're not going through the beads too many times. So I use either six pound or eight pound because that works well pretty right. much for everything. Okay, so we're going to start off by making a little strip like that. So for that, you're going to start by picking up four of your seed beads. Okay, you're going to bring them down to the end of your thread. You're going to go through all four of them again. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're going to tie your two threads into a knot probably should have used black thread. You might have been able to see it better, but hopefully it's all right. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go back up through two of those. So you'll see that you've got two sitting next to each other or on top of each other, and then next to it you've got another two sitting on top of each other there. Okay. So you're going to go back up through two of them just so that you're not coming out of your knot. Okay, and now you're going to pick up another two beads. Okay, and then those same two that you're coming out of, you're going to go around in a circle yep. and you're going to go up again. Okay, then you're going to come down the two new beads again, just so that your thread is now coming out of the last two beads. Okay, so now you've got three sets of two beads next to each other like that. Okay, mm -hmm. then you're going to pick up your next two and again around in a circle through those beads that you're coming out of and you're just going to keep adding sets of two. Don't forget to go through the last two beads again so that your thread is coming out the end. And you're just going to carry on like that, keep adding beads to that. Actually, do, do you have a ruler, Zena? I, I shall find one for you, my flower. I think okay. I've got one here. So you're just going to carry on like that until... So the number of beads that I... Added here, if you count your beads. I go, sweet pea. Perfect, thank you, Zena. So the hole I made in my bauble, I'm just going to measure this quickly. So my glass that I used for my bauble is about, it's a bit less than six centimeters across. Okay. okay. So if you have something similar in size, as I said, it doesn't have to be exactly the same size, but if you can find one that's the same size, you're going to need 84 pairs of beads. So if you count them like that, so that's one, one pair there. One, two, three, four. So I've got five here. Oh, that's great. So keep going like that until you have 84. Okay. Now, 84 is a good number because it's divisible by both three and by four, which okay. is what you're going to be using. 
if um, when you put this around your bauble, I mean, you can kind of see it needs to be about the size of the hole that you've made. Yeah. Okay. It's probably easier if you put it down and you measure it against your your glass or whatever it is that you used as your as your cutter. Oh. So it's got to be about that size. Okay. okay. If you can make it a number that's divisible by three and four, that's great. If you can't, just do divisible by four. Mm -hmm. And then for the back of it, you'll do one that's divisible by three. You don't have to have the same number on the front and the back. Because oh, okay. if I show you this one. So on the front, I've got the design. I've got it with the, with the crystals on the front. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a slightly different design on the oh, back. Yeah. Okay, so the one on the back needs to be divisible by three. So a right. multiple of three. Okay. And the one on the front needs to be four. So that's why 84 worked well. because Can I ask could... a question? Yes, of course. Why is it four on one side and three on the other divisible by? Because on the edge, if yeah. you see these edge beads that I did here, one set of those spans three sets ah, of beads. Okay. Okay. But on the front, one set with my crystal in the middle spans four of those. Oh, okay. Okay, so it just works out. Otherwise, you're going to have one empty hole left when you get around with your last Could you row. do the same design on each side if you wanted to? You could. You, could. Uh, you would need more crystals, though. Oh, I've got you. That's right. why I only put the crystals on the one side. Okay. I mean, if you did this design on both sides, and then you don't need any crystals, obviously. Okay. Then you just need it to be divisible by three. So there are options. There are options. Really? Though, Thank of course. you. Okay. So once you've got your, let's say, your 84 beads here, then you want to join the two ends together. Let me just add another two just so that I have something long enough to hold on to here. Right, so you've got your 84 sets of beads here. So when you get to the end, so to join them together like that, what you'd need to basically do is do a circle that goes into your first pair of beads there, go across that way, okay? Pull it tight, I'm not going to pull it together just yet so you can see where I'm going, okay? And then you're going to go through the last two beads. So basically you want to make a circle with your thread like that. So when you pull those tight, then it's going to pull the two ends together. Mm -hmm. Obviously this is a very tiny little ring, but essentially it's going yeah. to make a ring like okay. that, okay? Yep. And they just reinforce that by going through those two beads again, just to make sure that it holds together, mm -hmm. okay? So now I'm going to switch to the other one, this one here. So this is what we're going for here to make it a bit wider. Obviously, you can do whatever design you want uh, on there, but this is what I thought worked out well because when you're doing herringbone stitch, this is herringbone stitch, it kind of splays out on its own because obviously we're starting, where I'm starting is this edge here at the top right. and I'm kind of working downwards this way. Okay. okay, and then I'm going to go back and do that row there. So I need it to get bigger and bigger because obviously it's a it's a ball. It's not a straight piece. Oh, so it expands as it goes. It expands, oh, yeah. Okay. So the first next row that I'm going to do, I'm going to use the green for that, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to pick up four of my green beads, okay, and I'm coming out of this pair of beads here. I'm going to go down the next pair of beads, okay. So that four is going to sit like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go up the next two. I mean, this is, this is, there's nothing difficult about this uh, seed beading. This, uh, if you're a beginner, you should be able to still do this, hopefully if I'm doing a good enough demo. <laughs> uh, definitely. So I'm going down the next two beads again. So it's really straightforward, just up and down through the beads and add four green ones every time. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Go down the next two, and so on and so on. Just jiggle them around a bit so they all sit nicely next to each other. I'll do one more there. Pick up four, one, two, three, four, and then go down the next two again. So you're going to carry on with that all the way around to the other end, OK? When you get to the other end, I'm just going to jump back across to the side. So let's say I've gone all the way around now. So when you get to the other end and you add your last one here, you're going to come up this first set again. OK, you're going to come up all four. Or maybe I'll, I'll jump across to here and then I'll do the last one. Then you can see what I mean. So if you've come all the way around, then the last one you do is going to be your four beads. And you're going to go down the next one. OK, and then to step up essentially so you can carry on with your next row, you're going to come up all four of those beads there. Okay? Then we're going to do the same thing again. So just as we've done before, again, you're going to pick up four beads. Okay? But this time, I'm only going to come down one green bead. 
Okay, so these four are going to sit on top again, like that. And then I'm going to go up in my next pair, I'm going to go up just the top green bead this time. Okay, so just like that. Then pick up four again. Four, go down the next bead, just the top single bead. And the reason you only go down the one bead instead of going down two beads like we did in the previous round yeah. is because can you see these are kind of sitting apart from each other. Yeah. So when I'm going through that top bead in the next pair, it kind of pulls them together a little bit. So mm. it kind of oh, holds, yeah. holds everything a little bit neater mm. if you only do the top bead. So how again, do you come up with this design? How do, you, how do you come up with it? Well, this is herringbone stitch. So I've done this a few times. I did some purses right. and, and all sorts of things like that. So I was trying to work out what stitch would work better to the easiest way for it to splay out right, okay. again. So um, that's why I thought the stitch would probably work best. Mm. And then it's just a, a matter of sort of trial and error to work out how many and, and that sort of thing. Okay. So that's my next right, and again, I'm going to carry on all the way around until I get to this last one here. So let me jump across again. So let's say I'm coming up this one here when I've gone all the way around. And then I pick up my four beads again. I come down my one bead on the last one. Now here, I'm just going to come down. Mm -hmm. And then if you think about which is the corresponding one, because obviously those top four you added in this current round. So you need to go through the one underneath. So counting from the top, you need to go up the third bead from the top and the two new ones on top of it. Okay. okay. So you're stepping up essentially because if you imagine those top four were not there before. Mm. So the, the, the single bead that you come up is the one underneath. So the third one from the top. Okay. okay. Right. So that's when you've done the next round. And then that's when you end up with this. Now let me just uh, change my thread again. Mm -hmm. So I've done the next two rows, some of the next two rows on mm -hmm. here, but I can still show you how to do it because I didn't think you wanted me to um, repeat the same thing 84 times over. Why not? <laughs> how long have we, have we got? <laughs> <laughs> so can you see, so this section here, which is just the white, is yeah. what I've done here. Oh, I okay? see. Right. Except it's all white, so that's the same thing there. Okay. Okay? Yep. So when you've done that all the way around. I'm just going to flip it over this way because it's easier for me to go from right to left. Right, so now you've come up. Um, you, you step up again, just like we did before. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, to come up the top three green ones. Then you're coming out of the top of one of these little columns of beads that you've got, right? Yeah. So what you're going to do here is you're going to pick up three of your greens. Now I've got a different green here, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so you're going to pick up three of your greens. Then you're going to go down the next one in that pair of beads just like we did before, just the top one, okay? Which is gonna create, so remember before we picked up four beads, now we're picking up three, which creates this little um, sort of pico on the top yeah. that looks, makes it look pretty. And again, you're gonna come up the, only the top bead, okay? Now there's a little bit of a change here because for the next one, you're also gonna pick up your three beads and you're also gonna come down just the top bead in the next column, okay? But now the difference here is that we do want it to splay out a little bit more. Yeah. So if I just came up the next bead there, then it would all sit too tight and it would all be too straight. It wouldn't fit on the ball wall. So for every second, after every second little pico that you do, you're going to pick up, I'm going to use a red for that so you can see what I'm doing. So you're going to pick up a crystal bead in this case or a green one on the other yeah, one, yeah. whichever color you're using. And you're going to pick up one bead and then you're going to come up the first or the top bead in the next column. Okay, so this little bead here helps to space it out a little bit more. Okay, then you're going to pick up your three beads again for the top. Okay, then you're going to come down the next single bead. Okay, now this time you're not going to add in a red one, so you're just coming up the top, uh, the top crystal bead in this case. Okay, mm -hmm. and then again you're going to pick up your three top beads. Three come down the next one, and now you've done two greens since you've added your little red spacer bead. Mm -hmm. So you're going to pick up a red, and you're going to add it again. So this would be your step up in this case yep. when you've gone all the way around. Oh, that's a pink one that got in there from somewhere. I was going to ask, but I didn't like to say. Did you see that that's a pink one? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, 
I didn't do it. I just, I just thought you were testing us. No, I don't know where the pink one came from. Never mind. Yes, it's nice. <laughs> I love the fact that there's a random rogue one in there. I like it. <laughs> so once you've gone all the way around, you'll see that this is going to be the, the outer rim ah. of, your, of your raging. So this will fit onto your bauble. Okay. Just like that. That looks great, doesn't okay, it? Okay, so can you see where I've got the pink and the red? Yeah. Okay? Yep. So to do the inner rim, this is where there's two different designs, one with the crystals and then one without the crystals. Oh, I've got my thread all tangled up here. Right. So once you've finished with this side, then you're going to work your way through your beads. Mm -hmm. Just go through the next beads along and down through one of these columns all the way through until you get to the bottom. H. Now, I've done some of them here, so I'm just going to jump across to where, um, where I need to carry on, because obviously this is pre-done. Okay, so you wouldn't have any of those green beads on there when you got there. Okay, so at the bottom, the two different designs I did. So for one of them, I just picked up one green bead or whichever color you're using, one crystal and another green bead. Okay, and then you're going to jump to the third column across. So you're coming out of this one, mm -hmm. you're going to go one, two, the third one, and you're going to go down two beads. Now, you can just go down one bead in this case. The only reason I go down two beads is because if you remember, this first strip of beads that we started with, that's these two beads on, on the edge here. This is the edge that we started with. So those beads are quite tight together. Yeah. So it's much easier to go through two of them and then come up again. It doesn't matter in terms of spacing. It just makes it much easier to go through two. So I just go down two beads there. And then that adds my little edging there. And then I go up the next two along. Mm -hmm. OK. I've got quite a lot of thread going through at this point. But obviously, I cheated a little bit so that I could get the other bits done. So I've got even more thread going through. But it still goes through with a size 10 needle and the 8 pound thread. So again, you pick up your next one. And then again, you count one, two, three. And then you go down there. So this is why this is where I said it needs to be divisible by four because you're coming out of the first one. Yeah. You're skipping over two and you're going down the fourth one. And then for the next one again, you're coming up that one, skipping two, and going down the fourth right. one. Okay. So you want your numbers to be divisible by four. Now, if you were doing just the plain edging without the crystals, you would do exactly the same thing. So come up your next two beads. Of course, the crystal ones are not very easy to see in the studio. I mm. probably should have used a different <laughs> color because I can't see them. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and for there, I just picked up five of my seed beads. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I skipped one and I went into the second one along. So here we're using sets of three because you're coming out of one, you're skipping over one, going into the third one. Like that, okay? come up the next pair and then again you would add your next five now the red one you're done that's that's basically finished if you do that all the way around that'll yep. be your edging done with the without the crystals there's one more step that you need to do so if I come up through where I would have finished because I've got a gap here but that's because I've done the different designs here so normally you would finish at the last one and you you come along to the first one again so you come up through the first one Okay, come all the way up and what you're going to do is you're going to come up through the first green and the second green bead. Okay, then you're going to skip the middle one of the five. Remember we added five beads yeah. here. You're going to skip the middle one and you're going to go down the two on the other side. So when you pull that tight, you'll see the middle one kind of pops up and creates mm. a little point there. Okay, and then what you're going to do, you're not going to go into any of the silver beads. You're going to go straight across to the first two greens, okay, and then you're going to skip over the one at the top, come down the two greens on the other side, and that one pops up again, and you're going to carry on just like that until you get all the way around. And essentially, that finishes your little strip that sits on your bauble, okay. just like that. And then to attach it, very simply, what I did was I added a little bit of glue on the black edging here, and then I pulled my cotton wool over the edge, so just to hide that black oh, okay. edge. And then I added about a half a centimeter width of my E6000 all the way around the edge there, and then just position this on top, and that's really it. Ah. That's pretty much it, and okay. it's done. That looks great, doesn't it? It's not difficult, is it? Is it? It's not difficult. 
It's not difficult, but you make it look so easy. Oh, thank you. I, I will say that. Um, <laughs> so it's, obviously you can do any scene inside. You don't have to have a hanging decoration. You yeah. can put little, or if, you, if anybody makes the 3D stars that I've done, you could yes. hang one of those inside. You could make a hole in the bottom as well, and you could hang something off the bottom of it as well. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? So there's all yeah. sorts of things you can that do. That makes, you could do an Empire Strikes Back bauble. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like when he meets, what, that, like, you got, sorry. You, no, well, you could do a Death Star yeah. as well, but you know, like in Empire Strikes Back, where there's, doesn't he get, like, hung upside down by a Yeti? Like a Yeti thing. Okay. Do you remember in the eye, in the, what, do you remember? Does that, that, that recreate famous scenes from movies and things, yeah. didn't you? I mean, you could get really detailed. Well, you don't have to put the, the snow in either yeah. if you wanted to put more sort of detail in whatever you put inside. Um, you know, so it just makes like a really nice frame for anything. Or, you do like the James Bond. Yeah. You know, when he comes out and, and, and you know, the thi what, fi what film scene would you recreate with Ooh. that? What diorama from the movies? What do you think? You got one, Finn. Yeah? Titanic. Titanic, yeah. You'd have to fill it with water, love, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's not very helpful, is it? It's got a hole in it. What's the point? Oh, right. Titanic. <laughs> well, you could put fake water in it somehow. I don't know. Use just some polymer clay or something. Her. Oh, Finn, you're so cute. <laughs> Do Titanic because it's a hole in it. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Oh, We've yeah. got lots of options there. We could, have, we could have a whole wall of fame of di diorama. I nearly said diorama. Diorama. Sorry. I've been so <laughs> careful with that. That was lovely. Oh, thank you. That was a really, what a lovely fun demo that was as well. Masterclass. And it's really great. I mean, these bubbles are, are perfect for this sort of thing because um, it's really easy to cut the hole in them. So, and I mean, you could get really creative with the holes. You could cut just one big hole in the front, and then you could cut like strips out the back. You can do. You can you put could, little holes in the back, and it looks like a starry sky oh, with a light coming amazing. through the little holes. Oh, now your imagination's going, isn't oh. it? <laughs> right then. Now earlier on today we had these, and we didn't get a chance to show them, but we're going to do it now. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Oh. <laughs> I was saying, we, oh, we haven't got any 6,000 at the minute, actually. I don't know whether it's locked into another show or we've just got, have we just got no stock or is it, it's on order, it's on you, order. You can use, um, what's the other one where you Geos normally have hyper cement? Yeah, you can use that as well. Plus, if you go into Hobby Maker. I was going to say. Always we've, have glues we've, on We've, we've got maker. glues on. Uh, the one that our Pauline loves, Auntie Pauline, is construction glue. All oh, right. So the construction glue, you get like six bottles for 11 99 So well, try that. That'll make you a few baubles. Uh, just a bit. <laughs> We've got no crazy lace agate isn't usually white. No. Eh? Oh, I'm gone. I'm gone. I, I can't have Sue and Anne not let me have that right for the Marion House designers. That would have just not been fair. That is not lovely. You don't use many. That's what's classed as a station floating necklace, isn't yeah. it? And it kind of makes them stand out more than, yeah. than if it was just a full strand, doesn't it? Do yeah. you know where that necklace came from? The tin cup necklace? Tin, tin cup necklace. No. That's, that's the style. Made famous in the 80s. The film was called The Tin Cup. Oh. It was Kevin Costner and Rennie Russo, yeah. and it was that style of oh. necklace. That's what it was. That's where it came from. Mm. Uh, the Tin Cup. These are the most unusual, lovely, sort of contemporary, sort of either cross or four leaf clover that you're getting there, aren't yes. you? Yes. Yeah? Gives you that lovely sort of vintage feel, doesn't it? The first person's come in and taking heat. I'm, not, I? I'm not surprised. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. Me. <laughs> they are beautiful. And, and we've got a lovely little bracelet here, courtesy of Barry House Designers as well. Just a loveliest shape, isn't it? And it's so unusual, isn't it, that yeah. shape? I can imagine that interspersed with the uh, selenite. Oh, yes. Yeah. Any selenite left, please say yes. Oh, there's a couple left. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Go back to our jewelrymaker.com website or app and grab those selenites. Can't even say it. Selenites. Well done. Ross, you're lovely. Well, thank you very much. Oh, there he is. Adam, you're lovely as well. And Finn, and Dan, and Monica, and Ivy. Oh. Do you guys have missed anybody? And Zena. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How would you fancy it with mokai? Do you do that as well? Does anybody else do that? What? We have to do mokai. I haven't heard it personally from oh. anyone else, but <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's a first. Oh. You might want to know, though. 
Mooka, it's got mustards, it's got caramels, it's got chocolate, it's got everything in there, hasn't it? We've got that coming up for you as well. Twelve ninety nine for your four leaf clovers. Absolutely beautiful. They tell you what, they're very, very glittery, aren't they? And well faceted. They are super yeah. shiny. Super, super shiny. Super shiny. Super shiny. <laughs> that is nice. Oh, I had beans on toast last night. I know that sounds really boring, but oh, I really enjoyed it. I splashed it up with a bit of Liam Perrins. Oh, oh I'm on the edge, me. <laughs> oh, I'm on the edge. Uh, right then, my lovelies, would you like the moo kite? Moo kite, moo kite, moo kite. Do you know what amazes me? Now, I've got some Australian family, and look, they don't really know about moo really? kite. They don't know. Gosh. I just assumed it'd be like, you know, like with Scotland, like the national yeah. gemstone being. They don't, yeah. You say moo kite, they're like, what? Mm. I'm thinking... Moo kite's your gemstone from your country. You don't know what it is. I mean, I know they've got, obviously, their beautiful opals, but this is, I tell you what, that is a, that is a really good wow. quality moo kite strand. You've got, look, you don't often get that colour. And that's all yeah. natural. That's all natural. You've got English mustard, haven't you? That, I mean, it's a nice, bright English. Got some whole grains on there. You've got some Dijon. <laughs> if you're Dijon. And do you know with this clover shape, the Alhambra design? Yeah. Did you see who was wearing an Alhambra bracelet the other day? Ah, well, can we? Can, I don't. But can we show that that slide you've got there? So what? Say that again. What's it called? The collection? Alhambra. What's Alhambra, Alhambra. then? Alhambra is. Um, I, f I forget. I think it's in Spain. There's a. There's a. I don't want to say it's a. Uh, it's not a monastery, but it's kind of like. Okay. Kind of like that. It's called the Alhambra. I've been oh, there. Oh, and that's. And a I think that's you? probably where the name comes from. Okay. And that's the collection. Who was wearing one? Uh, the Queen Consort Camilla was wearing one. Was she? Yes. What in this in this shape? Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. When she signed the. Um, well, gosh, I've forgotten what it was called. That's really bad. The isn't Book of it? Condolence, was it? No, or? no, it was when um, when Charles was oh, a bit being was signed, sworn signing in all the papers. And, oh, yeah. okay. And then uh, a bit like the registry when you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then right. William had to did sign first, shape, and then she? Camilla had to sign after. She did. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Cause I think I think hers was. Um, uh, Gosh, my brain. There's a Van Cleef and Arpel do a range exactly. of these, don't well, they? New hers York. must have been one of that. It looked like it was the the green. Right. Malachite? Malachite. There yes. you go. Oh, gosh, I've forgotten half there. my words. <laughs> we got there. We got... How amazing. Because Malachite... Uh, oh, it would be Malachite from Van Cleef and Arpel yeah. in New York as well, wouldn't it? It absolutely... Would. Oh, how fascinating. Yeah. Well, there you go. We can have it in Mookite. Absolutely natural. And we're only paying twelve ninety nine. Brilliant mm. deal. BTGP63 for that very famous, wonderful... So you pronounce it Alhambra? Yeah. Alhambra. Oh, I've never heard... Oh, Sherilyn's here. <laughs> Hello, beautiful girl. I've got to ask, how was lifestyle last night with, with yeah. Crap? Was it good? Yeah, really good. Was it? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. You had Anne Marie, didn't you? Yes. Oh, yeah. Fabulous, fabulous. Hello. 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 Yesterday morning. Natalie today. Natalie today. Everyone. Honestly, it's, been, it's beginning oh, to look a lot like Christmas over on Hobby Maker, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Now, you know, when I said as well, we're getting the chance to make that advent calendar, I think on Thursday afternoon with Pauline. Make sure you watch Hobby Maker because if you got that 25 gemstone advent deal earlier for less than 30 pounds, oh my goodness me, you do not want to miss that. Beautiful girl, when are you gracing our screens again? On the 22nd. On the 22nd? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Take care, my lovelies. I will see you tomorrow morning, bright and breezy at 6am on Hobby Maker. Bye.